Hello, 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 hello. How are we today? All right. So let's get going, man. Starting early today. I'm not usually this early. So, you know, it's like an experiment, kind of. I should be this early every day, but, you know. Yeah, no. I'm a D-Gen. So I'd be doing D-Gen shit. Um, all right, let's, let's get going. Let's start making calls. Let's figure out what to do. What's up, Brad? Um, what's up, Jerexis? What's up, what plays? Uh, Dr. GG, what's up? How is everybody? Um, if you were here yesterday, it was a lot of, um, a lot of business stuff. So Daphne is very close to uh, being able to get this business license. The way that I'm doing the business license is I drafted up the text and the photos um, and then I gave it to, if you guys remember, Nixity, he played Flint, um, who was second in command of the cut. Back in 3.0, he's the one that does all the documents for the uh, for the heist and stuff like that. Very talented uh, designer. Um, I passed all that information on to him, and he is gonna be making me. He's the one that did the um, the graphic for for Bahama Mamas when we were trying to get it here. Let me show you that actually. Um, let me show you guys the Bahama Mamas graphic from 3.0. So, so this was the Bahama Mamas graphic from 3.0 um, that we took to um, that we took to uh, everybody, everybody that we talked to. <laughs> oh, thanks, Bradley. Everybody that we talked to about Bahama Mamas in 3.0 was shown this graphic pretty much. It's just like a business pitch and um, kind of shows what Daphne's plan was for reopening because in 3.0, if you guys missed what, like uh, if you weren't around for 3.0 and what happened with Bahama Mamas in 3.0, I'll, like, I'll summarize really fast my personal history with Bahama Mamas. So um, in my first server, which was called Good Times RP. It does not exist anymore. Um, I owned Bahama Mamas as Daphne. There was only, I think we were the second business to open. Uh, Daphne's best friend, Allison, who still is in No Pixel with me, uh, she owned the Vanilla Unicorn and Daphne owned Bahama Mamas. So I used to throw weekly parties. I would make uh, I would make DJ sets and I would throw parties a lot of it was like stuff that I can't play in no pixel a lot of it was like honestly like there's a lot of DMCA shit going on but it was a small server so nobody really cared back then um, and this was like major so Daphne was also uh, in the the mafia in this in this server which was probably the we probably had the biggest gang um, as far as as far as um, power and people and money. So it was a pretty, it was like a pretty big deal back then um, in that server. But Bahama Mamas was where Daphne based all of her illegal activities out of. Me and um, if you guys are DiCenzo viewers, you probably know who Tiny Tony is. He was in that server as well. So Daphne and Tiny Tony, um, at the when before we all quit the server like right before we all quit the server um daphne and tiny tony had a whole plan and we're gonna run an entire crew out of bahama mamas and we were gonna make um kind of like a kind of like a turf in in the bahama mamas area but those plans never went off because obviously we all left the server for various reasons um so when it came into no pixel and you guys know me. I, every character I've ever made, except for my outlaws, um, except for the Monroe family, owns a business, runs a, you know, throws events. It's just what I like doing in RP. So that's incorporated in a, most of my characters, every character except the Monroe family. Um, so, so nobody was using Bahama Mamas 
uh, like everybody was like, oh, the owners don't wake up anymore, blah, blah, blah. So I spent a year trying to acquire it. Um, chance for that multifamily RP. Dude, I know, right? <laughs> you guys, this was so spicy. There, our gang, I'll, I'll actually, I'll summarize this really fast because this was really spicy. Our gang was fucking huge. So what was gonna happen, we had this entire meeting where what was gonna happen, and there's a lot of players in no pixel right now same characters that were in this gang which is hilarious um but we've all retconned this this gang never existed in 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 our backstories the characters don't know each other um so <laughs> we basically got so big and there was just so many disagreements because there were so many people and the bosses just couldn't keep up. Like the high command just literally could not keep up with everybody. There was like always internal drama and all this stuff. So, um, so we had a meeting one day and it was supposed to be like, all right, we're gonna divide into crews. Daphne and Tiny Tony were already doing this. Like we already had a name for our, our group and we had like, we had uniforms basically. Our group was gonna be called, uh, Tiny Tony came up with the name The Prophets. So our group was gonna be called The Prophets. We had like five, six people already. And we, our thing was like, instead of wearing like a gang flag or like, you know, you know, like a bandana and stuff like that, we would wear white. So if you were a member of The Prophets, you always wore white. All your outfits were white. It's actually a pretty sick idea. And we looked pretty cool, <laughs> all right? Uh, we looked pretty badass. But, um, so there was a meeting where every, this announcement was gonna go through that, all right, you're, everybody's gonna split up into respective crews. And it was gonna be kind of like a five families situation. Like people were gonna have their own areas, their own turfs, their own businesses, their own, you know, whatever your crew wanted to do, you guys do it, but it's under this like five families kind of situation. It was gonna be really cool. Um, so, what's up Diggy? So then there was a giant meeting where this was supposed to get announced and the boss who was Daphne's ex, Felix, we we do still have that in Daphne's lore in a way we we used the name again in some of the some of the lore um the boss was just like all right this is what we're gonna be hey Hefe. yeah it was gonna be cool uh and then turns out though some of the members including one of the under bosses like kind of led it I think if I'm remembering correctly um had been like conspiring against the boss this entire time behind people's backs so basically we we got so big that the boss goes all right this is your chance right now if you're not about this life this is your opportunity to walk away and we won't blood you out you won't be punished we won't come after you this is your opportunity to walk away freely like everybody walks out like everybody except like i want to say six six characters and the people that didn't walk out were the ones that like had not been told about it because they were on the boss's side it was like daphne tiny tony jeff allison um like a couple other people meanwhile there's a war going on with another gang. So we're left to like six people to fight a war against this other gang. One of the, th one of the whole things was that one of our underbosses left because she wanted to be in, in that gang, which was like a street gang, well, like a South Side street gang. She just decided that she liked them better and wanted to date one of them. So she went there. What's up, see? It was crazy. So, then that ended that that ended everything um there was a lot of weird ooc bad blood things that happened and that got exposed after that that made me be like i'm not gonna play in this server anymore um i started playing in wild after that um and then that server eventually shut down but 
Anyway. So I get to... So I go out to Wild after that. I'm playing in Wild. You know, my character... What's up, Trifsies? Um, I still play Wild RP. I still play Wild RP. I literally might play Wild RP later tonight. Um, so I start playing Wild RP, meet people from No Pixel, and then eventually I start No Pixel. Um, I want to open Bahama Mamas because obviously, like, that's what I had been doing for a long. Oh no, it's alive and well for sure. Um, so yeah, I wanted to do the same thing in No Pixel as I did in the previous server. I wanted to throw parties and DJ and perform at, uh, at Bahama Mamas. Well, the performing thing was new. I didn't start uh, having Daphne make music. Hey, Pip. I didn't start having make Daphne make music until, until No Pixel. So I was trying really hard. Obviously, nobody knew who I was. Nobody knew who, who Daphne was. So it was really difficult. Um, and then uh, eventually what happened is the CEO of Wu Chang Records at the time um, acquired uh thank you have um the one i'm sorry the the, C the original ceo of wuchang knew that daphne wanted bahama mamas and that it was like impossible <laughs> thank you um so what he did is there was a record label like a small record label that was based out of bahama mamas at that time so he had wuchang records acquire that record label and it wasn't like they didn't have a building like we did it was just a soundboard that they could use to print tapes but it was like that's where their record label was based out of down bad records so he bought down bad records and um it was supposed to turn into an entry level label for Wu Chang records so basically if you had a artist that was new to the city or new to music and they needed help they needed artist development um, they would be signed on to this label and then eventually once their quality um, improved they could be signed on to Wu Chang proper and Daphne was supposed to be the COO of this record company she was supposed to be the head of artist development um, and based out of Bahama Mamas so this was a whole thing where Daphne gets a promotion she's supposed to be the head of artist development for a new and upcoming artist and then Oh, I know, right? I know, right, goals. Um, so, and then the other part of it is that he tells Daphne, this is a way for you to get the keys to Bahama Mamas so you can start running out of there. You can start, uh, you can start basically just kind of doing what we do now, right? It's like you don't own it, but go in there, throw the parties, like take care of everything because it's like the owners at the time just weren't around. They weren't there. Um, and so we threw one event, we threw Carter Mitchell's release party for Club Banger, which was a, a really nice event, but, um, yeah, he's, he is funny, but yeah, it, yeah. Um, so we don't like, obviously I'm sure, you know, from other streamers saying it, we don't talk about bands or anything, so it's a shame. Um, but so Where was I? Oh yeah, so the thing was, we couldn't, um, that's okay, um, a lot of people don't know, but yeah, it's just not a thing that, um, uh, yeah, just don't do it. Um, so we couldn't get behind the bar, and we couldn't, uh, like, we couldn't access the inventory, so we couldn't really throw events. Like, we could, but it would be very... It would be very ske sketchy, like kind of like the way we're doing it now, where it's like, oh, we bought this from the convenience store and we're, we're handing it to you instead of having the actual like menu items and stuff like that. So so then I went on this camp. This was January, like January 2023. Um, so then I went on this whole campaign of, all right, well, I've got to talk to everybody in the fucking city. I've got to like get a hold of these owners. So I spend months asking like every day like the owners are like bunny isabella long and um Dwayne. i think it was like Dwayne, some Ch thomas Dwayne maybe was his name or something like that i don't really remember um we had to get a hold of them so in the meantime daphne is um 
you know, working at Wu Chang Records, she starts with the cut. So we start doing crime. We start meeting more people. I start waking up more as Daphne. Um, and literally every day, I swear to God, there was not a day I didn't talk about this as Daphne. Like anytime there was any kind of lead you could get on Bahama Mamas and how to get connected to these people, like Daphne was on it and sending texts, making calls. Um, it got to the point where we did finally get to meet Bunny and talk about it a little bit. So then I exchange Discord information with Summer who plays Bunny. And so the, the issue is that they weren't really playing their characters at the time. What's up Konoichi? They weren't really playing their characters at the time. That's why it was really impossible to make this stuff happen in character or like come up with some sort of deal or whatever. So Daphne has the keys to Bahama Mamas, but she can't actually do anything. And we're trying to fix it, we're trying to figure it out. Months, months go by. There was like, first Bunny says that she'll sell it and then kind of just ghosts for another like three months. Um, and it goes on like this for a whole year, basically. It's like, we'll get a hold of somebody, then they ghost. We'll get a hold of somebody, then they ghost. Months and months. It wasn't until um, Edgar, Peppo's character, um, came in and wanted Bahama Mamas. Now, in the meantime, Daphne had already had, like, there was a contract drafted up for it to get signed over. Oh, thank you. Um, I can answer that question as soon as I'm done with this story. Um, so, so there was like a contract sent to Daphne. The contract was really bad. Um, it was basically like not actually signing over the business. It was kind of like, you can run the business and then we'll still take the profits and we still own the business, but, but maybe you can own the business later. it was a very weird contract and and daphne was like with lawyers and like she didn't she didn't take it basically and she tried to negotiate it but once again god don't know walled so in the meantime edgar peppo's character comes in and he wants bahama mamas and, and him and daphne are talking about it and he's just like basically saying like i'm going to commit violent acts until i get this nightclub like i'm gonna basically kill or attack whoever I need to to get this nightclub and Daphne is like I mean good luck they're not around right so um that kind of lit a f this is probably about September what's up Elliot uh, this is probably about September of 2023 so mind you this has already been eight eight months more because we started this in December. Wu Chang acquired Down Bad Records in December of 2022. And this is, this, is, this is when we start trying, well, we started trying to get Bahamas Mamas before that, but we got our foot in the door in December of 2022. Then this is all the way fast forward to like around September, 2023. We are still trying to open this fucking club. So, because of the Edgar being violent thing, that actually lit a fire under their asses and they were like, all right, now basically they're like, all right, now we've got too many people trying to like ask us about this nightclub, so we're gonna sell it. So Rod Long, um, who was married to Isabella Long, one of the owners and the daughter of the other owner, um, they get in contact with Daphne and they go, hey, we wanna sell you the club. And they have this whole meeting about like what's the plan for the club and that's like that's like this graphic i was showing you guys this is when daphne is like presenting this she's like this is the plan this is what i want to do um and isabella and rod are like that's great i think that the original owner would be very happy with that um we want to sell it to you we don't want it to go to a gang um and then after this whole meeting they're like would you be interested in working with pitchers now pitchers was um i don't know you could probably call it like an event company type thing they had a bar but it was a storefront the problem with storefronts back in 3.0 is that you couldn't have a lot of people in them um if you walked into a storefront anybody that was in the storefront before you got there if they were in a pose say you were like you know 
slash me cop to like Daphne always stands like this. If you were like that and then someone walks into the storefront, they can't see you. You have to move for them to be able to see you. It's like a whole thing. And there's like a performer. It's, it's just a mess. You can't really throw events in storefronts. So that's why we needed to open up the club because you could actually, you know, do stuff there. So, um, Daphne was like, actually, yeah, I'm, I'm very down with that because Daphne was already friends with pitchers and she was already going to reach out to them for, um, to hire them, to hire them, um, to help with the events because she knew that their venue didn't really work. So she's like, I want to, you know, I was going to reach out to them anyway. Um, so it's like, great. Awesome. All right. It's going to be, so then we bring in them for the meeting and they kind of agreed, like Meg was a little reluctant at first, but they kind of agree. And then they're like, all right, it's going to be $10 million. Now, mind you, when this, <laughs> when this building was first sold, it was $2 million and it, it was a ripoff for sure. Right. Um, so Daphne had just bought two $1.5 million cars. So she did not have the millions that she had a month before. Um, pitchers, I think, had the money from their business account. What's up, Conscious? Uh, so Daphne goes to investors. Um, there's, you know, several people that Daphne knows. Two of the people, the only investors she really needed, really, Party Hardy and Raymond Romanov. Um, so Daph goes to Party Hardy and tells him, and he's going to give her all the money. And she's like, it's $5 million. And he's like, that's a ripoff, but whatever, I'll pay it. Because, you know, it's going to be good for Wu Chang as well. And then he's like, I can't believe they're charging $5,000 for that dead club, though. And she's like, well, that's only half of it. Pitchers is paying the other half for another $5 million. And Party is just like, that's crazy. That's insane. And then she goes to Raymond to see if he'll be an investor if she needs. And he says, yes, he'll, he wants to be an investor, but... He's like, that price is ridiculous. I kind of want to talk to them. Like, I know them. I kind of want to talk to them because that's, like, a really big ripoff. So then I, out of character, I go to work for the weekend. I'm working all weekend, um, IRL. And while I'm wor at work, um, Party Hardy goes to them and is like, you are ripping these people off. That's a crazy price. Like, that's unfair to pay that. I'm not going to pay that. It should be less. Daphne has no idea about this, right? So they think that Party was coming there on behalf of Daphne. And so they uh, they cut Daphne out. Once again, I can't sign into the server. I am at work. Um, so, so they cut Daphne out of the deal without telling her, or talking to her. Uh, and they go to the Simones who run Seaside, which was a, a funny thing for like in characters stuff like in the RP because they specifically told Daphne they didn't want a gang and then they went to the leaders of a gang um, but obviously something really important to think about out of character in this situation is that the Simones are developers for no pixel so from the way that it's phrased in character when Daphne goes and like confronts them is like you know well this is this is terrible like I just got cut out and I was the first person that got approached for the purchase which is like insane but the Simones have a ton of money oh see the Simones are developers for the server and if we want you know shit to get done it is not a bad idea to have developers on the team right so um, so Daff is just like talks to the Simones talks to everybody involved they all kind of agree that Daphne got fucked over and that she's gonna have a high high management position the simones mentioned probably making her a ceo and stuff like that so the first event that gets thrown at bahama mamas is a halloween event on october 27th um daphne is considered a manager and this is what's funny now about like the whole Winter and Daphne thing as well, because so Daphne and Winter are both considered, are hired as managers. The first event is a Halloween party on the 27th. Um, I was working a decent amount of time at that time. So there was definitely a bit of me not being around every day 
because, you know, IRL job. Um, but, you know, it's like we keep up in the Discord and whatever. So at that event, Daphne didn't really do much because I hadn't really been there, but I, I do remember um, texting everyone that day because one thing that <laughs> yeah it's pretty good right but so the one thing that Daphne had was connections with the people that were awake in the city at the time not many people were waking up in the city because it was everybody was waiting for 4.0 to drop and just like there was never any queue to get in the server the server wasn't always even full but like there were certain people that were consistently awake so Daphne is Daphne is sitting there while the other people are doing the other stuff for the event. Daphne is calling and texting everybody in her contacts list to get people to this party. Um, so it's kind of funny when like winter winter is like you didn't do anything and it's like she's because Daphne also uh, participated and won the costume contest that day. So she's like. And so when they were like, oh, we need judges for the costume contest, Daphne was like, oh, I can't judge because I'm entering. It was like Daphne was the Scooby-Doo gang with, with a bunch of other people, right? So she's like, I can't judge. So it's kind of funny because Winter is like, Daphne didn't do anything. Daphne didn't do anything. And it's like, not true, but that's fine. Um, so that was the... I would have to look back to make sure, but I think that that was the only event that got thrown um, at that time. So then, once again, everybody was kind of not paying attention to the no pixel stuff because we knew 4.0 was about to drop. I wasn't one of those people. I was still signing in every day. I was still doing the damn thing. Um, my job ended, I believe. Something happened where I could be around more, basically. I, th I think I was, yeah, I think I was unemployed at that time. So I could, I could come around uh, more often. And so Sean decided, so it was for a while, it was just Sean and Daphne that were, Sean, Daphne, and Meg were there. And, like, we didn't really have that many employees that were waking up, um... But there was a few, and it was mostly just pitchers doing everything, but there wasn't that much going on. But Sean was pretty much running the business. Um, what's up, Ross? Daphne would come in and be like, hey, do you need anything? You know, what can I do? She'd do some stock. She'd bartend. She'd, you know, whatever. Um, she was in the process of hiring security, maybe, you know, thinking about hiring more people. Um, and then... 4.0 I don't think it was announced I don't think 4.0 wasn't announced for until like a week before it dropped right it was like we didn't have a lot of time but we knew it was coming and so Daphne's whole thing when I got back to being able to be around which was November so this was right after the club opens um the grand opening um I think there was a soft opening like two weeks before that. I think that most of this stuff happened before the grand opening on Halloween. So fast forward like into the end of November. Um, Sean, I, I'm not sure if Sean had left at that time because Sean left no pixel. Uh, Sean only plays in Onyx now. He doesn't play in, in no pixel at all. So then it was just Daphne and Meg. Winter wasn't waking up anymore. Um, it was just Daphne and Meg. So, well, she might have been waking up, but she wasn't doing Bahama Mama's stuff. So it was just Daphne and Meg, really. And Daphne and Meg were talking about... Uh, Daphne had a plan to make an events calendar. Um, and what we would do... This is, And I want to do this uh, in 4.0 as well. Uh, hopefully, if we can get the club. Um, I want to make an events calendar... And we'll pick a day of the week, say Thursday. And what we'll do is we'll have Wu Chang artists or even, even independent artists, even artists from other labels, various types of entertainers, anybody that wants to throw a party. We'll have Thursday night booked for the week. I mean, sorry, for the month. 
So every Thursday we have a performer or an event locked in. I would like it to be like themed event, performer, themed event, performer, right? And then that takes care of the whole month. You're getting one event a week. You don't really want to do more than one huge event a week at a certain venue because it's like, then people are like, well, I was just at Bahama Mamas two days ago. Why would, I, why would I go there right now? You know what I mean? So it's like you do like one a week and then have casual people. If you want to sign up and you want um, to play your music at Bahama Mamas, we'll open it up for you. And then we'll have the club open and people can just come in casually as if it was Rooster's Rest. You know what I mean? Like have food and drinks there. So it could be an alternative to places like Rooster's Rest, Ugo Cafe, Maldini's, where you get food. Uh, except there's a live performer as well for like an hour or so. You know what I mean? That was the plan. So that's what we were in the process of doing. And 4.0 was announced. The date for 4.0 uh, and Onyx were announced like in the same day or like a day apart. So after that, nobody signed in. <laughs> nobody signed in. It was like, it was, and then everybody was also like rushing to get married. Like everybody was rushing to have weddings for their characters because it was going to be a five-year gap so and me me and Sooty talk like Daphne and Sooty in character I should say talk about this sometimes where at the end when when 4.0 got announced that shit was all going on but no one none of the artists were waking up so it's like if you wanted a performer at your wedding or you wanted a DJ you had like four options of people that were awake and it was always Daphne and Sooty. Daphne and Sooty, I swear to God, performed every wedding at the end of <laughs> at the end of 3.0 because we were the only people awake. We were the only people there. So then it'd be like, Meg would be like, oh, we've got to open Bahama Mamas for this wedding reception. We don't have employees. We don't have performers. So it's, you know, Daphne back there just doing whatever she needs to do. Meg, like Meg managing and running around. Daphne, like bartending or like whatever needs to get done just to be able to throw these events. Um, and that was that. And so now we're up to, um, now we're, that puts us at 4.0, where obviously Daphne's event business is like doing really well already. So hopefully we'll be able to get the club back, um, and be able to do what we've been trying to do with it for like, like two years. <laughs> It's been a long journey, and people are like, why is Daphne so attached to Bahama Mamas? It's because because of all of that. Like, it's literally so much. She got so fucked over about, about it for after working so hard, you know what I mean? And trying so hard. So the business proposal is going to look something like this, basically. Um, so instead of being about Bahama Mamas, um, he's going to make it, Skylark events and it'll be like a graphic like this that's that's that um advice for someone who wants to start streaming oh boy that's that's a lot I'm actually making a series on TikTok called how to start streaming from the beginning um I would look out for that because I've literally got like That's a long list. That's a long, long list. And I need to start RPing. I've been chatting too much. Um, that looks like, looks like you know, but I'll see if anybody's at the house and then we'll start making calls. We got a lot to do today. A lot to do today. Anybody home? I guess not. I thought I heard Freya. Um, let me actually, let me get something really fast. I'll be right back.
Okay, first order of operations. April's surprise party. Okay, hopefully I call back. Um, let's call Hazel. Oh, let's call Solomon. We need to call all those people. Um, oh my God, you're alive. Oh my God, you're alive. I started to think you were dead. <laughs> Been so long since I last saw you. I can't remember what you look like. You got brown hair, right? Oh my God, shut up. How you been? I've been okay. I've been okay. Very busy. Busy in a good way though, right? Events? Yeah. Yeah. How was the wedding. wedding? Wedding was fucking insane. Like, crazy. But it was good because I've already got people hiring me for more, so. I would say it went very well then. Yeah. <clears throat> it was the epitome of chaos though. I, I, I think the entire city was there. There was probably well, like I mean, it's, a, a, it's a wedding in Los Santos. If it wasn't chaos, it wouldn't be a wedding in Los Santos. Yeah, but I mean, like, I, I've been the weddings before. This was the most crowded wedding I've ever seen in my life in Los Angeles. Nice. Uh, yeah, there was, you know, the bride went down the aisle and got in a fist fight. Then, she, then they had to go to the hospital and come back. So we had to, like, create a diversion. It was, it was a lot. A lot of happened. And I got it. I missed it now. I I wish you would have been there. I thought you would thought you would go. No, I didn't even know, didn't, I didn't even know it was happening. I told you about it that day. I was like, the, I'm the wedding tonight. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but that, that, that was like out. that. Yeah, but that was the extent of my notice. I knew about it, you know, a few hours prior, and I had to yeah. be I had to be I had to be out of the city. You know what I mean? So I kind of already got, I already had plans. I see. I, so see. I couldn't couldn't really divert from, unfortunately. Otherwise, I'd have let a lot of people down. Yeah, I see it. No, it's okay. I understand. Um, I wouldn't. It's not like I would have been able to hang out with you anyway. I didn't get to like speak to people. I was running around like a crazy person. Yeah, exactly. And like you know, let's be honest. If I wasn't hanging out with you, like you know, I don't fucking know that because you're fucking wife. Yeah, yeah. You know. So anyway, I'm glad it went well. What's, what's the uh, what's the next event you're doing? Um, I've got a surprise party for a celebrity, so that's on the down low, and then nice. I have, um. A fundraiser for uh, Sunny. You know Sunny Brooks. She's a manager at Senior Bonds. Uh, name rings a bell. I probably if I, if I saw her, I'd be like, oh yeah. But right now, I'm drawing a blank. Yeah, she's great. She's a friend. But uh, I'm helping her throw an art auction fundraiser uh, for her church. It's gonna be like a non-denomination. Oh, that's Sunny. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, okay. I know, I know a Sunny because it was a person that got the. Uh, the, the legislation pushed through oh legislation pushed through for what business licenses no no for a uh, church oh oh yeah 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 but and anyway. for the uh and then the right of confession being protected in law between a priest and their confessor yeah that, def that definitely wasn't part of sonny's proposal but uh... no i think that was that was <laughs> uh no that was uh siobhan saw something and decided to, to add a catholic twist to it you know, which uh, I don't know why we have state and church now interlinked. I think that is the worst idea anyone's ever had since 1282. Yeah. Yeah. But Sunny's church is a non-denominational church where everybody can go to, you know, it's more of like a community center is what it really should be called. But it's a church. I can get behind that. But yeah, she wants a warehouse for it. So that's 700K. Woo! Um, so so she needs a fundraiser. So we're gonna do that. It's gonna be a really cool event, actually. I'm very excited what, with what we have planned. I've never, I've never seen anything like it in the city before. So I'm very excited. What's, what's, the, what's the plan for the event? Well, I'll tell you about it later. Let's hang out. Okay. How late is later? I mean, how long are you gonna be awake? Uh, I'm gonna try and go for another two hours minimum. I reckon. What? I'm gonna try. What? I thought you were like, I thought you were going to be like a week a long time today. I've already been awake for 10 hours. That's, that's rookie numbers. You know how, you know how long I'm awake always, usually? Yeah, that's not healthy. Yeah, I know. It's true. I mean, I have a suspicion I'll be doing like 12 hours every day for a number of days. 
Mm. You know what I mean? So there's no point in going ham on a Monday and then the rest of the week I'm like, uh, fuck. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. That's how I roll. That's how I roll. Well, I mean, then I guess I can, um, I mean, we can meet up now if you have time. Yeah, I'm not doing anything right now. Just, I'm, you know, I've, I've had no phone calls coming through for any client work or anything right now. Okay. So come, my come. phone is unusually quiet. Okay, well, come pick me up at the house then. I will come by now. Oh, All right. Oh, it's not opening. See you in a bit. Okay, bye. Oh. Unusually quiet. Um, let's text. Mur let's call Murphy. Actually. Um. So much dog hair on me all the time. Uh, hey, Daphne. How's it going? Hey, Murphy. Um. Uh, what's going on? I just wanted to touch base with you. I'm going to be doing a lot of the planning today. I'm going to be meeting with Max Angel. Um, I don't believe that Raymond is, I think she's traveling or something. So I'll ask about when she's going to be back to help. The car's, but... the car's been, sorry, Daphne, hang on one second. The car's, the car's gone. The car, the car's fucking gone. All right, just a second, Daphne. I gotta, I gotta, uh, I gotta track my fucking vehicle here real quick. Okay. Um, I don't. Uh, give me one second, officer. Sorry, uh, Daphne. It's just been it's been a day. Okay. Yeah, that's alright. Oh, fuck. 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 Yeah, that shit's been. That shit's got to have been stolen. Mm. Okay. Uh, da da Daphne, let me call you back. Okay. Um, uh, just, uh, I do want to meet and talk about that with everybody. Uh, just let me know, like, when, when you want to do that. Um, just keep me posted. Okay. All right. Uh, sorry, I'm just, like, in the middle of a bunch of things right now. I got to go do... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I'll, I'll call you back soon. Yeah. Well, hi. All right, gorgeous. How are you doing? Are you doing? All right. Do you have a mask? Do I need one? Yeah. Do you have one available that's going to fit my face? Nope. Fuck. All right. Okay. Clothing store. Here we come. Dust isn't going oh, straight through the we subathon. What a little bitch. <laughs> was running game? Was it Friday or so? Yeah, was it Friday? Was it uh, Friday? I Thursday? Think it was, I think it was Thursday. Thursday? Yeah, no, it was Thursday. No, no, it was Thursday. Yeah. It was, uh... Yeah, fucking insane. He might still have... He might still be working, though. He, like, still has, a like, a job. Like, a full-time job that he does Monday through Friday. So if he if he's doing a subathon and his job this week, that's actually kind of crazy. I gotta say though, I I really I'm not gonna lie. I don't really like when people do subathons, and well, I guess he's saying he's doing like. A day. I, I just, I feel a type of way about when people ask, I mean, when people have subathons and there's like long breaks in between the streams, you know what I mean? Cause I'm like, it's not really a subathon. Like you might as well not have the timer. I don't know. I don't know. I, I just think it's, I just think it's not what they were originally, but I'm a going? little, you, hungry? you know, who who cares? You know what I mean? Like, I mean, who cares? But I do feel that way. Um, what'd you say? Say that again? What did you say? 
I said, where do you want to go? Are you hungry? Um, I actually, I should pick up some food. Okay. I've got, I've got some fries right here. Yeah. Um, I don't think fries were low. So, all right. So at the beginning of the day, um, I'm setting up, blah, blah, blah. That was fine. Literally none of the bridal party has, like none, imagine none of the bridal party listens to anything I say, right? That's yeah, every exactly. bridal party, isn't it? No, no, not like this. I'm talking like I can't get them in one place. They're, most of them aren't even there until like 15 minutes before the wedding. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And we, we didn't do a rehearsal dinner, which I regret, but you know how hard it is to get people... Mm -hmm. you, know, you know what I mean? Like, even if I had a rehearsal dinner, there probably would have been, like, three people there anyway. You know what I mean? Yep. Um, so, I think the next wedding I will enforce a rehearsal dinner, just in case. I think rehearsal dinners can be quite fun as well. They can. They can. Especially if you combine it with, like, bachelorette parties and stuff like that, you know? It's like, all right, we're doing the rehearsal dinner, then we're doing a bachelorette party. Bachelor, bachelorette Was there a bachelorette party, party you know I mean? on a bachelor party? No, it was very, it was very thrown together. Like, it was very, everything was very, like, I want to say that I had about three days to, to plan the wedding. Something like that. Well, um, I mean, fucking hats off to you. Then in three days, it was the biggest attended wedding in the history of the city. Yeah. That's true. And I was yeah. like, you did a good job. Thank you. But yeah, so everybody's running around. I'm running around like I got my head cut off. You know what I mean? Just trying to get everything set up. Um. Mm -hmm. There were no microphones because the communication broke down on that. Oh no. Um and and by communication broke down on that, I mean I I was telling everybody for three days that we needed them Maybe to get the microphones get and they didn't do it. And then two drinks. And they just didn't do it. Yep. Sounds about right. You guys have like a sweet and sour sauce. But once again, uh, like that no. that particular like thing is kind of a big ass. Um, can I get so like two sprunk with ice? Whatever. It worked it worked okay. out anyway. I and mean, the fact that you've Nothing had really. technical problems on top around. of everything else and it still worked out is okay, okay, just very impressive. Thank you. Yeah. You're good. Um, so, yeah. So then, uh, I think it was Paris and one other girl showed up in Siobhan's wedding dress. Oh, did they know ahead of time? Was it like an accident? I mean, how would they know, I guess? I don't know. I, I, feel, like, like, I feel like it was on oh, okay. but so How would they know what, it was, what the wedding dress was? I don't know. I mean, Siobhan was there. I don't know if maybe they looked. I don't know. I have no idea. But they showed up in the wedding dress. Ooh, okay, I got and it. I got it. So me sorry, and sorry. It took a little bit. Go All right, thank you. What order number did you say change. that was? 154. And okay, thank so you. they leave. Hello. Next. What can I get you? How are you? You're just getting your exercise in? Do you want to go ahead? Oh, okay, fine. Yeah. Oh, no, I, I got food. Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah you get, I mean, I'll pay for it, but just you know, get whatever you want. Oh, okay. Um... Gotta, gotta Can I please have two combos, whatever you want? Okay. What would you like to drink? Uh, it doesn't go. matter. Or Peace anything. Okay. No problem. You have to today. How's, how's work going, Sal? I woke up too long. Like, I too oh, long I didn't ago. swipe. The order is 155. Very boring. Oh, oh, I eat two burgers, everything on it, two fries, uh, orangutan, yeah. and a sprunk. Right, awesome. Right. Thank You're you. The place no down, problem. Right? Have a good one. Yeah, fair Thank you, enough. Sob. Okay, well, I'll see you around, Sal. Yeah, I know. You've been working here a long time, Sal? Not too long. You just I was working here all weekend. Okay, me too. Am I After a wedding, you celebrated by I woke up working here? Ago. I, listen, what I did was I washed dishes in the back and I wrote music minutes, the whole time. Fair enough. Like, I didn't even let people know I was awake. I just worked okay, and we'll do, we'll I wrote do. music in the back. Go ahead and swipe your orders all right, bye-bye. Good job. So probably go work hard. Worked here after running a wedding. How much you get paid for the wedding? Well, um, she gave me she gave me twenty five hundred. That it? Yeah, yeah. That's kind what? of what my response was to. I I honestly I'm not gonna lie. I so here's here's what happened, right? So I fronted. The payment for the um, for the uh, the performers and the staff, right? I just paid them um, out of my own pocket. Obviously, you're just gonna invoice it for it later, right? Um, now we hadn't talked about the payment, and I was intending on.
charging five thousand. Oh. Hey. Um, yeah. yeah, because it literally it took up like, like it took up days of my time and forward. was one of the most stressful experiences of my life. It was fun, but it was a lot. Um, so sorry. Sorry, I'll just answer this really fast. No, no, you were good. You were good. Hey, what's up? Hey. Hey. Uh, are you free right now? I am not currently free. Why, what's up? I just wanted to... I've, I've been having, like, a, a, a like a bit of a week. No, yeah. No, we should we should meet up, actually. I want to hear about what happened. Yeah, there's a lot of... A lot of dumb shit that happened, honestly. Yeah, yeah. I heard you got, so, uh, I heard you got stabbed when I was working in the kitchen yesterday, so... Stabbed? Stabbed is not right. I did not oh. get stabbed, no. Okay, well then, great. You can tell me all about it. Um, I'll talk to you when I'm free. All right, uh, yeah, all right no problem. See you soon. Okay, probably or see like, you whenever you're free. Yeah, I would say maybe like an hour-ish, probably. Something like no. that. All right, no problem. Okay, see ya. All right, see ya. Um, so, so what happened was... I, I, can, I cannot get over how little you were paid for the amount of work you just done. <laughs> Right, that's, and then, like, then, honestly, the more I think about it, the angrier I am getting. I know. Given I know. these are the same people that just decided a gun license is twenty five grand. I know, right? And so a business like... license is fifty grand. They basically like two point five to those two is like pocket change. I know, and that's why I was thinking. So I was like, so, but here's what happened, right? We hadn't talked about it. I didn't think that five thousand was going to be an issue, and like Siobhan's my friend and everything, right? So, um. I think that's is that mine, Queenie? Uh, maybe. Hi, can I go? Two, two combos with some trash juice burgers. Thank you. Trash juice on the side, and then uh, some side meat and some onion chunks and fries as well. So this is what happened, right? I text her. Um, I text her the night of the wedding before I go to sleep, and I'm like. I'm like, hey, um, I paid out 2500 to, or no, I said, well, no, I called her and I was like, we'll talk about payment afterwards. I'm just going to pay everybody out right now so that it can get taken care of, right? Because um, I didn't, you know, you don't fucking, you don't bill somebody after they just had a wedding. That's rude. So, um, so then the next day, uh, I try calling her. She's busy having meetings. I send her a text that's like, hey. Um, it's 2500 for the staff and the music and then whatever you're going to pay me, right? And uh, honestly, the way that Siobhan hands out money, I like, well, no, no, no yeah, I'm I, sorry. She was Before at City that, Hall just now and uh, someone was asking her for a 20 grand to help him buy a firearms license. Yeah, well, see, here's the thing, right? So I basically run into her at the hospital, and she's in a car, and she's like, oh, I'm, I'm doing this thing, I'm doing this thing. And I was like, okay, great. Just wanted to, like, you know, talk about that money thing. And she's like, oh, okay, just send me your send me your state ID, and then, like, leaves. And we, so we don't get to talk about it. I don't get to talk about her price. But I'm like, you know what? There's no way she's going to give me less than 5000 for that, right? There's no way. I mean, I would, I would say you should charge minimum ten. I'm Honestly, I... I for for that job, I really think that it was worth ten. But I was like, I was like, I'm okay with five because at the same time, it it was a big thing that brought me a lot of business for the future, right? But yeah, it, it definitely should have been more than twenty five hundred. But whatever, it is what it is. And um, you know, they're the people that are going to be approving my business license anyway, so it's not like I'm going to bother them about it. Yeah, next time you're doing one of these, please, God, get a contract beforehand. Yeah, I know. Well, it was... With, with, with an agreed-upon pay structure, because then if they try and stiff you, you've got a contract and can go, no, go fuck yourself, you owe me money. Yeah, exactly. So, that's once again, this is what I'll be doing going forward. At the time that I had agreed to it, it was, you know... I mean, you know me. I'm not, like... I'm not an extremely greedy person, right? Like... I think that sometimes not making there's off money between, There's a difference be... between greed and being paid fairly for a hard day's work. Right, 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 right. What's up, Koala? So, but the thing is that, like, there are, I mean, you know me, I, there are certain things that I believe might not be a correct payment necessarily, but will be more beneficial in the long run, right? This is, this is one of those things. But...
And I fucking hope so, because they just fucking bent you right over with that. <laughs> yeah. So, um... So, what I am going to... I'm sorry, and also, when this happened, I had not started the event company yet. So... Yeah, yeah. So, when this first started was maybe Tuesday, mo Monday, Monday maybe, and then, like, the next day I had a meeting with Siobhan about the planning and then also about what's the status of businesses, what's going to mm -hmm. happen, what's, you know, what's going to happen with the buildings. Obviously, I'm talking about Bahama Mamas, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, she's like, they're not going to go up for sale until at least the end of Max's term, maybe not even until the next mayor's term. Um, so there's nothing I can tell you about that besides that it's just not happening right now right so i'm like okay well then in that case um i'm gonna get a business license for an events company and i'm just gonna do the damn thing and then when it's time to buy it i'll have money saved up and a reputation and bada bang yeah uh so then that's when it was like okay well now this is the first event for my event company right okay and it's and it's huge There's no denying that. I just wish it was a fucking. It was a, you know, the payday was as big as a fucking event. Yeah. And I mean, all in all, it was only 10k for the wedding, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's time. Well, no, I'm. That, that's why I'm saying it's like it's not like the it's not like the wedding cost them an arm and a leg. It was yeah, 10K. Yeah, which is just even more frustrating when they've got some fucking mate of theirs going. Can I have 20 grand to get a gun license? And they go, Yeah, here you go. Here's 20 grand. Off you go. takes the absolute fucking biscuit. It definitely takes the biscuit. <laughs> That's done it. That nip. All right, nip. The fuck? I don't think that, you know, I don't think that is nip, actually. It's, 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 it's an identical twin. Huh. But yeah, so... So there's that, and like I said, I've already Ooh. been... Well, this person's got the best phone number ever. It ends 007. Mr. Bond. How's everybody? What's going on? Right, mate. So your, your phone ends 007, so I couldn't resist. Well, British, innit? You know, so. You guys know that I didn't know James Bond was British until Solomon told me, like, a few months ago. I had no idea. <laughs> I've never really watched them. And everybody I tell that right. to was like, Hang on. So, so, so you yeah, are food, a cadet in the, the drinks, police force. So staff, obviously willing, looking to become a cop. And you want to shadow a criminal defense lawyer. Sonny paid for the tarot card reader. The tarot card reader got 5K. What, to, to learn about my tricks so that when you got a badge, like, you're harder to work with. I see, we, I see your game. No, fair play. I mean, it's it's definitely unique. You're definitely the first cadet who's, who's had that thought process. Yeah, no worries, mate. Uh, what's your name again? Staff. Yeah, don't call me, sir. Uh, do me a favor, mate. Text me your name. I'll save it. Uh, text me that you're a paralegal. And next time I get a cell call, I'll give you a call. No, you always mate. Laters. Yeah, that guy's never getting a phone call. I thought there was an American one. Wait, what was that? It's a fucking police cadet who said, you know, when I'm not doing my FDO training, I'd, I'd love to shadow you as a paralegal. And it's like, hang on, you, you, you want to be a cop? I'm a criminal defense lawyer. Hi. I'm not teaching you my fucking tricks. <laughs> right. Are you mental? <laughs> I'm not training you so that when you finally get a badge, you're so harder sad. to deal with than the police already are. Yeah. <laughs> what a cunt. I can't wait until Saul meets Jenny. Well, fucking in, in deleting his fucking text. <laughs> um, I mean, to be fair to him, clever. Yeah. Also, go fuck yourself. Oh, you know what else? What, before we get off this topic, just the final thing. Yeah. I found out. So they had a Sunny hired a tarot card reader for the reception. Ooh. 
Who? Oh god, don't tell me you got a fucking tarot card reading. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Oh thank but God. Who cares if I did though? First of all. Oh god, I don't know. You put too much weight in that shit. I don't put that much weight in it. Excuse me. I don't put that much weight in it. Excuse me. Excuse me, Daphne Malone. Excuse me. I put a. a moderate amount of weight into a it. A moderate amount of too much weight in it. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, carry on, carry on. Anyway, so the tarot card reader, I, I want to say she was maybe doing this tarot card reading for like, I don't know, a half an hour. Guess how much she charged Sunny? No idea how much. 5k. The tarot card reader got paid more than me. What the <laughs> fuck? Yeah. N no fucking shot. <laughs> The tarot card reader made more money at, at the wedding than the person that have organized the wedding. <laughs> yes. What? That's in fucking insane. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got fucking scammed so hard. Yeah. yeah. But like I said, it's fine. I've got, you know, two major events coming up. So whatever. Yeah. Establish a pricing structure, please. Please. Yeah. Yeah, so anyway, um, 2,500, um, oh my god, oh, okay, I thought that was about to be head-on collision, then the car vanished. Oh, hang on. Bonjour. Not bad trouble, how you doing? Uh, is that the the one reference the operation? Wink, wink. I know. Oh, it should, let me know how that goes. Have been more. productive. Oh, by the way, uh, bikes came in stock. Oh. oh. I'm lying. They didn't come in stock. There's a uh, there's a sign that. outside Mosley's right now saying "fuck Mr. Mosley, he's a cunt." Yeah, for real. No, honestly, that place is currently covered in graffiti and it's just people pissed off. It was a whole day's... It was more than a whole day's work. Yes, yeah, it's, it it's been four and a half weeks since work. the last new car arrived yeah, in the city. Yeah, it would have made more at senior months. It's fucking insane. Yeah, but well, instead listen, you get 25 listen, grand gun license. How about that? It's the first event, all right? It's about the exposure and it works. I want a bike. I'm not encouraging to work for exposure, but... I'm just saying it, it was a it was a good riding move. A, oh yeah, all the police run bikes by the way. Wait, wait, you got in a you got in a push bike chase with it police? It was definitely a little too much. And what and they were on bikes as well? Maybe more for the one money order, yeah, I know. Well I think what? That, like, Oh I wish I could have seen the, that. The that sounds real is, funny. I was gonna tell Imagine Siobhan being 5K, police chased by the police, but, but they were all on push bikes. Honestly, the we didn't get to talk about it and just kind of trusted her to get to Yeah, I spoke to a cop earlier. They're, they're doing that as a protest because apparently they don't get they don't get they don't get paid enough to, to be able to fund the repair of their vehicles. So until something happens about either the government paying for the repairs or something like that, they're they're all refusing to use use anything but bikes. Right? Yeah, I mean I kind of feel for them, which is strange. I don't like feeling for the police, but but yeah, like anyway. per hour, the staff, the wait staff got paid oh, yeah, more no, than yeah, Daphne a bit a, per hour. <laughs> anyway, um, the bartenders the port, by the way, I'm kind of more money per hour than uh, Daphne. It's not. Okay. Uh, look, whenever you're done with uh, that meeting, give me a call. We'll do something stupid. Oh, that cashier. Yeah. No, we'll have the meeting. Go to bed. Nice. Staff and solid right, spot. Cool. Cute. I will let you know if bikes do come in though. All right, letters. Yeah, will you let me know when I can get a runer again? A root? Which one's that? Uh, runer. It's like that '80s looking car. Uh, remind me. Um, it's 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 on the cover of Bad Driver. It's like uh, you know my first car that I ever had. I can, I feel like I can picture it, but I'm also. I'm aware sometimes I'm, I'm in my memory shit. You know what I mean? If I saw it, I'd be like, oh, yeah. But I'm, in, I'm trying to conjure the image. And I'm failing. Yeah, it's just, it looks like it's from the 80s, right? That's why I like it. Oh, you in the 80s. Yeah, I do love the 80s. 
they I mean, made we say that while we sat and they worked in front an of a car that's probably out of the 50s or 60s so yeah it's not entirely sure what i'm what i'm fucking getting off at but here we are but anyway, uh, yeah, oh yeah, so... fu- yeah, funny news for you. If you caught, if you caught a bit of that, yeah, the police are uh, protesting their shitty pay and the fact that they can't afford to repair their vehicles by all being on bike units. Well, at least earlier on in the day, they were all on bike units. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Yeah, so there was literally six police patrolling together, all on push bikes, wearing little, nice. wearing little short shorts. You know. Nice. I love that. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, it was very 80s, and uh, they had no sirens, so they were all just ringing their bells aggressively. You know. Ding ding wow. ding 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 ding. ding kind of makes me wish i was a cop for a day you know <laughs> yeah i mean if only if only um but yeah that's that's funny i just realized by the way that if you don't look off to the left the view here is actually quite shit if you don't look to the left yeah because if you look straight ahead you just got this mound in front of you like that's it as your entire view is right. the mound you know right. so if you look to your left you get you know beautiful you know beautiful ocean views but i like yeah, but- you look you know, to the right. Slightly to my right. You look to the right, past that, and then you got the little beach, that little. Oh, that when little... you said look to your right, I thought you meant you. Obviously, that is a better view. Yeah, fair. <laughs> I was like, oh, Jesus Christ. There you go on her. Fucking hell. I mean, I'm aware you look good. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. The RAR XD unit. Oh my God. That's so fun. But anyway. But yeah, I don't know. Like, so I've got a. So like I said, I've got a celebrity's birthday party coming up and I may or may not have um, gotten into contact with a major celebrity about it. So that's going to be pretty cool. Um, And then I've got this fundraiser, which is going to be pretty unique. And then, oh, I've got emo night. I'm throwing that on Thursday. Emo night? Where are you throwing that? Where? Tequila La. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to think of who would perform an emo night other well, than Damien Tinkerman. Well, so we're going to have, well, Carmela has got em- some emo music, but uh, um, what we're going to do, I-, I had the idea for the event because I never get to play, like, like we never get to play, like, sad or slow songs because we're normally, like, providing a party, right? So I'm like, I have these ballads, I never get to play them, so emo night everybody plays their ballads and their emo rock songs like like damien's god and like some people have yeah i mean i mean emo night with like you know proper like metal and shit sounds quite fun well yeah yeah there's gonna be some of that you know what i mean i don't remember what's comment is it spit in my mouth is that the one yeah yeah spit in my mouth yeah it's it's a it's a a banger i didn't know she'd done it until i put on (laughs) put on a, a live music night at a biker bar once and Carmela rocked. I asked, I said, like, come on, do you mind being the opener? Cause, you know, if, if you open it, it will be a success. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And it also it was an open mic night. So I was like, I kind of wanted to have like a headline or like someone to open a big name to open it. Yeah. Then embolden the other people who maybe were, you know, oh shit, I'm a bit shy to me. Like, oh yeah, you know what, I'll go up and do it. And I had no idea, right, that she had music. I've never heard it before. Yeah. And obviously it's a biker bar. So she rocks up and she's like, do you want me to play music to fit the environment? I was like, Come, you know, I, I trust you. You know what I mean? Like, I trust you completely. You know, you do whatever you do. She started it and I was like, what the fuck is going on? This, and literally within seconds, there was like a 30 person mosh bit. Like people were getting laid yeah. the fuck out. Yeah. Someone pulled a, I remember at the end of that, actually, someone, it ended up being a, a fist fight. And uh, some guy in a gang down from Southside pulled a knife and started stabbing people. And I was like, you know, this is my fucking my fucking bar you dickhead fucking dome mm-hmm. the cunt <laughs> mm-hmm. they're dragging him out and he's he's doing the whole you know i'm gonna come back with my crew and i'll fuck you up you know and i was like oh great here we fucking go <laughs> and um about 20 minutes later uh, he pulls up right in a, in a car and there's you know they're all in the same colors and he goes you know who's the who's the guy that runs the bar he goes it's mine it's my bar and he goes i just want to just want to you know mate i'm, I'm so sorry I'm I'm really sorry if I ruined your event, and I'd like to I'd like to pay for the damages. Handed me twenty grand. I was like, oh, nice. oh, I was yeah, like, I, love that. I was like, I was like, this is amazing. And, and uh, he, the rest of his gang were there, kind of like pushing him forward. And he was like, you just want to know, you know, and, and it's your thing. It's a mark of disrespect, and I'm not normally like that, and all that sort of stuff. And I was sat there like, hang on, what the fuck? I thought I was going to get fucking carved up here. I was like, who has said what to this guy to be like, no, nah, don't fuck with that one. 
I don't know. Anyway, I thought I was thought there's some old school respect. You know what I mean? I don't mind people fucking saying you know, running their mouth a bit, but the fact that he came back and said sorry, then put some money towards damages. I was like, nah, fair play, mate. Yeah, right. Yeah, it made out 120 grand that night. It was great. <laughs> mm hmm. That's nice. Uh, hey, I miss running the bar. It was good fun. Yeah. Well. Would you ever do it? Uh, would you ever do it here? Nah. Nah, nah, nah. Over there was different. Like, you know, I, I'd run like two events a night and every single event, like a, a quiet event. I ran a. a, a, a I don't, I've, I'm, I've never heard of anyone else doing this. We ran a stand up comedy night. Nice. Yeah. So that was the quietest event I ever ran. 45 people with five stand ups. But I don't, I don't think here that would work. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, the occasional big event will get a good turnout. But otherwise, it's always a bit kind of like people are too busy. You know what I mean? Like they're too busy chasing that fucking payday. Yeah, yeah. Right now, it's kind of a mess in that way. Oh, it's it's it's, it's, it's fucking insane. The amount of people that I really enjoyed the company of who fucking you know give me a phone call or a text and been like, yeah, just to let you know, I'm flying out and I don't know when I'm coming back. Really? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, no. It's, if if I if I can no longer count it using both hands, that's a problem. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty fucked up right now. But I don't know. Uh. We'll see. Hopefully, something changes. Yeah, yeah, you know, something fucking needs to, you know what I mean? Something fucking needs to. I'm, I, I couldn't, you know, in order to get a gun license and a gun, it's going to set you back over 60 grand. Yeah, and it takes so fucking long to get 60 grand. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, is, is every new thing that comes along, I'm like, Aww. I'm like, yeah, what were you doing? All you're doing is handing stuff to the people that have no social life. Mm hmm. Yeah, bring nothing of value to the city. That's true. All they do is all day, every day, they run around, do it going from A to B, delivering things. That is yeah. their entire existence. And it's those people you are rewarding. Yeah. Oh, let me tell you how, uh, let me ask you how this would hold up in court. So I have this plan, right, for a laundromat heist. And uh, what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to have everybody dressed as a film crew, except me. I'm going to be in lingerie. I'm going to see if I can get a filming permit from City Hall. Maybe I bring it to them. They can sign it or something, you know? Filming permit. So I'm going to have me and uh, a videographer in the front while everybody else is doing the thing in the back, right? And when the alarm goes off, we're going to also put in a 911 call. We're going to tell them when they show up that we pulled the alarm because we were filming and I actually got stuck in the washing machine. <laughs> if you want to be real clear, so you, the minute that alarm goes, the police response is literally down the road. So yeah. if you want that to work, it, don't try and smash open the washing machines. Just go for the safe out the back. Yeah, yeah. Because apparently, well, oh, in I, I, all yeah. The machines... See, here's the thing. I don't know how the I don't know how it works. I thought everything just was in the back. No, no, no. Right. Okay. So you've got loose cash in every single washing machine. Oh, all okay. in all, from what I'm told, it only comes to about five grand in coins, okay. right? And you have to take those coins to the coin exchange. You then get uh, like washed money, and then you got to you know then you got to clean that again. Mm -hmm. um, but in the safe is about twenty grand and the USB. Okay, yeah, yeah. So you don't really need to, and then the, and the thing that gives it away is a robbery. The police turn up and there's a bunch of people smashing open fucking laundry machines. Like, well, right. You're kind of fucked at that point. So if you, if, you, if you pull that off and you were the one distracting the police, you could have someone in the back room which the police can't even see. Yeah. Open the safe. Yeah, that was the point. Yeah, that was the, the plan. I didn't know um, that there was... I... Okay, carry on. Oh, I didn't know there was money in the main room too, but yeah, you're right. We can just yeah, but it's just such such a small part. amount. If if you want this to work, then it's, you can just skip it, you know. Yeah. Um, what you could also do is find a lawyer who has no idea what your actual plan is, and get them to sign off on uh the lawyer side of the contract for a film license, mm -hmm. for a filming license, right? 
because then you have someone who genuinely doesn't know what it's all about. Right. Who would you suggest I use Rami? Uh, he hasn't got a bar license anymore. Hasn't had it for oh. about a month. No, oh, no, actually, months, Mickey. Probably. Oh, Mickey just got a bar license. I'll go do Mickey. Easy. Yeah, get Mickey to do it. Easy. Oh, damn. Now I can't tell him the plan. Uh, yeah, you kind of need someone who I would I would use a lawyer who's a genuinely a straight lawyer, and so they think it is nothing more than a you know what I mean, like genuine thing. I think some police, if they see like my signature or Mickey's, because of her, because of how many of our clientele are criminals, might be like, hmm. Right. Whereas if you get some some fucking you know just like generic fucking lawyer who maybe isn't that well known, it's it's like oh yeah, this this guy's absolutely straight, you know? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Good call. Um, but yeah, I think that'll be a pretty good plan. And I think that um, even if the people in the back get caught, for, for whatever reason, they shouldn't, um, then me and the videographer have still plausible deniability. If they try to charge us, we'll take it to court, and I don't see why we would lose. I mean, we'll just have the people that got caught say that they were free agents or, or like they were... I'll say they're like hired off Craigslist or something. And uh, then that avoids charges for me and at least one other person that's involved. Um, yeah, I mean, ultimately, it's that angle. It, ultimately, this plan fails if anyone ends up in cuffs. If people end up in cuffs, it means the police have seen through it. And at that point, it will be a sell, it will be a sell job. And it'll be whether or not a lawyer can convince them that what they think has taken place has not taken place. You can take it to bench, and then it's a roll of the fucking dice. It, it comes down to the judge. Some judges well, are so pro-cop, it doesn't matter what is presented to them, you're going to get fucked. Well, but if we have the people from the back saying, no, they were just filming, they didn't know we were doing that, we used them, then how are, how are the two people in the front going to get arrested? Oh, yeah, no, if you've got someone who are willing to fucking cop the charge if everyone else gets out, then yeah, absolutely kushti. Yeah, exactly. Because at the end of the day, that's going to, you know. I mean, if it was me doing the backdrop, I would absolutely take the fall if it meant two of the people weren't getting charges and fines, you know. Yeah, but don't do that. Otherwise, you won't get a license for your business. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm seeing. So that's why I have to make sure that the way that I go about these plans is like, even if the job is a failure, I still have plausible deniability to, to if I need to take it to court that it can get ruled that oh I, I didn't do any crime you know I think it could work and I like the idea thank you I want to hit it as well in my in my own way but I've got to wait a little bit I need to make sure that that place has been hit enough that the police response isn't as heavy handed as it is right now Kind of baffles me actually. Please get a report. A laundromat's being robbed. A laundromat, right? Mm -hmm. Dirty washing, and people turn up like five units. Like really, nothing, nothing. This is dirty laundry here. Nothing else going on today. Just some, you know, dirty laundry being stolen. Fucking mental. Wait, what? People are stealing dirty laundry. It's a laundromat being robbed, and the police mm -hmm. respond to it like it's a fucking bank. Mm -hmm. Nuts. That made no sense. Absolutely fucking mental. I don't know. I haven't done any other jobs yet, so I don't know how to do. Yeah, I don't know how any of them go. Well, the munitions uh, is apparently so simple. One person, if they were skilled enough, could get in, get out again without the police even fucking getting there. The, uh, what, those crates at the docks? Yeah, the armor shipments, the ammunition. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, all we need is a grinder. Fucking open the, the well, first of all, you got to go to an ammunition, right? you got to figure out which ammunition you got to go to. Go to the ammunition, okay. find the paperwork in the ammunition to dictate to you, you know, what the shipment is. Go and get the fucking shipment. Use a grinder to fucking grind open the fucking lock. And then grab what's inside and get out again. Wow. If you're quick, you can have got everything out and in a car and off before the police get there. 
So you just go, you just find it at an ammunition, or that you do this, like you, uh, like you contact somebody through like the HQ app or something. It's the HQ app, and that's how you get the uh, the original job, and then the original job gives you like a, a hint basically as to which ammunition you need to go to to get the paperwork to go and get the mm. right drop off. I see. Okay. And then what you what do you get from that? Just guns? Uh no, you get ammunition, magazines, gun components, and if you're very lucky, you might get a blueprint for something a bit snacky, like an extended magazine. Mm, okay. Yeah. So I haven't I haven't actually used blueprints before either. Is it that you can only use them a certain amount of times? Is that what they do? It varies. It varies from blueprint to blueprint. Some blueprints don't seem to degrade at all. Some blueprints degrade after one use, some after a hundred uses, some after five uses. It it it's each blueprint for a certain item is the same, but every blueprint is different. You know what I mean? Got it. So yeah, like yeah. like a like a car axle you might get a hundred uses out of. Or, or like a GPU blueprint, you might get three uses out of. Mm. You only find out once you've used it the first time, which of course is a bit of a fucker. You bought something for X amount of fucking buck coin, get it, and you're like, okay, you know, we're gonna fucking make loads of these, and then you use one, and oh, it's gone, fuck. Mm -hmm. ah, fucking police dog. Bonjour. Far away. How do you mean contest the arrest? Uh, I mean, someone has 30 days from being arrested and pleading not guilty to do an appeal. So once that 30 days is over, it's it's dead. In the, like, it, no one has any chance to appeal anything at that point. Yeah, there's a there's a strike there's a strike system if a vehicle was used in X amount of of violent felonies. Oh, you're good, mate. There it is. And all those questions could have been asked by looking at the MDT at City Hall where the legislation is written. <laughs> oh, so. What else is going on with you? Uh, not a massive amount. I mean, trying to get fucking various things going, but, you know, some things are easier than others because, you know, people's ability to be around and people getting burnt out on shit and the over reliance on huge amounts of money for fucking anything you know what i mean yeah. it's like you know i've got this great idea for something how much money will i need oh about one and a half million nice yeah so yeah it's just sort of it's from you know the lawyer stuff keeps me you know busy to a degree um but when I when I ain't got that, you know, I try and keep myself, you know, busy by, you know, sorting out shit for various people. But ah, it's tricky. It's tricky because so many people, you, you kind of, you'd happily go and just fuck around and spend time with someone. And they're like, oh, no, I'm sorry, mate. I'm on I'm doing tier three, group six for the next five hours. You're like, oh, right, okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, or they're doing, you know, fucking money runs or jewelry runs for three or four hours and you're like well i definitely ain't doing that fucking grind it's fucking if i get caught doing that it's say goodbye to my bar license so yeah. i ain't running that risk plus at the moment everyone and their dog's getting robbed doing it anyway so if you ain't getting yep. caught by the police you're getting caught by another gang yep thank you Rudy. you know i had my fucking um i had my niece and uh 
very good friend of mine who've got a moonshine operation, you know, down in the sewers, and they phoned me up today saying, "Let me just go fucking, you know, fucking little tugs." Apparently, he's now trying to tax anyone in the sewers. It's like, you know, what? who the fuck is he to be like? Yeah, I own the sewers now. What? Yeah. Wait, little tugs. Little tugs. Did you get home, man? Did you? What? I wonder how the uh, the sewer people feel about that. I mean, what sort of people? There's like two of them around. I mean, like, there used to be loads of them, but you know, Rat King, issues that no, Rat, Rat King's King around. And Rat King and Sewer Queen are still still around. Yeah, but v very intermittently, and they've got no and they've got nothing to back them up. Hmm. I remember having a meeting with a Rat King once, and there was like fucking six Rat rats King. around him. These days, he's lucky if he's, you know, got one person with him. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That is true. Yep, yep. They go a bunch of bullshit. What about your what about your club? Yeah, that's all ticking along. That's all ticking along. Again, you know, got a bunch of people who are fucking fed up with the way the city works right now. Yeah. You know, so, but you know, that's that's echoed fucking all over the place. Half the people I talk to at the moment are fucking saying the same shit. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 I think everybody kind of shares that sentiment. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, it's just it's just universal. You know, everyone and their dogs kind of got to that point now of being like, you know, okay, so. We're we working towards, you know what I mean? Mm. <laughs> like, what, what is right? What is the point? What is the point between, behind all this? So everything just costs exorbitant amounts. Generating money is an absolute fucking slog, an unpleasant slog. And it seems if you aren't willing to lose your entire social life to generate money, then go fuck yourself. Yeah. Yeah, hunting is like the only job you can actually have a full group of people doing. What's that, sorry? Hunting is like the only job you can actually have a full group of people on. Yeah, and then the hunters have been robbed left, right, and center right now. God. Yeah, the minute, you know, there was a, uh, it came out that, you know, people were starting to make a bit more money for, you know, various different animal parts. Mm. Suddenly that was it. Well, worth money. I'm going to start robbing it. Yeah, I mean, that's been everything. That's literally everything. Senior buns, pay raise. Now we're getting robbed. Now, like. Sanitation. Now they're being robbed. Sewers, mm. moonshine's kicking off. Now they're being robbed. It's just, it just, yep. it just, yeah. Yeah. And of course, you know, the people who are getting robbed like several times a day, they're just going, you know what? Fuck this. Well, yeah, because here's the thing. Nobody has the resources to fight right now. Like, like you could have chain gang rob the company and the company's not even going to think it's worth it to retaliate. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, that, and that's, I mean, imagine it through the lens of, a, of an actual civilian. Right, there's not even a police force with enough weight behind it to do anything. Yeah. You were not wrong. No, and I and I deeply, deeply wish that I was. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, I've come up with something that I I is a massive big goal for me but it, it, i'm gonna have to, have to figure out a way of generating one and a half mil mm. i want to build a hotel hmm. because under a hotel there's so many things that you could encompass mm -hmm. you know right you, you, you know first of all you've got the reception the foyer right beautiful <laughs> adjacent to that you've got the bar Nice little place to chill out, order some drinks, be social. Mm -hmm. Go up a flight of stairs, you've got some bedrooms, you've got some lovely rooms, beautiful rooms, right? Mm -hmm. Rent them out, five, ten grand a night. Someone's got, someone's getting married, the honeymoon suite. Mm -hmm. You know, a, a couple on their, like, on their fifth date and they want to go somewhere that's nice. You know, have a few drinks at the bar, professional mm -hmm. barman looking after them, maybe some live music, after they go to their bedroom. So, you know, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And all the way at the very fucking top, beautiful, beautiful office, right, meeting room, yeah? Mm -hmm. And downstairs, of course, you got you know you got the 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 heart, the backbone of the hotel, which is where all the work is done. So down there, 
Yeah, people are fucking using their sheets all the time. Got to have a, got to have a, you know, washing facilities. Have a laundromat in there, don't you? Of course. A laundromat down there. I mean, of course, you know, it's a big, big building, big security system. You need a hell of a computer with a couple of uh, server racks down there, wouldn't you? Of course. Yeah, the power, of everything. Cool. You need that down there. You know, chances are, you know, you need a, a handyman, maintenance work. You know, they've got to have a bench down there so they can make what they need to make. Of course. You know, and then of course you've got to have a wine sommelier. Now, someone wants a nice pairing. Maybe, they, maybe they've got some plans that you need to go out and achieve something. Mm-hmm. Let me introduce you to the sommelier. What do you need? I'm sure, the sommelier can come up with whatever it is you need. You know, and you know, then maybe we end up making it. Maybe you know, anyone can hire a room, but for certain services, you have to be a member. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe a nominal membership fee. When you get that membership fee, you are handed something. I don't know, uh, like a coin mm-hmm. to denote membership. Yeah, sounds great. Yeah, yeah. It's something that I've wanted to do since five years ago. I'm going to call it the embassy. Nice. Yeah. So when you get to the embassy, you are on hallowed ground. It's a safe haven. doesn't matter who you are. Once you are on that property, you cannot be touched. Yeah. This is what we wanted to do with the Belmont in 1985 before we got Salieri's. Kind of like a... John Wick, basically. Yeah, I hope that you can do that. Yeah, I need like one and a half million. That's the only, that's the only, that's the only issue. Yep. Yep. That's the issue I'm going to have as well. Yeah, because when my home mama's goes for sale, if it does go to for sale, I mean, there's empty warehouses in the south side going for a mill. Yeah. You know, like you're talking millions for that place. Yep. And the person that ends up buying it will be some no-name you've never heard of. Yeah. You know what I mean? You'll be like, who the fuck is that guy? And they'll be like, oh, he's, he does a lot of crime. You'll be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's the manager of G6, you know, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, you know there's a group in the city right now who have four properties in Mirror Park. Four. What? Yep. How? 25 of them, and you've never seen or heard of most of them. <laughs> That's how. Are you serious? Yep. Does it like it's like a game? Yep. What is it? Uh, it's Kenoshiro Yakuza. What? Yep. yep. And just no one has ever met them. Oh no, it's, it's Mary Mushkin and her lot. Oh. So the fact is, they own four fucking properties. Four. Because they're just. Grinding all day, every day, huh? Yeah, that's it. That's exactly it. Yeah, that's uh, fucking you, wild. You, they could, you could get all twenty-five of them walk past you. You probably, you probably better point out three of them. You know what I mean? That's fucking wild. Well, great, very cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's fucking mint, isn't it? Uh, well, well, I got my event business anyway. I got shit to do. Yeah, I mean, that, that's the trick, I think, is just keep yourself fucking busy and ignore the many frustration points. But yeah. What's your plans for the rest of the day? Uh, well, I was waiting for it to get dark so I could bend you over this bench and have fun with you. Uh, oh. And then, <laughs> I mean, we could do it now. I mean, I don't give a shit. <laughs> um, there's no one on the beach, weirdly enough. Actually, no, there is not. Actually, that is a lie. There's a there lot is, of people down there. Yeah, they can't really see you from here. It's uh, I mean, the, I mean, the, the loud, you know, fucking noises and clapping sounds might alert and something's going on. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Well. Okay. Other than that. After that, uh, I'd probably lie down, a bit tired, you know what I mean? Just lie on the grass here, enjoy the view. Uh, drive back to the town, uh, you know, give you a kiss. You get out of the car, and then, I don't know, I don't know. I I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm not tired, tired yet, though I feel I'm not far off it, but. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know, I might go to MRPD, just see if there's any um, cell work going on. I need to speak to an officer to, to confirm the uh Foa, or Foia, 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 whatever the fuck. Foia. Basically, 
yeah for you i need to check that process i've been asked three different officers i've got three different answers it's like how like there's got to, what the fuck is the process all right well i gotta go run g6 so <laughs> Ugh, who are you running that with? I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm just made that up. Oh my god! Thank God. I was like, oh, I mean, I mean, I do it with I do it with my niece every now and again. That's because she's got a tier three. Yeah. You know, we no, jump, I... we jump in that for an hour, and make four grand, like easy. Yeah, exactly. No, I, I do the same thing with other people. Yeah. But I gotta get uh, I gotta get organized in this party. Who's it for? You can't tell anybody because it's a literally. I a won't surprise, even know who it is. Party. You know what I mean? You who the would. Fuck would I tell? You would, but just don't tell me because it's literally a surprise party, okay? It's April oh, Fools. I ain't telling anyone. Who? April Fools. I don't know who that is. She's like one of the biggest pop stars from in Los Santos. Right. I mean, well, used to be. She doesn't really this, make this music is... now. Well, well, there you go then. So five years ago, she was someone. And even then, I wouldn't know who she was. Oh, hmm. yeah. Yeah, I gotta get with her friends. We can figure out how to pass on the invites, figure out a date, stuff like that. Yeah, trying to organize a big secret event is gonna be. Like, all we need is one dickhead to say one thing by accident, and that's it. Yeah, exactly. That's why it's gonna be between the people that are planning it until I would say a week before, and then I'm gonna pass out the invitations and make it like emphasize, be like, listen, don't fucking tell people. Well, I'm sure you will fucking smash it the way you smashed a wedding. Just make sure you get fucking paid this time. Yeah. Please. Definitely. Jesus, I can't. If I can't, I, I will lose my shit if you're like, they're only paying me two and a half grand again. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not. No, we're not letting that happen again. Oh, fuck no. How much are you planning on charging? Um. I would say. I would say at least 5k. Well. For the. I don't know. Cause I think I'm, you're I'm, undercharging. People can make 5k in a single hour. <sighs> yeah, I actually, no. I'm doing this pretty fucking big. Like, I'm flying in a celebrity for this. So, probably... Probably... Yeah, I don't know. I'll think about it. Could be 10. I think realistically, however much it costs to put together, your feed needs to be minimum 50% on top. Yeah. Oh, that is a that is a broken bridge. Who are you who are you flying in, by the way? I cannot say that. P money. I can't say. I can't say who it's gonna be. Well, I know who it's gonna be. You just told me. What? You just told me just now. No, I didn't. He did. I said P money, and you didn't say no. Yeah, because I'm not gonna tell you yes or no to anybody. Must because it's P money. I'm not gonna tell you yes or no to anybody. Okay, it's P money. <laughs> You're so stupid. Why am I so stupid? You could have said anybody and I would have had the exact same response. Yeah, but it's because it's P money. Okay, whatever you want to believe. Uh, I, I don't, I mean, it doesn't really matter, really, does it? Anyway, I look forward to. Is it like an invite only thing or. Probably, is, but... it, is it Beyonce? Yes. Well, no, oh. I, it's not. It, of course it's not Beyonce. <laughs> I knew it's Beyonce. <laughs> I was at uh, a party at Liquid Library that was thrown together. It was a bunch of cops off duty having fun together. And uh, it's an officer I quite like, because Officer Lovesick, and he really doesn't didn't like the music being played, so he had headphones on. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what music do you listen to? And he was like, oh, I'm listening to Lady Gaga. And I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. And initially, and everyone's in hysterics. I'm like, what song? And he goes, oh, you know the one. Poker Face? <laughs> I was like, mate, what is, what is going on? I was like, you just outed yourself as a fucking Tory with those fucking responses. Mm -hmm. Never heard anyone call her Lady Gaga. <laughs> I loved it. It was fucking hilarious.
I got this engine repaired the other day and I feel like I already need it to get repaired again. Which I don't love. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm not looking forward to. Is car repairs are shit, dude. That's why the police are all fucking protesting. They they earn three grand in a shift, and it costs the fucking four grand to get the car repaired. Yep. Right, Roo. Far away. No, if it's at the top, it means it's about to run out. So whichever warrants at the top is the is the one closest to running out. Whichever one's at the bottom is the latest one being added. Yeah, no worries. Do you remember what day it was that you first saw that go up? Okay. Well, assume minimum seven days on a warrant. No worries. Uh, I can't remember either. How, how do you get your apartment number and state ID mixed up when an apartment number has a letter in it and a state ID does not? Oh, yeah, no, okay, yeah, no, yeah, you are, yeah, you are painfully cooked. Yes, I would. Yeah, 100%. Uh, if I, I'll try and figure out when your warrant came up, by the way. I'll let you know if I find out. Nah, you're all good. Players. Oh my god, you dickhead. Really? Just pulling out. Just pulling out? Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I want to try and, I want to try and get hold of the head of the bar. I want to propose a change to the current way that uh, some of the legal shit. Oh my god, it's done. Uh, which is, say for example, you, I'm your lawyer, I'm on retainer, right? And a warrant goes out for you. I am not allowed to know what is in that warrant. Because hmm. it's active. When realistically, if I could see what was in the warrant, see what the charges were, I could advise you as your lawyer, look, here is the charges. You know, I've spoken to the police already, and this is what they're willing to do if but you I'm come and walk yourself <laughs> into MRPD. And that makes yeah. sense, rather than, right. like... You know, you know, like a warrant could go out for you. You have no clue what it's for. And no one can tell you unless you hand yourself in without knowing what it's for. Fucking yeah. stupid. Anyway, so I want to try and make that argument to the head of the bar so he can try and propose it up the chain and see if that can get changed. Oh, where am I? Where am I driving to, by the way? Oh, my house. Oh, of course I am. Is my... The hood of my car, by the way, is that popped up or is it flat? Um, it's popped up. Okay, okay. Uh, I need to get it repaired. Glad we finally got to hang out. Say that? Huh? Say that again? I said I'm glad we finally got to hang out. Yeah, fucking finally. After, I mean, I'd say two weeks, but obviously one of those weeks I wasn't even in the fucking country, so. still um hanging out much with uh what's her name that group of girls you were hanging out with for a bit and then one of them got cunty oh no not really uh, how come this didn't be fucked or mm, yeah i mean i don't know 
that girl, you know, she does what she does, so I haven't. Uh, uh, when you say that girl, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, she's um, she's in the fucking gang now. If you're talking about the same person, I'm thinking talking about. Yeah. Yeah, with the old man, then boys. Really? Yeah, so the gang's called the Manor. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Weird. Well, I hope they enjoy her. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know how much time she spends with that old social group. If I'm honest with you. Yeah, I have no idea. I mean, well, what happened the other day? Um, the other day I was down at Wu Chang, and uh, she runs up to one of the one of the artists. I think it was one of the might have been one of the old bimbos or something. And she was like, "Hey, I wanna I wanna have an event. Will you help me do it?" And I was like. You know, I was like right there and I was like, you know that I'm the person that does all the events pretty much, right? Like, like it's either Lollipop or it's me. And she just just completely ignored me like like I wasn't there. So I was like, okay, all right, great, cool. I wish I, I could figure out what the fuck her problem is. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if we'll ever be able, I don't know if I will ever be able to figure out what the fuck her problem is with me, but... No, I, 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 I don't think there is, there's even a, a natural reason. You know what I mean? I, I think it's there she's isn't. decided there's a problem, and that's it. The problem. Yeah, exactly. There, there literally is no problem at all. There's no reason. She, yeah, she, she just feels like she, uh, she doesn't like me. I don't know. Maybe she's threatened to something. I don't fucking know. But uh, that's the way it is. And uh, whatever. She's got a problem. She can have it. She can keep it. Yeah. Oh, speaking of lollipop, is he ever around? Oh, he's always around. It's just not when you are. Oh, you around? okay. He's I used to see him quite day. a bit, like w when I was around, and then I just suddenly just never see him anymore. I was like, "Oh, I wonder what happened to him." Oh, he's on that late night schedule. He'll he usually shows up maybe like a few hours from now. Okay, that would explain it. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, uh, no, you've got food. Don't you? I've, had to, I've had to offer you some food before you go, but yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'll see you soon. Okay, I'll right, see gorgeous. you tomorrow. I'm going to sit here and enjoy the best view of the city while you walk back to your house. Okay. Best view, by the way, is your... Yeah, I got it. I understand what you... Yeah. All right, I wasn't too sure. <laughs> Bye. Um. Oh, heading. Okay. All right, Max... Oh, she'll be busy. It's been an hour. Um, I have an idea. None of the housemates are awake right now, man. Bob and Weed, me, Scott. Hey, Naomi. Hi, Daphne. Sorry, ignore what I just said. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> How are you? I'm doing so good. How are you? Okay, listen. I have mm -hmm. something. That's actually a secret. You literally cannot talk to people about this. I'm so fucking serious, okay? Okay, you can trust me. Like, for real, for real. Mm -hmm. um, I'm in charge of throwing a surprise birthday party for April. Ooh, okay. So, I was wondering... What do you think it would take to get the bimbos together for one night only for April's <gasps> birthday? Oh... This is some really sensitive territory, Daphne. When is it? It's going to be at the end of the month. Because her birthday is April 1st, I believe. April 1st. Okay, and do you... Okay. Do you have any other details about what the event's going to be? Where? What time? What the theme? Like, anything else? We're literally planning it right now. Um, all okay. that I have is... Basically, literally, I just got hired to do the event. So I'm trying to put the mm -hmm. artists together and then I'm going to be meeting with her friends today to talk about uh, the venue and who we need to invite and stuff like that. That's so nice of you. Yeah. That, honestly, getting the bimbos together, you know, for an event like that would be 
it would be life changing, and I think it would mean a lot to a lot of people. Um, right. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to the girls, and I'm gonna get back to you. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Just make sure you emphasize this is a secret because it's a surprise party. Okay. Okay. I won't say a word. Don't even worry. Okay. Thank you, Naomi. Okay. I would love I would love to know. have something special like that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for asking. I really appreciate the offer. Yeah. Of course. Okay. Sounds great. I'll let you know then. Okay. All right. I'll see you soon. Okay. Bye. 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 Um, yeah, so anyway, that's what I, that's my major plans for, um, for the party. I want to do a bimbo's reunion, which I think would be massive. I want to have Liz Anya, and I want to have the other person who I am talking to. And as soon as I get the date, we can talk with everybody and figure out, um, what we can do for it. But we need to talk to... We need to talk to Max. We need we need Max and Raymond. They will be like the most important people in making this happen. Um, so hopefully Max gets back to us soon. Let's start calling Murphy again. We need to hang out with Hazel. Um, Hey, hey. Hey. Hey, where you at? Hey. Is that you? Um uh yes, it was. I uh, just passed by. I am um I am uh I might be doing uh a little something. Like what? I'm doing something with, you know, a bunch of pals, you know. Um, something like quite dangerous, you know. Okay, like. Not killing anyone, just doing a. It's like a. A meet, a meetup. What? Yeah, that sounds like a meetup. Sort of thing. Just, just, just say, say what you say what you mean. Say what you mean. We're making money. We're making money. Okay. That's that the best way to put it. That doesn't explain anything. Just. Um. I, uh, mean. You know a job. We're we're doing a job. We're we're doing a job. That's that's the best way to put it, you know? Okay. Can't say I can't say who's on it or what job we're doing, but we're doing a job, you know? Okay. Okay. Um we we so I might be a little busy, you know? Currently. Okay. I'm really sorry. Um, I really need to catch up. Huh? When do you think You'll be done. Uh, seeing as though the way that these guys are doing it, I'm not necessarily sure. I mean, do you have time to talk though? Yeah, I have. I have time right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah no, it's just, it's been a fucking week, Def. It's been. I got evicted. I didn't get stabbed. I got robbed, essentially, and you know, shit like that. Oh. Um. Yeah, the same people who evicted me out of the house like robbed me, and then they apologized, and it was, it's a lot, it's a lot to deal with. Honestly, I've been kind of having like the worst time of my life, you know. But you know, oh, yeah, yeah, it's a lot. But uh, you know, I'm getting through it. You know, fuck it, Mama didn't raise no bitch, right? <laughs> you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, so I just had a hundred k to my name. I was a big, I, not even a hundred k. I had like a hundred. I had a hundred dollars to my name yesterday. Oh, uh, yeah. So there was washed cash in the house that I got evicted in. And I couldn't even get that out. You know, I just wake up one morning. They told me I was going to do the laundromat, and then, um, yeah, they just uh, God damn it. yeah, woke up, couldn't do it. Oh, we're not. God damn it! Uh, the fuck is we're not. Fuck. All right. 
<laughs> um, I just want you know, it's, 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 been, it's been a hassle. Like, trust me. It's been fucking terrible. But, you know, I'm sorry, the only thing I can... No, it's fine. I feel like this is like I'm a in. way longer story that you just gave me like a TLDR. All right, that's cool. That's chilling. All right, no problem, my dude. Oh my God, I just want the wide view. I just want the wide view. Catch, we still need to catch up. All right, uh, well, actually, it seems like we're not fucking doing the job. <laughs> okay. Great. Oh, actually, are you... are you at the house? Uh, yeah, I am. I am out front. Oh, okay. Um, give me one second, okay? Yeah, all good. Um, guys, give me. Oh, I was on the wide view. Up... I don't. I don't get it. All right. Um, guys, give me one second. I need to see about this. This dog really fast because he seems like he needs something you do seem like you want something right now be right back i can't sleep because i am haunted by these memories the clock be ticking driving me crazy Someone pull me out of this misery Words I should have said Some feel my regret Have to let you go Never want you back Won't go back to that Have to let you go I wanna forget, I wanna forget, I wanna forget so much, so much I regret I wanna forget, I wanna forget, I wanna forget The light of my heart is getting too hot, so much I regret I remember a promise, everything that you wanted And the lengths I would've gone to make you sure you got it When I pushed you away, you were supposed to push back I regret I wanna forget, I wanna forget, I wanna forget The hurt of my heart is getting too hot, so much I regret I wanna forget, I wanna forget, I wanna forget The hurt of my heart is getting too much, so much I regret I wanna forget, I wanna forget, I wanna forget The hurt of my heart is getting too hot, so much I regret
Just, I just did, you know. And who? uh, who is the house? You know, Fanny, Forehead, Ming, right next to the Wu Chang house, you know. Oh, okay. I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah, yeah. It uh, went really. Uh, it didn't feel too good. Honestly, um, and I guess. Yeah, I tried to I tried to you know, help some friends out and you know I would always direct people towards Fanny business Fanny's business but I guess she didn't necessarily see it that way huh yeah and so uh, you know I essentially got kicked out but I guess the decision was made without anyone else's like without anyone else's like a uh, fucking say so you know hmm Really? So, yeah. Anyone else so say kinda, so? Meaning, like, so then who said so? It wasn't. It wasn't discussed. So I guess it was Fanny's decision. So, so uh, essentially, I got kicked out. Um, I got kicked out. I asked, you know, the sixty k I invested in the house. I'm like, you mind if I get twenty of it back? And I still haven't heard anything yet. So. Wow, that's crazy. Yep. And then there was wash cast in the house that I couldn't really get a hold of. So, you know, I'm kind of here now. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. That fucking sucks. Oh, 100%. The day before, I got robbed by CG. For oh. 10K of my wash cash. Fuck. Yeah, so I literally only had $100 from my name. Damn. I am shopping. Yeah, so I mean, that's pretty much exactly what happened. I've been kind of over it. Then a couple of people, you know, uh, a couple of people uh, went ahead and, you know, bothered me about it. And, uh, just, what, do you mean, uh, what do you mean by bothered you? Well, they were just talking to me like, you know, why didn't you do your thing? Why didn't you do that thing? What, why didn't what, you help? You blah, mean? blah, blah. Why didn't you? Because there was an entire thing that happened on the block, right? Where I think Fanny, Fanny and Ming robbed Gigi Costello. Okay. And I was on the block. I didn't realize that I didn't know it was Gigi holding him up. So I came behind them. I came behind them. And uh, I came behind them while they were doing that. I didn't know how many people were involved. So I just stood by, right? Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, of course. And so all I, all I basically could do at this point was just chill out and do what I, do what I need to do. And essentially, I guess she took that well, yeah, wrong. You, 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 can't just, you can't just roll up on a situation and, like, involve yourself like that. Yeah, I can't involve myself. That's one. And Especially up until the on, point where yeah. and up until the point where Fanny was in Ming like was like was let go, I didn't leave. You know what I mean? So as soon as mm -hmm. she was let go and I she was safe, I just kinda I kinda did everything I need to do. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So what was the problem with that? That you didn't run in with do you, I mean, did you have a gun? No. Yeah, so what All the fuck was did a you knife. What the fuck are I, you supposed I, I, to do? I, I, I don't know. What's up, Jody? Jody, thank you so much. I, I, I personally don't know. She said also, like, her, you know, me going ahead and washing some money, even though, like, even though anytime someone has ever. How's your stream? Asked what were you doing? To, like, wash money. Like, hey, do you know someone who washes money? Or do you, like, trust Fanny and washing money? I'm like, yeah, I do. And I'm like. So, what was the. Wait, what was the problem with that? Thank you. There was no problem. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me let me fix my hair and then. Um... RP, you are RPing. We haven't gotten to chill in RP lately. 
I'm kind of thinking about this, actually. No, this doesn't look good. What about this? God, no. No? God, no. Why not? It, it is... <laughs> nah. There's all but two fucking hairstyles that look good on me. <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid, though. I hope to see you soon. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Why can't I have anything in this world? Thank you. whatever yeah. okay so yeah it's wait okay Honest... so so back it up back it up back it up okay so tell me about this hold up situation so so you roll up and there's like a fuck ton of people there or like what okay i was at kitty's house which is right on the block okay. right like right above i was hanging with kitty and i saw fanny who I live with, Fanny getting held up by masked individuals. With the gun. I pulled a knife out. I see two individuals and I see no with a knife. With a knife. Oh. This was before anyone had guns. Right? Okay. So essentially what ended up happening was I pull up. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I see Fanny held up. I pull out my knife. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? There are like three people, there are like six people already already involved in the scenario, like all together, not on oh. both sides. Okay. So I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I see Fanny, she's like, Hazel. She's like, hi, Hazel. I'm like, hey, what's up? And she's like, oh, she's gonna give it back. And she's talking about how Fanny robbed her. I'm like, who's in the mask? Then Gigi, Gigi Castello, like is the one who's there. Like, oh, you're gonna stab me? And I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. And then she let Fanny go. Fanny went the b b head back to me. She was safe. And that's when I left. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? She said, Costello tells me, oh, they robbed her. They wouldn't admit to robbing her. Like, it, it sucks. Shit like that. And I'm like sitting here like, all right, what if, do you want me to, do you want me to pay you back for the, for the shit that they stole? She's like, no, it was only a thousand dollars, but it was just the principal. Okay, seems that was one of the, that was one of the reasons that Fanny kicked me out of the house because she didn't feel like I was helpful enough or ready to be by her side when she like when something went down. So but, wait, so 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 did Gigi take anything from Fanny or she just held oh, her no. up to make a point? She just she was just held her up to make a point on the block. 
and shit like that with another with, a, with I think like Sparky or someone. You know? So I guess Fanny. So Fanny's whole thing is, if it would have been more serious, I wouldn't have been able to count on you. Is basically her thing. Yeah, but uh, or some shit like that. But the problem was, I was there. I didn't know who was involved. It was messy because I joined in late. That's what right. I'm yeah. If you don't know what the fuck is going on, I mean, hang on. One yeah. Second. Hey. Let go. Oh. Hang on one second. Uh, hey Daphne, I just wanted to uh, get get back to you after getting your text. I've just been super busy. Um, do you wanna do you wanna talk in like uh, 20, 30 minutes maybe? That could work. I have not been able to get a hold of Max yet today. Well, Max, uh, Max is with uh, a April's in town right now, and they're uh, they're they're doing they're they're doing car stuff. She just got a car. Well, I just I, I just got her a car, basically. Oh, that was nice of you. Yeah, I I, I got called. I was with them, but I got called away. So I'm just dealing with a lot of work stuff right now. But um, I should should hopefully be freed up very soon. If you wanted to chat. Okay. I mean. Yeah, I definitely want Max to be part of it too. Okay, it's gonna be tough. Uh, it's gonna be tough to, to get them apart. You know what I mean? So it's probably better to talk to him on a day that she's out of town. Okay, that's fine. Well, the only thing is, um, I'm I believe I'm going to be flying in someone very special for this event. So okay, um, I kind of want to get a date as soon as we can. Yeah. All right, all right. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I, I'm picking. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Uh, yeah. Let me let me get at Max after this because uh, I'm gonna try to link back up with them. Um, when I'm done with this meeting. Okay, sounds good. All right, I'll I'll, I'll let you know as soon as I know something. Okay, awesome. I'll talk to you soon. All right, thanks, Stephanie. Mhm. Mm okay, I'm sorry. So, I don't know. See, because here's the thing, right? I think that's a little bit of a foolish way to look at it because say that say that you come in hot you come in hot you've got your knife out you know you whatever you run up to next to fanny like it's fucking west side story you know what i mean and and then what now all of a sudden you just turned the situation hostile exactly there was so, like a, it was well every well, look Everyone in the house agrees that I was done wrong, and I was done dirty. That's that's all it is. I essentially uh, the only thing that everyone's been saying that it is what it is. The situation that happened earlier that really made me turn coat was when I wanted to. What the fuck was it called? When I wanted to go ahead and what the fuck was it called? When I wanted to go ahead and um. I guess what you can say is like just do my own thing i was kind of i wasn't i like you know when the, when they told me oh you've been kicked out of the house and i'm like okay i just left i didn't argue i didn't fight i didn't beg i just said okay and i left you know what i mean okay. yeah because if the decision's already made up then it's already made up there's nothing i can do to like you know talk to you about it yeah that's fair so so i did it So, and then, you know, that fucking happened, and I was kind of mad about it, but it is what it is. Then, you know, I evaded from cops. I evaded from cops, and... Uh... Hey, can I call you back? Okay, yeah, I'll call you back. I'm sorry. Um, so, essentially, what ended up happening after that... I say essentially a lot. It's like a fucking thing, mom. It's funny things. Um, I was done dirty. After that, I evaded from cops, right? As I do, I was just not feeling it. I was like, whatever. I, 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 I escaped cops. Then I go up to Polito to meet up with some friends, right? They roll up on me. The same people who evicted me, by the way. And attempt to rob me. Why? I don't know. When they literally already robbed you because you had money in the house that you're not getting back. Well, they didn't. They didn't know I had money in the house. But why so, would they want to I mean, rob you anyway? After that, like, I mean, what is the point? I think I, I. I don't know. So I pulled out my wrench. I said, "Fuck you! I'm done running." 
and then they beat me up. They robbed some stuff out of my glove box. Didn't rob anything off of me. And they're like, why didn't you have Fanny's back? Do you want to maybe the... do you want to maybe do like oh I get a shine run's really hot right now? I just I I, I can't do shine right now. I just after being like robbed by CG, I just don't even want to entertain that shit. I do grime and I chill out and I'm just like Okay, sorry, I'm just like less than a thousand away from a business license, so I'm just kind of trying to be like think of ways that like we can talk and, and grind at the same time. Yeah. Um okay, it's... I'm sorry, so continue. Yeah, I just when it comes down to it, it's honestly like I've been having a week. After that, cops came up, my car got impounded, and then I went to the hospital. After that, I freaked shit, honestly. I was kind of tired of it. Talked to some people, let it all out. After that, I just, uh, be real with you. It's, it feels kind of bad. I'm not gonna lie. So, my car got impounded. I had, uh, because of the car imp impound, like, because of my car being impounded, I had less than a hundred bucks. And yeah, these, uh, a bunch of their friends, started like talking to me at like the hospital right before storm right before tsunami and i legit just like i, I was getting clowned on while while right there and i legit just straight up while i was talking to them i fucking pulled out a wrench and i i took on three of them and so yeah there's that wait so i'm sorry where was that uh, in front of the hospital later that later that tsunami so, in front of the hospital later that tsunami, you took a wrench on three of them? Yeah. Okay. And that's and... it. And then I took, a, I took yesterday off, and just kind of building up my fun since then, honestly. I, I refuse to fuck with Southside Gangs from now on, honestly. Okay. Fuck them and fuck CG. That's how I feel. Why do you have beef with CG? They robbed me on Friday. They shot me and robbed me on Friday. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Um. I why? literally bought moonshine. I bought moonshine from them, and I'm like, "Hey, Gomer, tell your boys not to rob me because I'm literally pushing your shit." And he's like, "Yeah, I got you, no problem." And then, go ahead. What happens? I end up getting robbed by fucking CG. It, was that a communication error, or were they being disrespectful? I think I think they just did it just to do it. Hmm. So, fuck CG, fuck the besties. I don't care anymore. I'm done fucking with the besties. Yeah, that's the house that I love them. You know, forehead Ming. Yeah, and even then, Dick had even Dick had apologized to me after beating me up with a wrench, and he literally said there was some miscommunication. What happened was wrong. You got kind of fucked. It is what it is. I'm sorry for what happened. Damn. But I mean, yeah, I'm just done dealing with Southside Gangs one. So yeah, I've been having a week. I was gonna clearly see. Wow. Okay. Getting robbed one day to getting kicked out the next, then fucking literally have zero dollars for my name. It's been a lot, honestly. So yeah. That is definitely a week. Yeah, it definitely has been. I can tell you that much. So yeah, that's kind of what I've been up to, honestly. Well. I've just been in the back at Senior Buns writing music. <laughs> that's good. Um, uh, my business license is, I'm sorry, my business proposal uh, I wrote up my business proposal and it's getting transferred into a cute little document right now by somebody, a designer. And then I may or may not, hopefully, be uh, the first person in the city to get a business license. Well, that's good. It's good to hear. I'm glad that at least my shitty luck isn't rubbing off on you. Yeah. Don't worry about that, though. I'm not going to lie to you. Um... We'll cross that bridge when we come to it, I guess. 
It's just not something I really want to deal with. I don't know. Yeah. Waiting for a fucking mo well. I mean, I guess I don't really have money from Mosey's restock right now, but. Yeah, I mean that's how I feel about it. I mean, I got 10k a day just from doing grime, so I'm just kind of doing my thing, you know. I can make money. I know I can. I just don't. What what is it called? With everyone getting gun licenses, with there's so many shots. Like even like today, there was a literal shooting at the VU. Like I'm, I ain't really a about it right now. A shooting at the VU. Why the fuck would there be a shooting at the VU? Because that's why you deposit and get clean money. Oh, right. remember? Right. Yeah, someone was definitely trying to rob someone. You know. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at everything honestly it's uh it's been it's been a it's been a the past couple of days have been a lot and i'm trying to just get myself on my bootstraps and just do my thing you know what i mean mm -hmm. plus i did get my car engine replaced so that's good that's nice so now my car is at 100 percent. i'm happy about it okay yeah So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with everything, honestly. Hmm. I'm feeling, um, I don't know. I am feeling exhausted lately, though. I will not lie. Like, what do you mean? Just in general, I'm fucking tired. I mean, yeah, I feel that. A lot of shit going on and you know i i don't blame you i've been i mean that's why i took yesterday off i spent all day in my apartment yesterday honestly mm -hmm. yeah i had a lot of fun spending nice. all day in my apartment it was definitely necessary i could tell you that yeah i don't I mean, know I was, you don't know what I've just got, um, I got stuff to plan, which is nice. Um, I've got events to plan, which is a good thing, but it's like, I feel like there's just still so much shit to like grind. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm literally have a successful business right now and I'm still going to have to like, work work jobs just to be able to afford anything you know oh yeah 100 that's kind of how that's kind of how it is you have to get it now you know mm -hmm. that's the way i look at it you just have to work now so that way later you know you don't the way you have to or you don't have to do it later it's a lot of work right now very much a lot of work. Who knows? That could possibly change. Like, I'm slowly working my way up the grime ladder, and I'm eventually gonna have that money. You know what I mean? Yeah. Eventually. I know I will, but for as for right now, I just need uh Right now, I just need to pull myself up, do the grime, don't complain, and just deal with it. I'm done. Yeah. I'm kind of done with I'm kind of done with trusting people that I'll be real with you. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's a very fair reaction. Can't be as... I guess what's the word? As kind as I was before? Mm -hmm. I mean, the city's fucking brutal right now. Yeah, we're in a reception. No. Honestly. And I like right now I'm just slowly but surely working on myself to get some grime rep and to chill out. Yeah. So I get the grime rep, I can do packer runs all of all the fucking time. Yeah. And then I could just sit there, make three K because that's how I made most of my money today. Yeah. I did three packer runs. That's twelve K. You do three of those a day. We're good. I'm yeah. good. You know? It's like literally 24k, none to worry about, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, 
that's kind of where I'm at. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. See, like, well, I'm just, I just kind of latch on to people that have done that because I can't really, can't really pay for a, a truck and stuff like that. My money is a little more time sensitive. I mean, yeah, I, I get it. I get it. That's why. I... Just because I definitely needed this more. I need this car more than I need a lot of things. Plus, mm -hmm. this car won't kick me out of itself. Yeah, that's true. So, you know, 4,000 miles. Still okay, so. I'm pretty okay with that, honestly. Yeah. That's kind of where I'm at. I've been kind of wanting to chill today. So, yeah. Yeah, I just, I really don't, what I don't want is, I don't want this Mosley's restock to happen, like, tomorrow or something, and then I, and then I miss getting a car. Because, because I, you know, have put my money on a business license. Like, I'm, I'm really trying to just get enough money to where I'm going to be able to afford my car and my business license, and then everything after that is just, you know, steady as she goes. I mean, that's fair. Do you know what car you want? Yeah, I want a Runa. My favorite yeah, cars. Well, I mean, they're my favorite cheap cars. I hope I can get some stock. Yeah. I mean, I, like I do like... I do... Oh. I'm just kind of... I don't know. Just Today is just... Bleh. I've kind of been like that, you know? Mm. Because of everything that happened. I'm still kind of exhausted from this fucking weekend. Mm. That's kind of where I'm at, honestly. Yeah. Also, I've been around for a while today. Yeah. So. I feel that. Well, what are your plans? I don't know. I might go to bed. <laughs> All right. That's, that's fair enough. How, that's just how I feel. I've just been around all day today, so. Yeah, that's fair enough. I, I mean, if, if, if you're tired, don't stress yourself out, you know? Yeah. That's kind of what I'm feeling right now. And other than that, nothing really. Wake up, probably do some grime, and see where see where everything takes me. You know. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll uh, I'll let you rest or whatever you want to do then. I mean, what are your yeah. what are your what are your plans though? Like, are you gonna try and join another group or like? <laughs> Fuck no. I'm gonna take my time. Yeah. I'm gonna get my money up and focus on me. That's what I'm okay. gonna do. What about your funny app? Why don't you get more of your funny app? I need to get my money up to get my funny up deaf. And I've been having my... I've been getting my funny up for way too long. And I haven't been getting my money up. I, I still stand by my sentiment that you should get your money up and your funny up. Because right now, you got a frown. And we got to turn that frown upside down. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I get it, and I, I want to, but it's just, it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot, and I'm just kind of recovering my losses, dealing with it, and being more, I guess, less soft. Okay. Coots, That's the best way a, to put it. Coots, trying to be less thinking soft. about playing and some Red less Dead of a Yeah. Yeah, I get that. It'll be difficult because you know me, I'm not, I mean, even after the fucking thing where I beat down three people at the hospital with the wrench, I still feel bad, you know? Mm -hmm. But I mean, it was like a necessary evil, you know, sort of thing. Yeah. I mean, listen, here's the way I see it, right? There's been a, how do I see it? There's kind of a, um, a few things that have been passed down in my family from generation to generation, right? Uh, by the way of uh, like journals and stuff, they get passed through to certain people and uh, one, one person each generation gets these journals to read, right? They're chosen by the last person who got the journals. Um, 
and there's the, there's themes there's uh, life lessons if you will stories that are written in these journals back from the 1900s through my family and uh one of them is a story about you know one of one of them's a story was my great great grandmother she used to uh, she used to really uh have faith in people right and she uh she was a kind woman when she was young and she believed that uh if she did everything as as morally you know like like if you're viewing karma on a on a on a tipping scale right she believed that if she kept her karma good that eventually it would come back to her and uh i guess maybe in the end it did but one thing she emphasized is that the way you see the world does not matter because you can, you know, want to be the change that you want and everything like that. But look at the fucking city we live in. You know what I mean? Look at these people around here. They don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. And they're never going to answer for it. You know what I mean? So, nah, you don't got to feel bad about that shit. They would have done the same to you, if not worse. Uh, that's a good way to look at it, honestly. That's kind of where I'm at with it despite me not liking it, I realize that it's something I gotta do it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I've done a, a lot of shit that wasn't right, you know what I mean, but had to be done. That's the world we live in. Yeah. Don't feel bad about it. Yeah. Protect, protect your neck, protect your people. Yeah, I just don't really know who to protect at this point to call my people because shit i thought i did and then, and then i get kicked out of the house so yeah. <laughs> it's a really gotta pick and choose yeah all right well yeah i'm, I'm here i appreciate it definitely needed this talk yeah and no worries now i'll see you uh tomorrow right I'll see you tomorrow. All right, get some rest. So, you haven't been home? Damn. Because we're talking about, we're talking about doing some Rhea did. Talking about doing some Rhea did tonight. I feel like I've just been in no pixel all weekend. <laughs> Never played it. Fuck you. <laughs> I just feel like I've been in no pixel all weekend and I'm like, I kind of need to change the scenery a little bit. So if you guys want to play Red Dead tonight, I'm in. I'm in. Like, thin. I'm in a. I'm in a silly, goofy mood, man. I'm in a silly, goofy mood. Um, okay, let's see. What else do we need to fucking do? Um, in their, like, swimwear. Exactly. Um, let's see. What are things that we need to do while we're here? Um, we need to organize these parties, but... We need to talk to Max and Murphy to do that. Murphy already knows that we're trying to talk. Max, I think, is busy with April, actually. So that's not good for us. Um, I've already made the calls that I wanted uh, to see if we can get a bimbo's reunion at the party. Um... So my plan for the party right now is I'm definitely going to be inviting all of Chang Gang. I really want... Because April used to be in Chang Gang in 3.0. So I want to make it a bit of a, like, her old friends as well as her new friends. So that's why we need Raymond. Because Raymond will be able to tell us who exactly her old friends are. Even though, like, basically I'm going to be like... I want to invite all the Chang gang, and Raymond can be like, that's not a good idea, don't invite this person, or I'd be like, yeah, that's great, you know what I mean? Uh, but I do want to invite Chang gang regardless, like definitely Mr. K and everything like that. Um, I want to invite Wu Chang, I want to invite her new friends, obviously. 
Um, as far as planning though, we're definitely gonna try and keep the planning circle really small. I want it to only be like Murphy, if there's anybody else that Murphy wants involved, uh, Max and Raymond, um, and like the artists like that's it that's the only people i want knowing about this event because it is a surprise party it's like the only people i want knowing about this party until like a week before and we'll start passing out the invitations um the sunny fundraiser we don't really need to do anything for that right now um none of our housemates are up we could go running dude our housemates wake up degen hours it's kind of funny because it's like it's kind of funny because we have been trying to wake up earlier on daphne so that she can talk to more people and all of our people are fucking degen hours man like as far as the house Like, all the housemates, like, all the shit. Like, I don't know if I want to... We could try and have her run some moonshine. Just, we could try just a little bit and, like, hope we don't get robbed. Um, or we could just... We could just do legal jobs. Um, hmm. All right, let me, go to, let me go to the bathroom really fast. I really do need to do that. So give me a minute for a bathroom and I'll be right back. It's too late. Gave you all my trust. It's your pain. None of my issues. 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 It's gonna be an issue when I don't miss you. Don't let me stress you. Do what you do, cause I'ma do me. Confided in you, but you're sipping like it's tea. Use my trauma and you turn it on me. I should have just next you. And I am perfect, but you're feeling like my ex glue. How could you be so selfish? You told me that I was priceless. You say you give me love, but it's lifeless. And why wouldn't you wait if I'm timeless?
Okay. What's up, Mines? How you doing? Okay. What are we thinking? Dude, I hate this. I hate this feeling. There are people that... There are people... Thanks, Mines. There are people that I would love to have Daphne catch up with and just go talk to, like we've been doing for the past two hours. But, um... We need money. That sucks. That feeling really sucks. I'm not gonna lie. Like, the constant need of being like, fuck, we, we need to, we gotta grind, we gotta grind. It's like, it's kind of unfortunate. I'm not gonna lie. But, man, I think that we got most of the business stuff that we can do right now done. Can he have a brother? I also feel like what sucks also is like without the housemates here it feels like there aren't like goals to work towards with other people for Daph right now really you know what I mean like if the housemates were here we could be like oh okay we need to get materials we need to like, let's all go hunting or like blah 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 but without the housemates it's kind of like Everybody's on Wu Block. Uh, when's April's surprise? That's what we're trying to figure out right now. Well, Max's car is at the house. Um, we're trying to figure that out. So I guess her birthday. I guess her birthday is at uh, or is on April first, April Fool's Day. Um, so, probably be like the end of the month or around there. Let me see actually what day of the week April Fool's Day is on. Because this is reasons. Um, let's see. So April 1st is on a Monday. That could be good. That could be very good. I feel like, fuck, man. I could do cop tonight. I kind of want to do cop tomorrow, though. I'm not going to lie. Oh, 
Like, I kind of want to play Red Dead tonight and do Cop and Daphne tomorrow. Damn, should I park in the parking garage? We're supposed to get a new outfit for senior buns. Because we're assistant manager now. If you missed it yesterday, people were being disrespectful to Daphne. And they were like, you're not a manager. And Daphne was like, okay, give me a second. She calls Sunny and is like, hi Sunny, can I have a promotion? And Sunny's like, yeah, you're assistant manager now. Daphne goes, all right, I'm assistant manager now. Next time I'm in work and y'all better act right. <laughs> And like we, we could give her fashion advice. Hi, hi, lady. Hi. Oh, no, it is. My, my name it is Rick is. Richards. This is Dominic Rhodes. He he's a life coach. Oh. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, other people say it. Yeah, and I went to the fashion show, and I was the the first one. No, I didn't pay that. I didn't pay it. Rick. Tell him. Oh, I don't want to be a phone guy. I'm a I'm a guy. I'm a fine. I'm a. I I don't want to be that guy. You should come down. I'm. I, I, which clothing store is this? Uh, this is the one off of the the street where near near the near the near the liquor store where we got the vodka. This is this is the one off the street near the liquor store where we got suit. the vodka. And where we tried to drive test the vehicles at at and, Mosley's. And where then, we tried to drive then, test, but then, then but then then, then the guy, guy was a dick. He was a the dick. guy the guy's like fuck you. We don't we don't need quality assurance. Hey, hey remember like, what he said? Remember what he like, said? I'm sure this motherfucker. I'm not talking to you. Yeah, yeah, he was like, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I, I'm, I'm not busy. I'm, I'm talking to you. Yeah, yeah. What an <laughs> asshole. It's like, fuck that guy, you know? Yeah, fuck that guy. Fuck him. Yeah. Fuck him. Fuck, fuck him. him, Ricky. Fuck that. Yeah, we fuck should, that guy. we sh we should have stabbed him. Yeah, we should have. Not, we not physically, yeah. but like in the marketplace of ideas, we could have. Yeah, we, we, we should have marketplace of ideas him in the stabbing. Yeah, yeah. Hey, 
We shit. You know, I'm gonna no, need to get rid of it. I'm not, no, I'm not. No. Uh, tell tell that I'm Richard not. guy to, to stop hey. and get more vodka and bring it over to the club. Uh, Rick says bring more vodka. Rick says bring vodka and go buy. Okay, well that's okay. That's that. I you I drink water. <laughs> what are these guys? Okay. Uh, I, I'll pay you. Uh, you can okay, get, like, I don't know where the senior bun shirt with your, is. With your, with your drip. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make you look drippier than gonorrhea. Yeah, but it's okay. You do. You do. Come come here. It's it's near the liquor store, near the near the drove test. Come on, dude. I'm, I'm leaving. I'm, be, I'm being the guy phone. I don't want to be that. Yeah, I, come on. Okay, you hang up. No, you hang up. You you hang up. That's that's Bye. why I have a uh, Bluetooth piece so that I, I can be hands free, you know, and just and, yeah. and 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 be able to talk to people on, on my on my Bluetooth piece while I that's while, good. While I, yeah. while I do things. I need blue lady. Do you have Bluetooth for me? No. Pink lady. No, no. What does that even mean? Bluetooth for you? What does that even mean? I I don't know. Rick said it. It's like an adjective. It's like, um, <sighs> it's like, like, a. you ever feel like sometimes you just want to cry? Yes, yeah. dude. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I feel that way a lot, actually. What is happening right now, dude? You no. Know? Yeah. Yeah, bro, preach, man. Yeah. God, how much do we drink? I uh, like I had like five oh, here bottles, we go. I think. God. Or glasses or whatever. I don't know. Like whatever We're they sell. We're supposed to wear the blue shirt. Nice. What do we? What should we do? We should. Hey, can we? Can we give you fashion advice? Uh, not currently, because I'm putting on a work uniform, so don't really need. Hey, that. Do, you, do you work at Senior Buns? I do, I do. Oh, uh, me, me too. I, uh, I'm, I'm the assistant to the regional manager. Oh, there. are you? Uh, yeah, I recently got promoted. Um, wow. Yeah, it's just I, I usually work late, later in, in the, like later in the day. Okay, but, I feel like you're lying. I, I, no, 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 no. no. I, I'm so. If, if you go down there. And you say, hey, anybody know who Rick Richards, a.k.a. Mm -hmm. Slick Rick is? And and I'm sure maybe maybe one person will at least know okay. who I am. All right. Hey, yeah. if, if, if that's Richard, if that's if that, if that's Stiffy Richard, Stiff Richard, then tell him I'm not here. Kind of like this, I'm not going to lie. I think... I think the ringing's in your head, because I, I don't hear any ringing. It's mine. It's my phone. Yeah, it's it's her. It's it's Pink Lady's phone. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Should we do this? I, I, mine doesn't ring, because I have a Bluetooth headset, and I, I just hear it in my ear, you know? Uh, it, it's, it's okay, Rick. You know, you're in a safe spot. If, like, like people don't call you, it's okay, man. Like, I call you, you know? That's why it doesn't That's ring. True. It's okay. That is, that is true. That no, you got nothing to be ashamed of, man. Like, like people sometimes don't call me. Like, I haven't gotten a call all day. Uh, weren't you just on the phone? I kind of want to do this. I'm not gonna lie. Was I? It, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think you were talking yeah. to um some guy named Richard. Yeah. Oh. I'm doing yeah. This. Okay. Yeah. And then and then the fart guy or shit. He says I smell like shit other guy the other guy says i smell like shit wait someone said I you don't. smell like shit yeah uh, yeah i don't get it i i smell i smell like myrrh and frankincense yeah come come smell anybody who wants to smell me can smell me i think i think she oh no I'm an ass manager now.
Ass manager daft, baby. Ass manager daft. Let's fucking go. Uh, two combo meals, everything on the burger, and the uh, oh orange drink with ice. Yeah. Some people just write on sticky notes. Yeah. 36 dies, 2 2 3 you double. And then Nina Banks responds. 2 3, alright, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Hardy Hardy is winning the meme war against Mr. Yeah, but, Kendra. Yeah, but, 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 but the guy himself might rob you, though. Like, miscount the boxes. 219, where are you? 219? Yeah. Like Bye. Two there go. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank stores, you. Let me just go fuck myself. Yeah. Uh, Is that Joanna made? Me and my boy were doing like 20k a day, doing like 10 hours a day. Nice. It was horrible. 70 hour week, we did doubled up, so 140 hours total. But we wanted our house, so it wasn't. Yeah, I never did that again. Fuck that. Me and Paul. Go to wide. Yeah. This uniform Part looks so much better on Daft, dude. Got like a so much better. It was my idea. Nice. Yeah, we want to get back into doing trail. Cool, Fun meaningful promotions. promotions. Yeah, it was my yeah. idea. Yeah. Bad neighbors. Uh, my neighbors don't like me. The union workers. Hell yeah. What's up? Hey, what's going on? Cow, I got promoted. Yeah. I'm ass manager. Look good in blue. That ass. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Hello, everybody. It's me, your new ass manager, Hello. Daphne Malone. Hell yeah. Uh oh. Oh, so another just, ego I'm just doing Andy. A delivery real fast. Ah uh, hey, yeah, come in here, do delivery, and just leave, bro. Classic. That was a hey, 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 hey. Listen, the people are ordering. Two, two, three. That ass, bro, like an AR round. You're not in the window yet, sorry. I just got excited. Can we get some patties over there, please? Please, please, yeah, please. I just put them all down. Thank you. What are you doing, 223? Are you doing a delivery? I wish I could do um, deliveries, I'm but delivery. I'm fucked for the whole tsunami. Okay. How has your day been, Dad? I will be back. It's been good. It's been good. What's up? Hey guys. That's good. Is it ordered? Yep. Uh, can I get uh, two combos? Everything on it, two colors with no ice. <laughs> All right, two burgers, everything on it. So when colors. call me, order a delivery, like wow. ice, correct? With no ice? ice? No one likes no that ice. fun anymore. All right. I did, I did again. I'm going there to. There go. It's gonna be thirty-six wow. bucks. Uh, can you get one? Can you give me delivery? Swipe right here. Fuck your dog, that ass. Yo, kick. <laughs> With your bait in it. Okay, let's see where we're going. Daphne here to make the 2.5k difference. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh no, the worst thing ever just happened. We've got to go to Polito. <laughs> oh god. I mean, to be fair, at least it's 450. Well, you guys. Well, <laughs> why would you do a delivery as ass manager? Because it makes the most money. It literally is the most money. 
Like, this is gonna take like 15 minutes and it's gonna be $450. Look how good Def looks in this new uniform. Oh my god, so much better. So much better. Um. Well, guys, now uh, we've got time to, you know, get to know each other and <laughs> imagine paying four fifty for a burger. I mean, that's a really good, actually, that's a really good point. Um, yeah, I hadn't really thought about it like that. <laughs> um... This is definitely my thing, right? Okay. Um, well, guys, let's uh, let's all talk about. Hmm, what should the question of the day be? Three point four weeks of groceries as a single person. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um. Hmm. What's everybody's favorite? Okay, no, you know what? Actually, you know what? This is what we're gonna say. Um, what do you put on your burger? What do you put on your burger? For me, it depends on the place. It depends on the place. Like, in and out I you know, I can go to in and out now, which is nice. I live on the West Coast now, which is great. in and out pretty legit. They give you, like, you know, a whole garden on top of your burger. That's nice, but too many onions. I am going to, in the future, order it without onions. I like maybe, like, one onion ring on the burger. That's okay with me. But when you put, like... A whole fucking you put a whole slice of the onion on there I'm like mm, that's a little too much that's a little too thick you know what I mean and then at In-N-Out they have the banana peppers I fucking love banana you guys can't even begin to understand how much I love banana peppers I will put banana peppers I'm down I'm, I'm down to have a banana pepper on anything dude put it on the pizza Put it on the sandwich. What kind of sandwich? Doesn't matter. Put the fucking banana peppers on it for me, dude. I want to eat them. Um, put them in a salad. I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? I don't know. Put them anywhere. Put them in a pot. Maybe I could eat them in a pasta. I don't know. It sounds seems fine. Swish mushroom. See, I feel like I used to be really down for a, a, a mushroom Swiss burger, but not really any longer. I, I don't know. It's just something about it makes it feel like a steak instead of a burger. Which, you know, is a vibe. But maybe not my vibe, you know. Ross, not really a burger guy. Who's not? Who doesn't like burgers? You just don't like burgers? That's kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Relish? See, I don't know how I feel about relish. I don't really understand relish. Like, as a concept. You know what I mean? Like, is it just chopped up pickles? Is that all it is? Is there more to it? Like, what? I, what is it, really? You know what I mean? I don't know how I feel about relish. I don't know how I feel about relish. I feel like I want other forms of pickles, but more. You know. But that's, this is a crazy combination you're talking about right now, Koala. Koala sand, relish, and cheese, right? Standard. Garlic mayo, specifically. Tomatoes and lettuce. Just don't go out of my way to get one. How many burgers would you guys say you all eat in a week? Because I feel like, I feel like, okay, listen, I feel like how many burgers you eat in a week also depends on where you live. Because when I was in New York, 
I was not I was not eating burgers like ever. I would maybe have a burger like if I had a burger, it was at a nice restaurant and it was like one of those situations where it's like, man, I really haven't had a burger in a few weeks. I, I really kind of want one, you know what I mean? So, oh, let's go to a nice place that's got a good burger. Or like, or if it's like at, you know, you go out to like bar kind of bar food places and you're like, yeah, yeah, a burger sounds good today. But like in New York especially, man, it's just like, it just really was not a thing. Burger is easy comfort food. Yeah, it's true. And like also grilling burgers is actually super fucking easy. Like home making burgers is not difficult. It's actually a good thing. To, it's actually a great thing to do, you know? But now that I moved to Vegas, now that I moved to Vegas, I feel like I feel like I'm eating a lot more like fast food slash burgers. I would say I maybe now get like yeah two to, I would say I get two to three burgers a week now from like fast food places, which is terrible, you guys. Like when I tell you, living in New York, you really don't get fast food. Like it takes you the same amount of time usually to get fast food as it would take you to get like Thai food or some sushi to go or literally anything some Mexican food to go like you can get anything in New York on any block especially if you live in Manhattan um, so it's like you really like in New York it's like why would I ever go to a McDonald's like I would only go to a McDonald's in New York if I had like a craving for it if I was just like man you know what I would love a Big Mac specifically because I do like Big Macs but it's like, I would only go if it was like, man, I really would like a Big Mac right now. You don't just be like, I'm hungry. What should I get in New York City? And it's like, McDonald's. Like, it's really not a common thing. Two, three fast food burgers may not be good because you end up soft drink. See, I do not. No, 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 no. I do not get the soda and fries. I do not do that shit. This is why, like, AJ does that shit. He, he's like, he's like, okay, I'm at the... I'm at the fast food place. It's a combo. I fries and a drink, and then it's like you order a combo, and it's this, it's burger, which first of all is gonna feed me for like my like that's a whole meal for me. I don't need anything else, right? I I don't eat a lot in a, in one sitting. I eat frequently. You know what I mean? So when it comes to that, I'm like, there's no way I'm eating that shit. First of all, I'm not gonna finish it. Um, so. So you get it, and it's this big ass drink. I'm not gonna drink that soda. I um I actually stopped drinking soda when I was a teenager. Hello. Um. And it's a phenomenal decision. If you guys ever consider cutting out soda, it really, it really is n not a bad decision to make. Um. So I I don't drink soda casually. Um. So it's like, even if there's like a soda around me and I'm like, damn, this is pretty tasty. It seems too sugary to me, you know what I mean? So I'll have like a few sips and then it's like, all right, I'm, I'm good on that, chief. You know what I mean? So they give you like so many fries. Fries are another thing that like, when it comes to potatoes, I get full from potato products so fast, like starches and um, and like bread products. Like they fill me up because I kind of cut that out of my diet as well. So when I do have a little bit, it, it is really filling to me. And like pastas and stuff like that, very filling. So it's like I would never be able to get a meal where they give me these big ass fries and this big ass drink. What the fuck am I gonna do with this big ass drink? How am I gonna eat this big ass drink? You know what I mean? So, that's how I feel about that. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I normally order like, like at Burger King, I'll get a junior burger. And that's, that's, that's good enough for me. But I do love a good Big Mac. 
I don't know. Twelve pack soda cans. Takes you two months to finish. See, I feel like that's a healthy amount. I feel like that's a pretty healthy amount, you know. Oh, we still haven't. Hey, what's up, Daphne? Hey, sorry, I missed your call when I was in that clothing store. Uh, it's all good. Um, I had just uh, gotten a hold of Max, and he was, like, free. Uh, but it sounds like you're doing a grime run with him anyway to talk about it. So if you all want to meet up for the grime run, I told him to hit me up. So Okay, gonna, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. yeah, that's what I had uh, hit him up about. Cool. All right. Um, yeah, so whenever you want to do that, just uh, just let me know. We can talk about trying to trying to get a, a, a tentative date so you can schedule this performer. Yeah, exactly. Um, all right, let me call him really fast and see, because I'm just coming back from Polito. I just did a senior buns run really fast. I'm promoted, by the way. I'm an ass manager. You're an ass manager? Yeah, I'm that an sounds, ass manager uh... at senior buns. No problem. Sounds sounds like a pretty prestigious promotion. I'd like to be an ass manager. Is uh is is it difficult to qualify? I mean, you know, you just have to you just have to really know you know what you're doing. If you know what I mean? I mean, I don't think anyone uh is gonna is gonna give me a bad reference on knowing what I'm doing uh, when it comes to uh you know. When it comes to that so you know maybe I'll, maybe i'll check it out you know yeah, I, got maybe. A lot of, I got a lot of food service experience you know oh, i can yeah, serve yeah. it up yeah great yeah so, but uh um yeah like uh this this it's gonna be hard max says to uh Lock sort out down. something like more than a week in advance so that's kind of i think that's going to be the challenge so just a heads up there yeah well, what we can do, so April 1st is on a Monday, which is a good thing. Yeah. Because okay. most people are available on Mondays. Most people, most people, yeah. So hopefully, hopefully that will work into our advantage. It could work in our favor, yeah. Yeah, you but, know, I... I think I think it's the day to shoot for because I think like at the very least we can get like a solid yes or no one way or the other. Yeah. On that day. Well, now see here's the thing. If it was like. Give me give me two seconds, Daphne. I'm trying to get my car fixed. Uh, yeah. Hey, how's how's it going? What's going on? Um, do you need me yeah, to pop is. the hood for but you? But it doesn't go any higher than this. Watch. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, cool. Um, was that 1800? 1850? Okay. 1950? Oh, Jesus Christ. Fucking 1950 now for one across. That's crazy. Uh, Daphne, can you, can you hear me? Are you there? Yep. Okay. Um, yeah, so if you just want to get in touch with Max and just let me know, uh, when y'all want to meet, um, that'd okay. probably work out perfect. Okay. Um, and then, uh, I'll just take care of some other stuff uh in the meantime and okay, cool. uh i'm just good to go i'm just chilling for now okay cool i'll call him right now all right sounds good thanks mm -hmm. yeah i'll talk to you soon all right bye bye oh that might be true actually yeah, I guess I haven't filled up my delivery truck. I don't know. I haven't actually paid attention to if the delivery truck, like, refreshes your fuel every time or not. Hey, Daphne. Hey, Max. What's going on? Uh, not too much. How about yourself? I'm okay. I'm just coming back from a little senior buns delivery. I've been promoted. I am now ass manager. Ooh, congrats. Thank you. I'm sure best ass manager in town. Absolutely am. But uh yeah, so what you have to? 
Uh, not too much at the moment. Uh, may potentially be about to get into another business meeting, though. Oh, fuck. Potentially, just uh, someone's asking if I'm around right now. Um, yeah. Just gotta I wait would... to see what they're saying. I would definitely love to meet about this as soon as possible, because Murphy said he talked to you, right? Yes, we need to set a date, and that might be the most difficult part. Yeah. Because so, she probably won't know when she's free until, like, a week before. Yeah, exactly. Well, so here's the thing, right? We can mm, we can be a little flexible because April Fool's is on Monday. So that's okay. her birthday, right? April 1st? Yeah, April 1st. Yeah, so most people are around on Mondays, so I feel like that's going to be a really good thing for us. And if for some reason she doesn't want to be around on her birthday, I feel like it would be easy to be like the next day, a Tuesday would be okay as well. Yeah, I think that'd also work. But, I mean, well, let's do me a favor. Let's meet up about this because I definitely want to. I'm the type of person when I got something on my to do list. I'm just trying to get it out. I'm just trying to get crossed off. You know what I mean? You just want to get it done. just want to get it done. I want to be able to move forward and be able to communicate. Because here's what I'm planning, Max, um, so far. Because we can we can talk about, like, oh, what's the venue going to be? And, like, blah, blah, blah. Right? Like, we have time for that. Because we're, we're, we're nearly a month out. Like, th that's great. Right? Um, but just maybe trying to figure out if we can get that date that would be clutch but because reason being i have contacted a very very special um celebrity guest so that's why the date is important got you okay so it needs to be like very specific yeah and like i'm saying i can probably tell them maybe Monday, maybe Tuesday, and I think that that would be okay for them with their schedule, but if, the, you know, the more accurate we can be, the better, just because like I said, this is a very important guest. The thing is, like, I can ask April, and she, if she knows we're planning something, she'll definitely try and be around, it's just you know. I mean, we could make it seem like you're planning something cute and small, and then it turns out being this, like, giant you know, crazy thing, right? That could work. Just like a little get together. Yeah. Just be like, oh, we want to have, you know, like, you know, whatever the housemates or your best friends, like, we're going to do something for you and it's going to be a surprise. Turns out the surprise is a giant fucking party with celebrity guests. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I can definitely see if I can angle it that way. Do you want me to ask her about it now or wait a little bit? Ask her, ask her what her plans are for her birthday, just like casually. And then okay. maybe, be, maybe be like, what if we, ha or like, what if I do your, you know, what if we put something special together for you? We'll just have a little get together, you know, just the besties, blah, blah, blah. Like, yeah, maybe have like a conversation like that. Yeah, just kind of be a bit more casual about it. Yeah. So like one, um, one, okay. one, uh, listen, I'm keeping the celebrity guest 100% secret because everybody's going to freak out. But, um, the other thing that I'm trying to do for this, I'm trying, you know how the bimbos broke up? Yeah. I'm oh, you want to do like a get together, like reunion? I'm going to try and have a one night only bimbos reunion for her birthday party. Okay. Yeah, I, I like that idea. So, like, there's two very major things that are very, like, specific to this that I'm trying to make happen. You know what I mean? Okay, no, that sounds good. And then, like I said, we can talk about venue and blah, blah, blah. That we have time for. But when it comes to that, I want to try and lock that down as soon as possible. Okay, I'll bring it up to her, see what she says. Okay, all right, yeah, let me know. All right. Well, I'll then, try and run with you in a bit after this uh, business stuff is sorted. Cool. Yeah, just let me know. Um, I might be going to sleep early tonight. Just hit me up. Okay. And then whenever you do have some time, we can talk about the further parts of it, like venue, blah, blah, blah. Ooh. We could always aim to meet tomorrow instead. That might be easier. Yeah, exactly. It, yeah, it doesn't matter either way. Alrighty. Okay.
Okay, I'll catch you in a bit, Daphne. Okay, yeah, let me know what happens. Again, congrats on the promotion, too. Thank you. <laughs> All right, catch you in a bit. Hey, I'll see you soon. This robbery! Oh, my God, really? Already? We're here to give y'all some tea. So actually, robbery is not a robbery. Is it, is it actually a robbery or is it not a robbery? No, it's yeah. not. It's a, uh, your order number is 232. Okay, thank God. All right. Thank you very <laughs> much. And oh, you're so welcome. You can pick it up all the way down there. Blindfolded archery? You don't know what you're missing. Yo, Daphne. Hey, okay, so I just talked to Max and filled him in a little bit. Um, he's gonna try and kind of sneakily talk to April like, what are your plans for your birthday? So what we're thinking is we're gonna have him kind of get her to agree to a plan that's just like, oh, let's do something for you, you know, just the besties or whatever, you know, make it seem small. And so it's like, oh, we're uh -huh. going to like, like, oh, we're, we're at the house or whatever, going to do something for you. So come here for your birthday to celebrate. And then, but it turns out that we've got this whole fucking big thing. Perfect. Perfect. See, this is why, this is why I need experts for this. Cause, uh, yeah, like, uh, I would, I would not be able to subtly get, get that information and yeah, it takes yeah. a village. So I think yeah. that's, I think that's a perfect, the perfect way to do Yeah. Great. So he's going to do that right now, and he's going to get back to me either tonight or tomorrow. I'm not exactly sure when I'm going to be going to sleep tonight. I might have an early day. but um, So he's either going to get back to me with that tonight or tomorrow. Are you going to be around tomorrow? Uh, yeah, I'm going to be around tomorrow. I'm going to be around a lot. I just uh, I just bought her a car while I was dealing with all this other stuff, so I, I need to fucking recover my money from that. Uh, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, everything sounds perfect. Hey, Cozy. Okay, great. Thank you yeah. so much, Daphne. Yeah, of course. No problem. Yeah, and right. uh, as far as birthday presents, though, I don't know. Mm -hmm. like, I I'm trying to think of, like, what to do for that. I mean, well, you kind of got to recall before her birthday, so. That's not a birthday <laughs> present. That's just a April needs a car. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that that I... No, legit, legit. That's not, that's an it. occasionless sort of gift. No, I get it. And that's amazing. Um, but yeah, I mean, how are we going to fucking top that for, I mean, honestly, like I'm saying these, these things that I'm planning. Okay. So I'm sorry. So I just told Max this, I told you that I have, I'm having a celebrity guest, but the other thing that I'm trying to make happen for the party is, um, like the bimbos broke up. Right. But I'm trying to see, uh -huh. if we, I'm trying to see if we can get a one night only bimbos reunion performance specifically for April's birthday. Ooh, yeah. Special musical performances are uh kind of like uh very very appropriate. I like that's that's kind of like what I the kind of the kind of nice things I like to plan. So it's like right right this is my love language right here. So Yeah. Yeah. You know, not not that this is meant like this is not like a me like trying to woo her thing. This is like she made my birthday like super awesome, so I want her to have Aww. an awesome birthday thing. So like this isn't about like me like being super sweet. This is about her having a great time, first yeah. and foremost, like above all else. So like, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be like super romantic, but it is it is fitting to have like special music performances as yeah. part of my well, dates. Well, the other thing is, you know, obviously she was in Chang Gang. She was a part of Wu Chang. Yeah. So I feel like things that reference, you know, old like like people she's known for a long time and things like that i feel would be like really nice especially like i said these exclusive things where exactly it's, like, it's you know you're literally not going to get this anywhere else besides your, this birthday party you know that's like it's like a special one-time thing yeah that's that's absolutely perfect because uh when she did that that live that live performance in the park like she i i found out later that was like the first or second time she'd ever done like actual live performance in public you know like yeah. that was kind of like a special one-time thing too for for me so yeah i just want to kind of like repay a lot of the the great times that she's given me and uh, especially my birthday i want to give her a special birthday too yeah absolutely yeah i'm with you on it and it sounds great sounds great cool 
Um, so yeah, we'll figure it out a little bit more um, after he has that conversation with her. All right, perfect. Yeah, I'm actually. Uh, I, I actually ran over to his house because I came home, and uh, and he was home talking to some some people covered in shit. So nice. <laughs> just kind of hanging out in front of his house right now. Nice. Okay. Well, perfect. I'll talk to you really soon about everything. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, Daphne. I can't. I can't yeah. wait. Yeah, of course. All right. I'll see you soon. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Real. It's not illegal to jaywalk. Hey, what's going on, huh? Hey, what's up? What's up? Hey, I got a promotion. I'm ass manager. Yeah. Hell yeah, best ass you manager ever. Definitely deserve that position. Thank you. Real. <laughs> True. Dead ass. Um, excuse me. What's your name? Uh, DJ. DJ. Nice to meet yeah. you. Likewise. You um, sort of look. You look good. Yeah, she does. Yeah, looks great. I feel like you look really pretty with like blonde hair. <laughs> I, I usually have white hair. Yeah, okay. I, I I get what you're saying, girl. Don't get me wrong. I understand. Oh, I was just complimenting you. <laughs> Stealing that line. Yeah, all good. Uh, that's, is this the car Mr. K is trying to sell forever? Yeah, yeah. How much was it? It's 150. Some light. Hey, it's not that bad. I just bought an Oracle because it was cheap as hell. Hey, really? You want to see it? Of course I would. I'll be back. Oh, Brady, thank you so much for lending me that Lambo the other day, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Oh, don't worry about it. It's just something Can I have else. another million dollars? Uh, I'll think about it, all right? Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm such a good fucking wingman. I mean, is he trying to... He got it's broken up with five class. minutes ago. What?! I didn't even know they were class. back together. Well, they weren't, but they were. I don't know. I don't know. Oh Some, I don't know! Do you know it's an A-class? You paid 150 for A-class? What the fuck? I think he was exaggerating to try and impress... Oh, he didn't even pay saying. anything for this. This oh, isn't wait. his car. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> this is April's car. <laughs> oh, yeah, the one, he's, the one, that's what I'm saying. He's laying it on thick. The one Damn, Murphy just, right. bought, just bought for her. Wait, what? Yeah, Murphy Murphy got her that car. It was a gift. Isn't that crazy? Damn. We all, we all need a Murphy in our lives. Had one of those. How you been, Fiona? Good. How are you? Yeah, I'm sure. You know, I'm, I'm being the Murphy in my own life, and I'm waiting to buy a car. Oh, hell yeah. It's like that share quote, I am a rich man. I am a rich man. <laughs> that's good. I like that. That's good. No, that's, no, that's why somebody in, like, the 70s, somebody was interviewing Cher, and they were like, what, well, you know... Oh, no, she was saying her mom was telling her, you know, don't you want a rich man in your life? And Cher was like, well, mom, I am a rich man. All right, I'm back. Nice. That'd be me. What's up, she asked me if I want to drive her car around to hang out with her, and I said I can't right now because I'm with a group. Mm. Damn. It's real. Well, Cow, what's up? Where the, where the other ladies go? Come on, let's go inside. I don't think I'm that fine. EMS uh, fixed me at all. Ooh. Sometimes they like, do, but I'm, you still need to I'm see I'm Kate. I'm fucking dying. I have to go uh, see Kate. You could, you could call him back. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go drive to the hospital like really fast. All right. Okay. Trio. Dead ass. Yes. What's up, dogs? Be We're doing vibing. beach episode. Yeah. Beach episode. Nice. And just yep. a second. Does that mean? Even uh, oh more bits. Yeah. 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 No, I told him to say I hi to you. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, hey, hey, hey. oh, oh, oh this Fiona. Yeah. What? Oh, yeah. Do we, like, like high-five over that or something? Uh, you guys want to high-five over that? Sure, have Honestly, fun. Honestly, let's high-five. There you go, good sir. Hold it down out Listen, there. Um, we, Stop then we, listening. We also, um, he, he, we, what did we do last oh, night? What were we Us? doing? What? Uh, oh, yeah, I thought you guys broke up. What do you mean what do you do? No, 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 no. Last night. No, it's been so long. No, you know, we were on the roofs. We were on the roofs. Oh, oh yeah, that, in yeah. public? No, I can't I, believe you. No! 
April. <laughs> Under the stars. I mean, you changed. Timothy. We don't bang you. shame him. My God. I'm not an exhibitionist. Not no, I now. mean like freak your shit, dude. Like I that's mean, maybe. Is real, guys. Yeah, but that's not what I was talking about. It's more, you know, doing other things on the roof. And then oh, and we don't go into details, saw. Timothy. We don't go into details. No, I, I get it. You did the little, the little parkour thing, right? Let's freaking go. I'm not sure right. what you're saying. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, that thing. Yeah. Oh, how that uh, go? Uh, failed. Not me. Um, oh, we didn't do it. Fiona. Yeah. Fiona in January. Okay, I only failed one. It, yeah, it's no, and there's nothing wrong with her. She she's right there. She's right there. Oh my fucking god, it is her. Wait, I think, she's, I think she thinks. I think she think. Yeah, she's changed. The city changed her already. Wait, that's that's January. Yeah. What the city? fuck? That's not like January. I said. That's oh fucking my god. January. Dude. Yes. She's dressed. It's fine. She takes it after me. I guess. Damn. I mean, she looks dressed like a hoe. Whoa. Whoever is leading this water, I can take this water out. She's dressing. You know. I'm dressing. Like I dress how I want to dress, and she's exactly. dressing how she wants to dress. Oh, I guess it's really like your it's your little sister and stuff like that. You know, it's just right? hard to see my little sister Sorry? grow up, but I'm proud of her. Yeah, I'm I heard really she's proud. dated like three guys already, dude. Okay, well, she broke up with with her. With how many the have you dated guy? so far, and since you came Me? back? I I mean, honestly, I haven't really dated anybody. I'm kind of just you know. I mean, a lot of guys like me. Oh, you're so welcome, dear. One of them particularly loves me, Murphy. Damn, we're Murphy. Like, we're not like oh, dating, Murphy. dating, but like he loves me. Oh my God, Timothy, I've got a car today. You got a car? Yeah, yeah Mr. K what? Mr. K's car. Mr. K? Oh, Mr. K gave you a car. Well, Dude. I had to buy it. I'm not going to lie, that price is expensive. I just want you to know that. Well, he gave me 339 He gave it to me a $11,000 discount. Yeah, that's but an a, was like, that's an A-class car. Is that good? Three, uh, three thousand dollars. What was oh it to God. buy? It wasn't it like a hundred? It was. Well, I paid zero dollars, so I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Plus, well, it's not like you listen, can buy a car right Timothy, now anyway. Today's been a bad day, right? It's been a bad day. What? It sounded like you had a good day. So she got a car, but well, you know, she got a car. We failed it. You know, we didn't succeed the hack. You know, I uh. Got a, I got broken up with on the phone, but I wasn't actually in a relationship. She kind of just Roman, you're, wait, you're dating somebody again? I didn't know. Oh, my Grandpa. Ex hey, January. Oh, hi. Yeah. Dude, I love Kit. Wait. Grandpa, what? can I pull you away for I a second? I do too, but yeah, sure. January, let's go. Okay, come over here. All right, I'll be back, guys. All right. Oh, Harry. Oh, I, I was kind of rooting for them to get back together. Guys. Some shit happened. Oh, my God. <laughs> there is no way you put me over here so I pay for your meal. <laughs> Oh, Damn. buy one for me too. One Fuck. for me too. I'm hungry. Yeah, no ice. <laughs> oh, I have a lot of res respect for that, actually. Yeah, I was, I was really hoping they would, uh, you know. It was like another, some more magic would happen or some shit. <laughs> oh no, that's that's over. That's, oh, thank yeah. you. <sighs> yeah. God, I don't know. They they seem cute together. I don't know. This guy, I felt like maybe he still has a soft spot for her or something. Well, now he's I mean, back in his home phase. Oh, he's back. <laughs> really. Yeah, he tried to risk someone like five minutes after. Did it work? No. What did Breckers no. do? Well, yeah, it did work. Then he turned her down. Then he's washed. Hey, well, he's washed. He's washed. Fuck with Fred, by the way. Please don't yeah, encourage. Fries. Don't encourage him. You guys well, want since you're paying for meals, combo, I'll take uh, two burgers, back. two fries, two drinks. Yes. I'm okay. Called you broke too, April. Just saying. Well, I just had my heart broken like ten minutes ago. I got broken. He sounds over so the heartbroken. Oh, like he, you can just hear it in his voice. Yeah, right. Yeah. He's just distraught. Oh. Sounds okay. like he's been crying all day. Well, you, you come over here. Uh, my name is Raymond. Raymond Romanoff. Is he visiting the elderly woman? Uh, I think Let me get uh, two burgers, right two fries, two burgers. <laughs> Um, no tomatoes, no pickles. I think he's just trying to order his food, guys. I don't know if he's trying to risk the old lady. Mm. That, that's the girl he's flirting with standing next to him. Oh my god, I look like April. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh my god, remember when Ray ran into a burning building to save a bunch of orphans? <gasps> Crazy. Raymond Romano is like one of the most honorable men I know. Yeah, Ray, he, he let me borrow his yeah, Comet S2. Not my you know that? On the the $1 million dollar oh. car from Mosley's. He lends me money all the time. Who wants fries? So Three fries. Right? Who wants fries? No? No, I'm good. I'm good man. You know, sometimes when I talk to I Raymond Romano, I just... 
I just uh, I just think, wow, I can't believe the Raymond Romanov. So rich, so so popular, so smart. I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's just too good for me. I'm surprised he even talks to me. What? No, I was in the, I was He's in the definitely bedroom. working. She's like following him Fifty thousand dollars in debt, and Raymond Romanov paid it all off for me because he's that nice of a guy. Whoa, that's so cool. That ass, bro. Stick mad hard, yeah. I think it's working. I think so. I mean, she's hovering him, right? I think that's a sign. I don't know. I found the sunglasses on the floor, and then put the stick. Oh no! Oh! Oh no! She's blind mice, dog. That ass. Oh. Oh. There you go. Damn it. Damn it. Bro, we need oh. to get you some drip, no, 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 dog. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. We did it. We did it. It was good. We planted, we planted that shit. Planted, yeah. planted the seed. Huh? Oh, yeah, sure. I'm done to come. What do you make? Like, Wait, what? Give me some drip. I guess, <laughs> I guess I'm here. You're wearing a yogurt. Yeah, I said come. come. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, some work. Come. But you look Speaking like... of come. Wait. Uh, let me see your threads. Speaking of come. Let me see your actual threads. I respect the tents. They're right over here. They are. Ooh. Oh, did you get the for me? I mean, I could just give you one of my outfits, you know what I mean? I got some drippy ass outfits. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm in my work outfit, kid. Can't, can't oh, that's good swap. stuff. It's from, uh... I ain't, I ain't like, a superhero type Sandy. shit, yeah? Yeah, it is! Oh my god, okay. I don't, I, I don't, bro. I come to work in this shit, yeah? Is this right, April? Go. Oh my god, I couldn't tell for a second. I'm so sorry. No, I respect the Tim's, though. The Tim choice is good. Sorry. Wait, yeah, what are you, what are you yeah, up to, because... Yeah. I think, well, not kind of, but we'll talk about it soon, Fred, yeah? All right. All right. I had, uh, just, I uh, we don't know who it is, my, but we're kind of uh, just oh, jumping over. Pocket. Checked around for that, because I was going to give them away, since I don't have any use for those. Oh, that's a lot of condoms. I don't need these, though. That is not a lot. That I find that in an hour. How many did oh, you get? Uh, you guys gave me 36 bags of condoms. Wait, you use those? No. no. Okay, good. My man. Yeah. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, oh sure. What? Yeah, yeah. Oh, because, oh. <laughs> yeah. 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 My man. Me too, my bro. Man. Me yeah. too. Hey, bring it in. Bring Fuck it yeah. in. That's <laughs> my boy right there. My man. Hey. Fuck yeah. Hey. Fuck my condoms, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. God damn. <laughs> Guys, where oh. the fuck did April and January go? I well, April's on the phone guys. circle, running in circles behind this. And then January... Right there. Oh, around the corner, there. running around the... She has, has a, a knife. knife. <laughs> has a put, oh, put the knife she away, has January. A put oh. the knife down. Where is Fred? Where oh. is Fred? What did he what do to you? Fuck? Where is She's unhinged. Fred? She's unhinged. Oh. Where are you? Who's Fred? I like her. Yo. He tackled me and didn't give me... Who oh, hurt her? You know Fred, where is he? Put a hit on him now. Who the hit on him? I only do that for people that uh, actually it's like business. I am not writing in the trunk. I am your business. How are you my business? You're not in the company yet. Oh well, I guess we're doing okay. the thing. Timothy, get in the trunk. I'll count down. Also, Dev, we should catch up as well. Dev, did yeah. you have the chance to talk to Mickey or OTT or Benji yet? I did. I have talked to Mickey actually. Did it go I well? Yeah, it went well. I mean, I'll talk to you about it. I actually would okay. love Hello? to. I would like to talk to you about it. As a matter of fact, though. Ready, open the trunk. trunk. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm opening. I'm opening it. Sorry, I'm distracted with conversation. But yeah, um, just let me know as soon as you have a second, like a space in the car or something, alright? If I ever see you around, okay. something terrible. Alright, bye y'all. See y'all soon. Bye, bye. Daff. January, are you okay? Bye, Daff. Bye. Like be scared. Oh, I just realized that I have the Granger, but they probably want to drive around in April's new car. I was like, actually, we could all fit in the Granger and we don't have to ride in the Granger. I, I, I need to get something. Oh, fuck. We're, we're low staff again. Okay, great. We're always low staff. Wait, I'm 245. Yeah. Never not staff. Yeah, he's two four. He's, he should be the one off if, before they. Okay, I'm sorry, dear. You're two four four two four six. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Where are you? My goodness, it's quite busy today. So you got the drink? Oh, oh, I don't know where we left off on the drinks. Hold on. Uh, I'll make one. 
Oh, thank you, dear. Thank you. These, this is sometimes too much for my old you eyes. Yeah, the cataracts there. get everything all confused. Yeah. Guys. <laughs> oh, no. I'm double timing this. I got to get my yeah. photo. Hmm. Two forty-three. All right, me. I'm four four. Fuck four, fatties. Four. Who's forty-three? Two forty-three. Anybody? Go once. Going twice. I'll take. Oh, take that. I'm about to start the death. That was I'm, a, your I'm, order I'm got joined, right? So here. It, it might be mine. Hmm. Yeah, I th no, I think I, so. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's just a combo. It's just a combo. Is it yours? Okay, so <laughs> oh, <my laughs> if it's exactly what you ordered, I think it's yours. <laughs> no, it's not mine. I ordered two combos. I'm 45, sorry. Nine, I'm sorry. I'm just what thinking. is a cola light? What the fuck that at? Thank you. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. I'm not gonna say anything. Two forty-four has you. I'm... Yes, sir. I'm not gonna Nine. say anything, actually. <laughs> Never mind. There you go. I'm I'm thinking something kind of funny. Though, as well. I'm gonna order I'm again. Not gonna lie. Go order again, and hopefully it doesn't get you on. Um. <laughs> No, no, I'm not gonna see it. I'm not gonna see it. I just, I just, never mind. It's because, no, I'm not gonna say it. It's not like. We have the chance to do one of the funniest things ever right now, but I, I, I don't think. It's not, it's not even worth bringing up because it's not gonna be like that. So, never mind. Listen, it's just, just. We'll we'll see. All right, we'll see. Yeah. Two forty six. Anyway. There you go. Yep. I good rest of the day. Where the old guy go? It's gonna drip him out. Fuck. Where's oh, our fucking housemates, dude? All right, listen, all I'm saying oh. is that um, I hope yeah, that hard, I hope that we get to have a catch up with Ray tonight. <laughs> but it's not what you guys are thinking, okay? It's not what you're thinking. It's not what I'm talking about. One second, dear. Hi, no, what's no up? How are you? Welcome How's to today. I'm doing good, dear. How about yourself, dear? That's the sprinkled not ice? Bad, not uh, no, sorry, this not is uh, for delivery. Well, what can I get started for you? Uh, I'd like to just get two of your finest combos with uh, burgers with just lettuce, tomato, and cheese, please. Burger with just lettuce, tomato, and cheese. So no onion, no pickles. Okay, um, then. And you want two of those? That is correct. Sorry, I'm just going to do a delivery right next to you. You're all good. I need to go to the bathroom again. And there's always be like a drink. Uh, two sprites. Two forty-seven. And did you want ice with that? I don't think so. Do we have any events no, coming up, Daphne? Um. So I'm doing an emo oh, night on yeah, Thursday, and then the other events are private parties that I'm currently in the process of planning. If you need any help with those, let me know. Perfect. Yeah, I will. Um, probably we'll, we'll definitely need a bartender. Um, a new line going. Fuck. The emo night is in uh in collaboration with Wu Chang, so we don't need to do a lot of the stuff we normally need to do, but definitely we'll need staff. Any patties? Um, but yeah, I'm Sla just slap and I'll be mad patties on there. Wow, oh, let's do what it. can I yeah. get started for you? I would like uh, two burgers with cheese only. Two uh, burgers with just cheese. All right, let's go deliver a thing. Um, I need to go to the bathroom really fast, so give me a second.
on to each his own but when i ride laid up sun tinted probably rented when we finish not a trace at all you can go to scar face and don't face it all messing with my young hitters either wallet for a check wallet for respect any given sunday gunplay another kid shot on a one way bleeding out fast got a lung spray every day young slave see that's a problem with a 20 something drink it very often when the handy felt it saying fuck the law what they all about can't trust nobody i got a ton of doubts and why you still talking ho shut your mouth why you ain't turning up just to fucking bounce what you mean you don't smoke i gotta fucking ounce well now just gotta go cause god gave me the talent to better my flows but the devil made me use it when i let the pros say god gave me the talent to better my flows but the devil made me use it just fucking with hoes Save the murmur, murder in a third emergencies emerge when I line up work. Intense content, get a tense nerve, especially when I pet pro bird. God give me the talent to better my flows, but the devil make me use it when I let it pro. Said God give me the talent to better my flows, but the devil make me use it just fucking with hoes. Set right and shit. I ain't fuck up yet. Hacktivist, give me slow mo steps. I've been crazy. Blame it all on the late 80s. All the OGs and the homies gon' feel me when I'm being honest. Say the city been driving me crazy. I heard it matter. Did all of my homework. Now it's my turn to let me show you how this don't work. And I gotta go. Shorty trying to cling on, but I'm on a trek to the stars. So y'all meet me on Mars. Let's go. And why you still talking? Oh, shut your mouth. Why you ain't turning up? Just a fucking bounce. What you mean you don't smoke? I got a fucking ounce. Well, now just gotta go. Cause God gave me the talent to better my flows. But the devil made me use it when I let her the pros. Said God gave me the talent to better my flows. Devil made me use it just mm. fucking with hoes. Say well, I'm murder. Murder in the third. Emergencies emerge when I line up words. Intense content get a test nerve. Especially when I pen pro verse. God gave me the talent to better my flows. But the devil made me use it when I let her the pros. Said God gave me the talent to better my flows. My so the devil made me use it just fucking with hoes. Wait, what did Max say he's doing right now? Did he say he does have time to do? I don't remember. I'm just going to text him and say. Excuse me, do you have keys for that uh, locked door? Uh, yeah, 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 give me one second. Wait, wh why do you want to just go, just go through the front? Okay. Do you, do you kill people with knives? I mean, I could. Are you a, uh, yeah, I mean, why do you, you need people, to... Hey, what if I give you a name? Would um, you kill that person? Oh, like Depends. a like a like a spell. What's in it for me? I sell Miller. I pay you in blood. How I pay much? You in blood. Blood. Oh. Shit, like, yeah, like. Damn. I give you it's like deal. two and a half liters. No. What's her name? <laughs> I'm scared that you're gonna like. Marcel. Take my name and like curse me. His name is Marcel Miller. Two L's. And what what did they do? 
He um he refused to pick me up when I needed a pickup. Okay, I need keys to the back now. Uh, why don't you just go through the front? Open the back. Open oh the my, fucking back now. Oh my god. Open the back. All right, everybody, we got a guest. Uh, we got a guest. We have a very casual guest over here. <laughs> I mean, we were held at night for it. We have to do it. You can't just NVL and someone's got you a knife point and be like, no, and like run away. We called the cops. It's all right. No, that's NVL, dude. That's NVL. I mean, like technically, yeah. It, realistically, you could do that in real life, but it's it's kind it's kind of NVL. We call, we called the cops. All right. We did what we we did what we could do. We were held at knife point. We called the cops. Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, no value life. It's call when like, back. it's when like your life is threatened and you uh, act I'll, like I'll, you're I'll a video you game character that can't die. I. What do you mean that's crazy? That's crazy. Are you really that's crazy me right now? What are you doing? I was helping someone get out of a robbery, then I got shot at by CG again. Uh, why? Because uh, I ref because they pulled up on me and I just drove away, and then they shot at me. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, well, some person in like a in like a oh no, I saw and I you saw, saw that? you. And I was, and I went inside to you, but to make sure that they didn't stab you, because if they did, I was gonna wrench them. Yeah, no, I ran the fuck out the back and called the cops, but they just drove right past in your buns, so I don't know. They don't really give a fuck. Yeah, no, today is just exhausting, bro. It's just exhausting. I literally sent a message to nine one one. I said robbery at senior buns. Please respond quickly, and they they, they just don't give a fuck apparently. Yeah. Also, you texting me? Am I getting rest? Why? What happened? I was just seeing if you were getting rest because you seemed like you were exhausted and you're not getting rest. You're getting held up by CG. Oh, it's for getting held up, but you know. Or shot I, at. I, 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 yeah, I drove off. Okay. So are they like, are they like after you or is this a, like a random thing? I think it's just a random occurrence. Like a DD, like a D&D &D shit. It's just a random occurrence, you know? It's a lot. D it's a lot to do. It's a random, uh, like, Dungeons D &D. and Dragons? Yes, it's like a random occurrence. They just show up and fuck your shit up. Like, you know, oh. it's, uh, it's all it is. What? So. For what? Did they think they were going to rob you or something? Like, Probably. Maybe they wanted to rob me. Like, it's either I... It's like, at this point, it's either, I don't know, I drive away and I get shot at, or I drive and shoot, or, or like, some shit happens. I don't... I don't fuck with it, dude. Wow. So... I'm gonna I'm gonna cuss these cops out actually. I mean they, I don't think you. I, I mean like I understand where you're coming at. It's just I I don't care anymore. Like this is this is bad, Beth. What? What's bad? Let me let me do this fucking delivery and then and then we'll and I'll get in the car, okay? Do you like my new uniform? I'm an ass manager. I like it. Thank you. I got promoted. You know how I got promoted? Because no. yesterday people were being mad disrespectful and I was like, that's crazy. And they're like, well, you're not our manager. And I said, oh yeah, hold on. And I called Sunny and I was like, hey, Sunny, can I have a promotion? People are being disrespectful. And she was like, yeah, you're assistant manager now. And I was like, thank you. Next time I'm here, y'all better act right. And that's how I got promoted to ask manager.
Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, uh... All right. Yeah. Well... Let me... Let me... Let me do this delivery, and then... And then I'm gonna get back in the car with you, okay? How about that? How about that? Uh, all right. Okay. All right. Give me a second. <laughs> Bun gang. <laughs> Bun gang. <laughs> Why? He's so stressed out, dude. He's so stressed out. Oh my god. What is it? A single person robbing suit? Like, what even was that just now? Honestly. Oh! Fun gang. Hazel is stressy depressy right now, dude. Right? I know. I'm like, I'm like there's no way, dude. Where's my, my bun man? Just drive past you and shout bun king. Yeah. That other person did, yeah, and then I did it to them back. But, excuse me, bun gang. Bun gang here. I got your buns. Not the best buns I have to offer, but you know, they'll do for what you ordered. Um. Is this? You want me to come all the way up to your fucking apartment? Do you think I'm a minimum wage worker? I got promoted. I didn't even get a raise. Like, what do you want from me? What you want? You on this floor? What's going on? Oh, hey, all right, Mister, Mister Purple Vest. I live in a shitty. You know what? Honestly, I'm not even gonna give you shit because you look like you're having a rough time. I'm not gonna lie to you. This, that's all you, my guy. All right, enjoy. <laughs> Fuck CG. We and BG, Bun Gang, baby. <laughs> How did he know about the robbery at Senior Buns? He- oh yeah, he- he drove past her and saw it. He drove past and saw the whole, like, knife pulling thing, I think. Are you kidding me? Fucking way. Hazel! Hazel! It looks like Hazel's car, but it's not. Ain't no fucking way. Oh, thank God! Hi! What happened? Please help me! Oh my goodness! <coughs> Was that the right place at the right time, I guess? Yes, you were. Thank you so much. Alright, I'm gonna move you out of the way of the street just to see what happened. I crashed my little moped. Alright, let me go ahead and take a look at ya. Are you having any sharp pains anywhere? I mostly landed on my right arm. Okay. 
I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure you can wiggle your fingers and toes, everything like that. <laughs> what vigorously. Did you hit your head at all in the fall? Beautiful. No, thank God. I landed like I landed right on my my side. My hip hurts pretty bad. Okay, I I'll uh, clean up these like, stripes and scratches that I see. We'll like... also get some bandages and some eyes packs. And then we'll see if you're fine to stand up, okay? Okay, amazing. Thank you. Oh no. Not my bun mobile. <laughs> Hopefully it's okay. I mean, I still hear the motor running, so that's a good sign. That's a good sign. You're right. All right. Hopefully one more bandage should do the trick and then we'll try to get you on your feet. Oh my god. Thank you so much. I can't believe you were here. I know! Did it just happen? Like, it literally right just happened. Oh my goodness. <laughs> maybe I'm what they call, um, like, psychic or something. Yeah, maybe. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look. All right, I'm going to put your arm around my shoulder, and we're going to stand up in three, okay. two, and one. <sighs> There you go. Thank you so much. All right. You drive sa uh, safe and, and have a better day, okay, ma'am? Thank you so much. You're the best. Oh, my God. All right. Hmm. Let's, uh, not do that again. All right. Hi, puppy. Okay, I'm sorry. I got... Oh, I'm sorry. My dog is so fucking cute. He's so cute. Ugh. Sorry. I'm, I'm on one. I'm on one. You guys have seen the dog. It's so cute. It's such a cute dog, man. Like, why is it like that? You know what I mean? I would give it... I would give him, you know, a, you know, the thing right now, but I don't want to do that because he's like on the ground sleeping. He's being good, so I don't want to like make him hyper. What's up? Bro, I just almost died. You, you left like five minutes before me. How, how, I know. I, I, cra I crashed. I crashed. L, EMS, L. EMS rolled up on me, actually, which was nice. Whoa. Uh, I'm going to go do something. Quick. Wanna go to Bay City really fast? I yeah. fucking crashed, dude. I fucked my shit up and EMS rolled up on me. It was nice. Hello? Yeah. Did you hear what I just right. said? Yeah, I heard you. I'm glad you're alright. Are you I mean well you I mean I, I would understand if you're not okay, but Yeah, I'm good. How much money do I have? 680. He is not good. All right, y'all. We officially have enough money to buy a business license. Hey, you wanna take me to a clothing store, please, really fast? I'm gonna get on my my, my ass man uniform. 
sure I have them. It's all good. He's L. Business? Wait, what? What cozy? Um. Okay, I, okay. I think I want to wear this, but I want to fix the hair. Mic? What kind of mic do I have? This is a... It's not an SM7B. It's like the cheaper version of that. Ten toes on business. Just shall I bring the potential business license. Oh yeah, the business license. Yeah, that's true. All right. Okay, so let's delete that, and then we'll save it like this. Okay. What the? F what used to be right here? You know where I could buy a barrel at? Uh, nope. What used to be right here? I used to have stuff here. It's on guard. I'm Where's like that really stuff? jumpy right now, honestly. What did I have there? Like, just getting shot, like, shot at constantly. Yeah, it's definitely not gonna make you feel good. Honestly, listen, uh, I think, it, you know what? I think it's honestly better now if, if you actually had, to, like, if I actually, put, like, send you back to Senior Buns and I just, I, I actually go home this time. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just not feeling it right now. That's okay. Yeah, I mean, if you actually go to sleep, then go to sleep. Um, I just need to go back to the clothing store and change my, okay, my yeah, uniform again. Yeah. yeah, MB7. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I don't like seeing you like this. I don't like this. Yeah, neither do I. Let's chill. Literally, literally get some rest. Like, I, like, if there's anything I can do, or like, just let me know. I feel you, I feel you. I'll be alright. Okay. Alright, take care of yourself. Okay. You too. Alright. So should I do the burger? Yeah, I'll make a burger and fries, yeah. Okay. So so what happened with that uh, voodoo chick? The, I don't know. The knife lady? Yeah. I have no clue. I just found out she took knives or something. What did she take? Is someone doing voodoo with knives here? <laughs> no. Okay. So she held me at a knife point and made me unlock the, the back fuck? door. And then I oh called the cops. But I don't even know if they came. Probably not. The cops are useless. Yeah, they are. Oh, my goodness. They really are. Like, they are they extremely really are. useless. Like, really? They're, like, they're Reno 911 cops. They, they never yeah. come here. They know. literally never come here. Exactly. The one time I called them because there was something happening, and then everybody got, you know, then a whole uh, uh, people came in and started stabbing everyone. And I said, if you would have came the first time, it would have been fine. 
Yeah, literally. Okay, yeah, absolutely. exactly. Mm-hmm. Fucked up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Make sure whenever you scoop the fries too, you always make I'll get sure it. baskets going. I don't so understand. I, I do not either, you know. And they, they right. and then you know, you you're driving around Los Santos there, and then you see them. There's like six cars at a traffic violation, and you're like, why are there oh. six cop cars when someone just Dude, ran a red light? Red light. And then Not you know, on. someone's over here dying in senior buns, and and it's crickets. No, because they, no, because here's what it is. They're like, ow, oh, I have to go do my job. Like that's crazy. Mm-hmm. I don't want to do that, that. That's Max. This is Max's low hey, Santa. I don't think you grabbed the drinks yet, dog. Oh hi there, dear. Oh, How are yeah. we doing? The drinks are here. Hey, how's it going? Can I get a? Uh, can I get two burgers, two fries, and uh, two waters, okay. please? And what would you like on those burgers, window? dear? Just cheese. Just cheese. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right okay. then. You said two down? burgers. Okay. All uh, right. Uh, you said two fries. Okay. Uh, yes, and, please. And, and then what did you want to drink again? Thank you uh, so water. much. Welcome in, mm-hmm. everybody. Did you want ice in that water? Uh, Welcome yes, please. In. Okay. My name what is Melissa. I play Daphne Malone. I'm so sorry that say, that uh, Hazel is taking yeah, constant L's. Okay, please. <laughs> It's so you. bad. Uh, so we have two it's burgers so with cheese, two I'm fries, so and two sorry. waters with ice. Your total was going to be thirty-one dollars, and your order number is two six three, dear. Nastro, thank you, thank you so down. much for the raid. I really appreciate it. Welcome in, everybody. We're gonna keep doing some role play tonight, and no pixel. Um, Hazel is having a crazy time right now, man. That shit is wild. Nostro, get some rest, Whoa. dude. Get Fine. some fucking rest. I, I can go there. Do you want me to? I know what you're trying to accuse me of there, right? But I, 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 I don't like the false accusations. Uh, uh, Santa false. I was, I was just gonna say you sounded very nice and kind and. Sweet. Hazel oh. will soon be Hayes <laughs> W. Sorry, I take a little back. Exactly. Sorry, I just get really hyper relevant. Then, um, yeah, yeah. Whatever the yeah, word is. So, yeah. What's your name? Yeah, it's so. Uh, DJ, nice to meet you. D- DJ? Yeah, like like a DJ, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Okay, okay, DJ, nice to meet you. My name is, uh, uh Pigeon. Pigeon. Oh, nice Pigeon. to meet you, Pigeon. Pidgey, what? how we doing, my boy? Hey, Daphne, how you doing, huh? How we been? Uh, how you doing? Chilling, chilling, chilling. Another day, another day. Bro, what in the hell? Mine's got a super he- Superman working there. What the hell is that? Um, hey, well, sir. What? I like your mask. I like your glasses. I used to wear those. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Pigeon, I got promoted. I'm ass manager. Best ass manager ever. Uh, thank you. What the fuck is that? Oh, oh makes, sense. makes sense. Wait, who, who is the manager? Well, Sunny. I don't know. There's a couple, but mostly, mostly Sunny and Cow. Oh, okay. But yeah. Hey, Daddy. Pretty important, whatever. Hey. Anyway, y'all welcome in. Hope everybody's chilling, having a good time. We are going to be uh, planning a little bit for April Foos' surprise party. Ow. Um, I would really actually like to get... See, here's what sucks about me trying to sign on and play earlier is that we, um, most of our people are around late, like DJ and ours. So it's like a lot of our, like our crime group and stuff like that, they're not awake right now. Um, and they and they and here's what's gonna happen they're gonna wake up in like an hour and a half and then it's gonna be like oh now i've got all this stuff to do and it's just two, six, like three, two, six, three. and it's gonna be like what? um but i would really you guys i'm not gonna lie i would really like to have a catch up with raymond now that he's back because I feel like they might be able to have a pretty cool conversation right now. Um, and then also, we might have had... Hey, 
Hello. Hey, what's up? What can I get for you? Uh, geez, let me get uh, two cheeseburgers, um, two of the seasoned curlies, and two sprunks, no ice. Alrighty. Bye bye. Okay, right go there. ahead and swipe your number 64. Okay, no worries. Just give me a couple minutes. You do it. All right, and there you go. Perfect. Thank you. Uh huh. I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna take uh, just a second. I'm trying to. F I'm trying to find out if we're gonna be doing a little bit of Red Dead tonight. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Um. I also really need to eat a little bit. Um, I haven't really eaten. I haven't eaten since I started stream, and I'm hungry, so I might have a little bit of this sandwich that I have. Oh, <laughs> I always do that. Sorry, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. Yeah, careful, the floor gets kind of greasy over there. Yeah. There you go. Perfect, thanks so much, have a good mm -hmm. day. Enjoy. I'm sorry, you guys. I know that I'm literally doing this right after a raid, and but I am just starving. I'm damn. We really. Could I ask you as soon as you uh, are done grilling to go out front? I need to have a snack break in the freezer. Oh, okay. For real. Thank you. Hungry help! Hungry help! Hungry Look help! 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 managers they're eating in the freezer when we're short staff can i get a combo i'll get everything on the burger and i'll get you, you want to see the light, sandwich please. it's like a really good sandwich no and it's not for you puppy it's not for you you guys want to see my dog i'll give him a treat This is dog. Oh, you're part of the floor? Okay, thank you. And this is sandwich. Wow. It's so good. But I need to eat. <laughs> I need to eat a little bit of it. So, so give me uh, give me just a couple minutes. I'm just going to take a really quick sandwich break and then be right back. Not for you, puppy. Okay, I be alone, and when my G's are roaming out of Caesar's home, you can release the throne. I mix it up in the lag, got the beaker zone, so the ladies want to kick it like sneaker con to each his own. But when I ride late, up sun tinted, probably win it when we finish, not a trace at all. You can go with scar face and don't face it all. Messing with my young head is either wildin' for a check, wildin' for respect. Any given Sunday, gunplay, another kid shot on a one way, bleeding out fast, got a lung spray. Every day, young slay. See, that's a problem with a 20 something. Drink it very often from the handy fountain. Saying fuck the law, what they all about? Can't trust nobody, I got a ton of doubts. And why you still talking, ho? Shut your mouth. Why you ain't turning up? Just a fucking bounce. What you mean, you don't smoke? I got a fucking ounce. Well, now you just gotta go. Cause God gave me the talent to better my flows. But the devil made me use it when I let as a pro. Said God gave me the talent to better my flows. But the devil made me use it just fucking with hoes. Save the murmur, murder in a third. Emergencies emerge when I line up work. Intense content, get intense nerves. Especially when I pen pro -verb. God gave me the talent to better my flows. But the devil made me use it when I let as a pro. Said God gave me the talent. I have an announcement. It's important that you listen.
talk about a living fame. You won, I'm the other, so we can't debate. Uh, get your paper straight. Going down the money trees where you can't vacate. Real or fake? So we can't debate. Get your paper straight. Uh-oh, did you hear that? The B A O K. Jace. Rami is supposedly coming for Rob, and he's, you know. Is that fucking chatterbox? Yeah. He's got he's got a history of doing that, so I think we should probably. Dip Rami. Chatterbox is telling us to. Wait, who? Who? Who is? He said Rami is coming here to rob everybody of their face stubs. I don't know who that Rami guy is, but second, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's just let's bail first. I finished this order. Let's finish this order and then let's bail for a minute. <laughs> do you have a car, Daphne, or do you need a ride? Uh, I do. Thank you. Okay. I still need to finish my sandwich, though. Oh wait, I parked over here. Uh, I believe Rami is in CG. Uh, They're also enemies. Uh, I've never heard of those people before. Oh, hey. Hi, Daphne. Yeah. Hey, hey. Hi. Hey, hey. Hi. How you doing, Dingles? Hey, you know, maybe you should take him inside. Maybe you should take him inside. Yeah, we're, we're, we're um, just take him inside. So we heard about the thing. I don't want to go in the freezer, guys. Wait, the thing? Well, Chatterbox just said Rami's coming to rob these days. I'm getting a sweater from my grandkids. Oh! So, I'm not sure. Oh, gosh. We gotta be careful. Yeah, we're just gonna give it a minute. Yeah, that's understandable. But, how have you been? I'm being good. How about you? Yeah, yeah, I've been chilling. I got promoted. I'm ass manager now. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, we will do it a good sabbatical. Good, good sabbatical. What are you guys up to? <laughs> Too, because I have no idea. <laughs> so, I'm about to go. Uh, I'm about to go have a meeting, but I will see you soon. Okay, dogs. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, I need to eat. Where is my car? Oh wait, I did I did park it over here. God damn it. The universe playing games with me. Bring me up high fuck and releases me. What is meant to be? Like me puffin' tree. We'll be brought in existence on some pimp shit. I spit this. Whatever your fabric was, I lifted it for the money is static. How I'm conditioned. CG Chang Gang. Apple of my eye, girl, come around. You know I come from Lennox to Harlem Brown. So I was conditioned, always hold it down. Life is but a oh dream God, where to is... me, and I don't want to wake up. Oh. 30 some ideas and shed them tears without ever getting this paper. Have to get in this paper. Yes, I'm a lost cause. No compass, no direction. Set right and shit. I fuck up yet. Activist, give me slow mo steps. Stop being crazy. Blame it all on the late 80s. All the OGs and the homies gonna feel me when I'm being honest. Say the city been driving me crazy. I heard it matter. Did all of my homework. Now it's my turn to let me show you how this zone work and I gotta go. Shorty trying to cling on, but I'm on a trek to the stars. So yeah, meet me on Mars. Let's go. And why you still talking? Oh, shut your mouth. Why you ain't turning up? This the fucking bounce. What you mean you the smoke? I got a fucking ounce. Well, now you just gotta go. Cause God gave me the talent to better my flows. But the devil made me use it when I let her the pros. Said God gave me the talent to better my flows. Devil made me use it just fucking with hoes. Say well, I'm not murder in the third. Emergencies emerge when I line up words. Until Content get a test nerve, especially when I pen pro verse. God gave me the talent to better my flows, but the devil made me use it when I let the pros say God gave me the talent to better my flows, but the devil made me use it just fucking with hoes. What you talking about, real or fake? You want them the other, so we can't debate. Uh, get your paper straight, born on the money trees, we can't vacate. Real or fake? So we can't debate. Get your paper straight, born on the money trees, we can't vacate. What you talking about, real or fake? You want them the other, so we can't debate. Uh, Get your paper straight, born under money trees where you can't vacate. Real or fake? So we can't debate. Get your paper straight, born under money trees where you can't vacate.
At least you guys got to watch a police chase, all right?
Okay. <clears throat> hey, Dan. Hey, what's up? Where you at? Uh, just at the Goyle's house at the moment. Okay. Uh, do you want to come by? Yeah, sure. Cool. All right. I'll be right there. All right. See you soon. See you soon. Oh my god!
manager of senior buns, I see. Oh, that's me. You already know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well-deserved title. Thank you. Listen, this is how I got promoted, right? Mm hmm So people were being, like, mad disrespectful to me in the kitchen yesterday. And they were like, well, whatever. It's not like you're a manager or anything. And I was like, oh, really? And I called Sunny and I was like, hey, Sunny, can I have a promotion? And she was like, yeah, yeah, you're assistant manager now. Just wear a blue shirt, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, thank you. And then I hung up the phone and I was like, okay, well, now I'm an assistant manager. So next time I'm here working, you all better act right. <laughs> Manage those asses. Exactly. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Well, fair enough, you know. It's <laughs> rank is rank at the end of the day. Even yeah. though I don't know if you get like an extra paycheck or anything. No. But I definitely get to wear a way better outfit and tell you what, that's enough nice. for me. I mean, blue's a good color. Yeah, it, it looks way better on me. I look terrible in red. Yeah, red's not really my color either. I, I think blue suits me better. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like you might look better in red, actually. You think? I, I got a yeah. nice blue suit if you want to have a look. Yeah, I mean, sure, yeah, I mean... I'm sure, but I, I, I generally think blue suits me better. Uh -huh. Red's just a bit too much. Red's more should April's color, you know? Should I stay out here, or...? No, no, feel free to come in. Damn, y'all have a really nice place. It's still a work in progress at the moment. We're also getting a proper changing room. You got way more room than I do at my house. Ciao, ciao. Hi, hi. Um, remember yesterday when you said something about like a brochure? Was it a brochure or a newspaper? Yes, 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 yes. We, we need a, like a brochure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because mm -hmm. Moose is here right now. So I had a senior buns even to talk to him. But he said he, the only thing he made was a newspaper. Oh, okay. Well, let me. Um, I'm actually just hanging out with Max really fast. Got to talk to him about something. And then let me call you back. And, and hopefully okay, okay. just still around. Alrighty. Awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. No problem. Bye bye. All right, I'll see you soon. Thank you. Oh, twinkles. Um, I'm doing a uh, an art auction fundraiser for for Sunny's Ooh. church. So we're trying to figure out how to uh, how to be able to display the art in different formats. So we're trying to get a a, a paper oh. version. Very nice. Yeah, used to be easy. Now very difficult. But I'm gonna try and make it happen. You know. Yeah, I do miss the books. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you want to use the TV in the library, you know, you could display on there. Oh, true. So we're planning it at the observatory. Oh, right. Okay. Mm -hmm. He might have been. Um, so we're going to have, I think we're going to put the artworks along the view. And so people can go individually look at the artworks and then either pick up a brochure at the end or will or maybe both of these things will twat out the artworks as they're being auctioned so like you have to come to the viewing period to see the art but then when it's the auction time we'll twat out you know piece number one we'll twat it out so you remember which one that is and then we'll start auctioning you know got you okay that, that, I, I think that makes sense but yeah no your place is really nice though it's very cute like I said, still very much a work in progress. A lot more we need to do. A lot more wolves you got to move in. It's just, you know, a little bit pricey. Yeah, absolutely. This suit looks very nice, Max. Thank you. See what I mean? I, I think blue suits me. Yeah, I do. I do too. I feel like you would still look good in red, though. But but blue is definitely good. Hmm. Maybe I'll have to try and get a red suit at some point. I, I did have one, but it was for, like, the... They have so much orc, space. Had, like, the hearts on it. I don't think right. I've got any more. Right. They have so much space. Why is our house yeah, let's so small? Yeah, let's have a talk. Uh, hold on, the door. You never be too careful in this neighborhood. Yep. Okay, so. So. What's up? Okay, so. Um, I'm thinking. Personally. I was kind of thinking the vineyard, maybe. Vineyard? It is Almost. nice up that way. 
Unless you have more ideas. See, here's the thing. I want this to be uh, luxurious. I don't want it to necessarily be in the middle of the city unless there's a specific place we think would work very well. I mean, honestly, <gasps> wait a minute. What if we threw it at the Big Red Mansion on Great Ocean? Big Red? Oh, the one in the hills? No, 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 no. The one that's like on the way to Polito. You know what I'm talking about? It's like, it's not surrounded by other houses. Yeah, it's on the hills, isn't it? Like, in the hills next to Great Ocean. I mean, like... It overlooks the ocean? Yeah, yeah, it overlooks... Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I thought you meant the Vinewood Hills. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. That'd be good, too. I feel like... You know, could... very much out of the way, unique location. Yeah, yeah like... Parking might be a bit of difficulty up there. I mean, there's plenty of... Honestly, if people need to park on, like, the lawn and stuff, that's fine. But, I mean, now that I'm thinking about it... That house isn't owned. We could, like, that's a place that people haven't really thrown parties at before. No, the people that used to own it, I don't think ever really utilized it that way. It was Jaeger, then Tommy T, I believe. But we can also, like, I really want um, Ray, Raymond specifically, involved in the planning as well because she's known April the longest. She is April's bestie. Yeah, so if, I really, I feel like she would have, like, I feel like you and her. I definitely wanted to bring in as the co-planners, if you will, because I feel like you're like you're around April pretty much all the time, and Ray has known her for so long, and she's her best friend. So I was like, if anybody's gonna know how to make this happen for April, it would be you two. You know, I happen to be able to help. I said I'll, I'll try and gauge if she would be free on the first. I mean, it's the perfect opportunity for us to get money. Mm -hmm. Probably ask people to bring gifts if we can. Oh, absolutely. You know, I, uh, I think so. I, I can mention it to Raymond when she's back too. I don't think she'll be gone for too much longer. Okay, great. Yeah, let's. I think if we could have a powwow between like you, me, Ray, and Murphy. Um, I don't know if Murphy has told April's sister yet. Um, oh, I don't know, actually. He hasn't mentioned anything. So, I, I don't know who Murphy has told. So, I'll I ask him. I think it might just be me. Oh, do you want any of the other girls involved as well? Um, Honestly, there's a thing about it being a surprise party that I'm very worried that if we put too many people in the planning, somebody, like... You know what I'm saying? There, if there's like 10 people planning and three of the people are like, I can tell this one person and you know what I mean? Too and many then cooks. All, and then all of a sudden everybody knows before the party. Yeah, people do love to gossip. Yeah. So that's why I was like, bare minimum, I was like the best friend, someone, you know, you know, best friend, Ray, you, who is someone that I know that's close to April as well. Murphy, who is funding the whole thing, me, the event planner, and then maybe if he wants to include, like, her sister or somebody else that's close to her, and then I think we should just keep it as small as possible. I want to launch the invites a week before. Hmm. Or a few Dude, days Jamie before. would be good, because she might be able to get, like, the, her other siblings awake. <gasps> oh, that's so true! And maybe March and May. Potentially, oh. I don't know. Don't know too sure. That's a good idea. I also don't know if she would accidentally maybe mention it to uh, April too. Mm. She's very close to April. Yeah, this is this is important because the other thing is the artists are also gonna know, and I'm like being very specific about like like I told Naomi today, asking about the Bimbo's reunion. I was like. This is a secret. Like, everybody involved has to know this is a secret. It has to be under the wraps. As far as April will know, it's just a small thing. Yeah, exactly. Just to make sure she's around on the day. Exactly. I try and bring up a casual way. Like, you know, ask if she's got any plans for her birthday. See if she'd be interested in, like, a little get-together with the Goyles. Mm-hmm. I think that'd work. Yeah, right?
But I think that we can, I mean, we can ask Ray, Murphy, January, if they have any opinions as well. Oh, wait. Oh, maybe I should call Murphy and see if he wants to be a part of this uh, little brainstorm. Oh, yeah. Uh, hey, Daphne, how are you doing? Hey, um, I am with Max right now, and we're talking about potential ideas. Do you have some time? Uh, yeah, I'm just watching the uh, punch a cop thing down at the PD. But uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not married to this or anything, so I can come oh. I can come meet up. I did not realize uh, that there was a punch a cop thing. Oh, but yeah, we're just at the we're at uh, Max and April's house. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll head over there. Okay. Awesome. We'll see you soon. All right. See you soon. Bye. Bye. I didn't realize there was a punch a cop event going on right now. Yeah, there's a few state announcements about it. Huh. Look at that. But anyway, yeah. I was telling Murphy, I'm just trying to make it as, like, as, like, exclusive, kind of high roll ye of an event as possible with, you know, not, not in, like, a douchebag way, but things like the celebrity that I'm flying in and potentially having a bimbo's reunion very much like one night only like as special as possible you know make it a nice little event not a little yeah. event big event yeah but I mean as far as invites that is something I definitely need you and Ray for um personally I would love to invite Chang Gang because April used to be in Chain Gang, and I think that they would all like that, you know, a little bitty reunion of sorts. Um, Wu Chang, April was in Wu Chang, and then everybody that are her new friends. I think it's a good list. Don't want, like, the whole city showing up, because that's how parties come too much of a headache. Yeah, no, especially something like this, because... Yeah, it's it's going to be big. So we definitely don't want everybody knowing about it. Because even if we keep it secret, I'm sure it's going to get out. And I'm sure something is going to happen. I'm going to be uh, hiring Swan and seeing if she can get a pretty decent amount of security Hello. for it. I think oh, that's let me get that. <laughs> Come on Hello. Hey. Hey, Daphne. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so what I was just telling uh, Max, I was like, for the invite list, Jace, don't do that. <laughs> for the invite list, I, I want to invite Chang Gang because that's April's old gang, mm -hmm. and I think it might be a cute little reunion for them. Um, I want to invite Wu Chang because that's her old record label, and then everybody that's her new friends now. Um, she's been trying to make time for Taco lately and coming up short, so I think that's good. Um, okay. You know, definitely make time. Uh, you know, consider consider old friends and old gang. Uh, pretty heavily because. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's she's been sort of venting to me about how she hasn't been able to make time for some of her old friends, and it's kind of bothering her. So uh, that'd be it'd be good opportunity to catch up with like everybody. Perfect, amazing. That works out great. Okay, so as far as locations, I just had the idea to maybe throw it on that big red house off Great Ocean. Big red house off Grey Ocean. Um, the one where the reception was? No, the no, hotel, no, no, no. The resort? No, no, no. There's, so if you go up... Um, let me look at the map right now. If you go up to... Um, it's like above Chumash? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, ready? If you go on your map, you, you know, you go near Chumash you go to the east a little bit mm -hmm. 
at the end of Bantam Canyon Drive. You see the big house right there? Oh, uh, yeah, I was just talking about these uh, I was just talking about these houses earlier. Was I, yeah, talking, but... was I talking to you about that, Max? I think so, yeah. Yeah, we were talking about those mansions off of Great Ocean and who owned them, right? I was talking to somebody about that anyway. So it's funny. It's funny that you suggest that because those are those are the houses uh, that I was most interested in buying back in the day, and uh, nice. I never even knew who owned them. But I guess yeah. uh, uh, I guess one of them belonged to Jaeger back in the day. I think the Thanks red to one. Tommy was... to you. Yeah, I was about to say the red one. I think yes, Tommy yes, to you. yes, yes. Uh, we were talking about that. Um, but yeah. So yeah. at first I said the vineyard because I was like, well, what's like a really classy, fancy place? The vineyard. And then yeah. when I was saying it, I literally was like, wait a minute. Nobody owns the mansions right now. Like the big red mansion would be dope. Does the vineyard, is the vineyard still like unlocked and have like uh, interior space though? For, mm. for, I, our, for our purposes or? I don't think so. Okay. All right. Then either one is suitable. That's the next yeah. then. Um, I would I wouldn't mind some place that has like an indoor area, as well. But uh, mm. I mean, it's just hard to think of like something suitable. Because the other thing I'm thinking about is exclusivity, right? Because this is not going to be a citywide event. I think that that would welcome way too much chaos. Uh, agree. Yeah, I agree with us. So, so I was like, you know, nobody's going to pass by that mansion casually and be like, what's going on over here? You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's, uh, I think, I think it's good to, to plan with that in mind, that kind of stuff in mind. Cause like, it seems like, uh, it seems like she's the type of person who, when she wants to cause like chaos, she'll blast herself out there and see what happens. But when she wants to spend time with the uh, people closest to her she's usually pretty tight-lipped about it yeah so yeah i think i think exclusivity and kind of um being uh being out of the way is 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 ideal sure um i feel like a beach venue a beachside venue might be great but i'm tr i'm struggling to think of something comparable that would be like right off the beach yeah in Chumash. exactly it's like even if you even if you did it in Chumash, like there's kind of not a very good there's there's just there's just not a good space honestly besides the beach itself you know what i mean right i mean even yeah. if you uh, even if even if you like I I think it would be a possibility to do it on the houses on the beach by kind of by Del Perro Pier because there's a lot of balconies that people can spread out to, but I feel like that's just too spread out. The yacht, okay. potentially, but I don't know how, like it's not really easy to get a boat for transport from the beach to the yacht is the problem. And uh, you know, there's already, you know, it's a bit, it's a bit too much of like a callback for mm. no reason. Cause she already had a, when I first met her, she had a yacht, yacht birthday party. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good to know. It'd also be like, limited space too. Yep. Right. And, uh, it just adds an additional logistical layer that to do a repeat idea <laughs> for no, like. It, th there's not even like a, a a resonance to that it's just a repeat idea there's no like significance it wasn't like it wasn't like uh, to, to my to my recollection it wasn't like the special event of her life or anything in fact mm -hmm. the cops came and fucking ruined it great <laughs> um but yeah i would say i mean the red mansion i mean it's got a few balconies it's got the front the garden the back the pool is huge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think that's yeah. a bad idea. The only concern I see is people jumping over the balcony. Mm. People do be stupid sometimes. Yeah.
We'll see though. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. Any any other uh, sorts of uh, things to consider? Um. Like in terms of invitations and all that. I think that's um, everything for now, right? We just need to wait for Ray to get back and talk to her about it. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely don't want to say that anything is final until her best friend has an input. Yeah. Uh, over planning before before she gets her say. Um, yeah. Because, I mean, I, I think she'll be excited and have a lot of ideas to bring to, bring mm-hmm. to the table, too. So, um, yeah, no, I think, I think that's a good place to start. Um, since, uh, you know, my, my big dilemma right now is like, I just bought her a car basically or committed to buy her a car. So Mm -hmm. I now have to think of a new birthday gift Mm -hmm. because it was gonna, it was gonna maybe be a car if I could, if Mosley's was still being an asshole till then, but, uh, gonna have to come up with something else. Yeah. I think she really does enjoy the car though. It looks like a really fun car. I want to. I want to get a chance car. to drive it sometime. Is it an automatic? Can she drive it? Yeah, it's automatic. Okay. Makes it a lot easier. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a beautiful, beautiful whip. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change my my car's color over to the one that she's got in a bit oh yeah i'm gonna add that to the to-do list you ever have one of those days where you just can't remember all the loose ends that are still dangled yeah just one thing after (laughs) another yeah um but uh yeah as far as the uh surprise guest you think that's going to like probably fall through if we can't get uh get a commitment like really soon wait what'd you say i said as far as the surprise guest like do you think that that's gonna fall through if we can't get a super early commitment um not really i mean if we can get i think that it's possible to have it be monday or tuesday like i said um yeah like i can possibly give them a frame of like we're trying to get it but honestly with all the planning of it we we should we should lock in as soon as we can you, you, but but as far as like you, right now if i tell them yeah it's either going to be like monday or tuesday probably it should be okay yeah do you do you think that uh that we can uh we can afford to wait on locking it in until like ray's around because i feel like yeah. she might she might she might have an idea on how to how to make that happen too i don't know yeah absolutely yeah absolutely all right Sorry, I'm like so cooked. I'm yawning. I hope it's not contagious. No, you're fine. Don't worry about it. It's been a, it's been a day. Yeah, I mean, this all looks good to me. I mean, we have a lot of time. I just wanted to plant those seeds for the the performers because, like I said, the performers are. It's not just it's not just me hitting up Wu Chang and being like, "Hey, who wants to perform this?" Like, I'm trying to make it very special. I, I really appreciate that because uh, so am I so am I. Oh, the other thing is Damien. Uh, Damien wants to perform a cover that he's been making of one of April's songs. Ooh, Ooh. that'd be good. Yeah. That's actually yeah, that's actually really cool. Yeah. All right, so Damien's on board. That's good. Um. Yeah, I, I I really I really like the direction and and the effort you're putting into this already because uh, I I really want to make it special too just because uh, again she she made my birthday really special and we we weren't even like supposed to hang out that was fucking my ex wife intervened hmm. <laughs> long long story but yeah 
um, like uh, it, was, it was a really memorable day. But uh, I hope I hope we, we can we can plan one too. And it sounds like we will. Uh, I'll, I'll check nice out the venue up. later. I'll check out the venue uh, and try to think of like any alternatives that might be really suitable. But um, yeah, I mean, you kind of you kind of already like chalked off two of them for the mayoral thing, the the yeah. ma the big mansion and the the country club. Yeah, whose the, idea the was the was the country club? Because that was a good good choice. I think that that was um I think that that was Sunny actually. Sunny, okay. Yeah. But um, yeah. I mean, I would have loved to use the Playboy Mansion for an event like this, but honestly, now like the more I think about it, the more having it at somewhere or like even the um, what's that one ranch? that's up like north of the casino villa playa vista or whatever the fuck it's called oh yeah that's a good spot too i forgot about that yeah so i think either red mansion vineyard or playa vista for this because those three areas are out of the way we're gonna have less of a risk of like ambushers or like party crashers i think the red mansion has the least opportunity for party crashers like i think that would be the best one for security to cover yeah who's gonna who's gonna even drive by there to see on and, any given day yeah and the way it's set up like playa vista honestly people can creep up through the ranch so it's like pretty open and the vineyard as well is pretty open, but the Red Mansion, half of it is on a balcony. So that'll definitely make the security's job easier. Yeah, I mean, I like the vineyard. It's just so done, you know? It's yeah. just, like, I, I haven't been to an event there recently, but, you know, it's still just kind of like an obvious choice. Yeah. A Red Mansion might be kind of a more you know, personal choice. And it's April's favorite color. Yeah. That is true. Hopefully I don't get roped into buying the place. <laughs> I'm not so sure I can pull that off right now. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be as cheap as it was back in the day, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> it's only a million dollars back in the day. That's crazy. Considering like the Vinewood houses were like four million. That's wild. It's because there's no property around it, I bet. I imagine so, yeah. Just that one of the one. Yeah. Because as soon as, as soon as neighborhood, um, as soon as buildings start getting bought up, then property, whatever, increases. Property value. Yeah. Yeah, once, it, once it's bought up, it's a seller's market. It's what I enjoyed for many years in Chumash. <laughs> Bought my bought my house for like 75, 80k, and uh, it was worth like I don't know, three million or something like that at the high end. By the time, by the time the economy crashed. Those aren't bad margins. Yep. And you gotta you gotta treat everything like an investment. You're not wrong. Um, so what else? What else? Uh I definitely want to have Wind Song there to do tarot readings for people. Okay. Because I you know, I think April uh got got pretty into doing doing those uh like uh tarot readings. I think like the whole the whole group was doing them or something. Okay. Um, and obviously, you know, I got, I had a tarot card made for, her, which was like, uh, you know, kind of a special thing too. So making sure when songs on the invite oh, list is right. probably good. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I know. Cool. Hell yeah. yeah I think that sounds good. Hmm. <clears throat> trying to think if there's anything else, uh, to cover. 
I don't think so right now. Um, I think moving forward, basically, the vibe is wait for Raymond, decide on a venue. Maybe, you know what we should do when Ray comes back? Why don't we take us four out and we'll go look at these venues we're talking about and we can all decide looking at them which one we feel like would be the vibe. Uh, I agree. And uh, if we could get like a microphone too to like test out while we're while we're at it at these different um, venues, that that would be helpful too. That is a very difficult. Getting a microphone right now is an extremely difficult thing to do. Um, getting it for the event, probably most likely. Well, I'm I'm gonna make it happen. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna make it happen. But getting it just to test okay, out. Okay, just like ask my, lollipop. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. It depends. Because the thing is, <laughs> um, we're given a limited amount of microphones based on events. So okay. it's kind of like a he has to hit somebody up and be like, we have this. Can we have microphones type of thing? Okay. Well, all right. If we can't really test it ahead of time, then it is what it is. Uh, was forget forget that plan um but yeah i think it's a good idea to go check check out and and scout these places kind of determine you know how we want to set things up yeah. you know if we want to have uh food and drink available where where it would be suitable to do that and you know kind of just start imagining the party and everything yeah yeah exactly. all right sounds like a plan right. do you know do you know when she'll uh she'll be around next Max? Uh, Ray? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, should be hold soon. That Hello, January. Uh, what, 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 what happened? What happened? What happened? I, I, uh, oh, Max, oh. unlock the door. Unlock the uh, door. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah get into it. We gotta go. Oh. April's, go. The, April's, in the, April's in the hospital. Let's go, let's go. Oh, God, what really? The fuck? All right, we're on our way. We're on our way. Me and me and me and Max are on our way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and Max are on our way. All right, we'll be there. We'll be there in like uh, thirty seconds. Just uh, just just take a deep breath. We'll be we'll be right there. Everything's gonna be okay. All right. Yeah, I'll I'll stay on the phone with you. It's it's gonna be our right. what what? Can you tell me what happened? Oh my god. Is she uh, arrested? Where is she? Where where are hey, you? Max. Hey Max. Hey. Nice to meet you. Can you can you hear me better? I, I um, you. I see uh, you is over here. Oh god. Okay. I'll see you in a second. Can you hear me out here? Hello. 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 Murphy Hello. Murphy Murphy yes, 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 yes. Oh. Where's, where's okay. She? Over here. Excuse me, sorry. Fiona! Guys, what are you doing? What? <laughs> what the fuck happened? Hey, Clay. Hmm, uh... I mean, there's a lot oh, happening, yeah. Do no. Don't you fucking dare! So far, I die. Hey, do you have Bozo Fodoba? Have, uh, who? Bozo's Fodoba? <sighs> no, I don't have Bozo, oh. sorry. Okay, do you have Chatterbox? Uh, no, I don't have chatter either. Oh, okay. Sorry. Hey, I, I, are we allowed in? Hey, I, 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 I don't have his number, no. Is this it? 
At this day, I see. I don't know if we can go in. though she's entirely stable uh we'll have uh you guys using the icu just keeping eyes on her and then also give me um pretty much like every other hour updates on my team all right anything anything she needs just just i'm a phone call away let me give you my phone number April, please, wake up. please take care it's gonna be okay don't worry did you Able, say that what is the placement uh, Max, she's gonna Sorry. be, she's gonna need to be I, uh, yeah, under I observation for know. two days. Sorry. Okay. She has uh, pressure on her brain, uh, a little bit of swelling, <laughs> but it should, uh, it should resolve and she should be okay. Yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. This is good. your fault. <laughs> oh, it's not my I, fault. I didn't run over. This is your fault. I didn't talk to scare the fucking car. <laughs> You just had to take oh. up the trunk, and you had to murder! What? <laughs> then you shouldn't have punched me, January! Then maybe I wouldn't need you to go to the hospital! You first! <laughs> April, I want you to know you're gonna be okay. <laughs> just in case you're not gonna be okay, I want you to know oh. that I love you. Oh! And I'll do everything I can to make sure that you get better. Because you know I'm not a doctor, and I don't know anything about that. I'll, 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 I'll do everything in my power to make sure that you come back here. So you can drive your badass new car around. You're amazing, and you're gonna be just fine. <laughs> oh, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I'll go. She's gonna be okay. She's, she's okay. gonna be fine. She just needs to rest. Honestly. Oh, oh thank God. I, I, I gotta be strong. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, strong um, we have no reason to believe that you know, there will be any other outcome than for her to wake up in a few days. So she's just in pain. Okay. Uh, and Murphy, I could just send you my number. If you need absolutely anything, let me know. Uh, I'm going to start working on her medical Thank report. Thank you. Of course. Thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm sure oh my god, what? Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, what a day. <laughs> what a day. April, wake up! Oh. Wake up! She, she, she's in good care, De January. Wake January, up. If, if she wakes up right now, it's going to make her worse. So she needs to get her rest. She needs some sleep. And that's, that's what's best for her right now. So you just got to... Just gotta be strong for her and make sure she gets everything she needs and that uh you know the doctors have all the time they need to to make her better. No, I'm not leaving. Wake up. April, I'm sorry that I had to leave today and go back to work when it's we were April? having fun looking at cars. I wish <laughs> I wish I had time to just hang out with you today, and uh, I'm sorry we we're both busy when this happened. Why are you making it seem like she's dead? She's fine, guys. <laughs> she's just you know a little, little concussion, like crazy. Sprain swelling. <sighs> I mean, yes, she's gonna be, she's gonna be okay. She's gonna be just fine. She's stable. But you know, she'll need to be here for a few days. Yeah. I know. Oh, days. really? Oh. Honestly, you know what would the, uh, you know, make her feel better, Murphy? What would make her feel better? See, something that helped me when I was back in the ICU was when people waved stuff in front of me when I was unconscious. <laughs> April, what you need to think about like what, what's her favorite thing in the world, you know, and. You think about it, if you wave like a wand of money in front of her, it might help her wake up earlier. The more, the, the, the quicker she'll wake up. I'm not kidding. How is she going to smell it? I mean, she'll, she'll smell it. Smell She's a fooze. Yeah. She'll smell it. Let me call you back. She doesn't work. She doesn't know what a pacelift yeah, is. You get a bunch of money, like maybe 10, maybe $50,000 in cash, and just wave in front of her. Oh, I just got my pack. I'll just put that next to her there. Okay. Oh. Alright, how about this? Is this, uh... What is this man doing? Do anything? Just 
smell that? Do you smell that, April? <laughs> April? Far paint or something again? Which one? Hello, you've reached Raymond the Romanov. Voice mailbox. How can I help you? Leave a message. Please leave it. Voice mailbox. What? Do you have money? Can you can you do it too? I I I gave her forty three forty three dollars. Touch it. That's all I have in my wallet. Touch it with your hand, darling. Beep. Feel that paper. That that funny paper. Not quite paper. Not quite cloth. It's a good joke. <laughs> Timothy, Timothy, wave your money around. You, you owe Hi, money. Listen, to, to her. Got a few more extra dollars here. Whoa, I wonder who that was. A few, a few more dollars Do this, here. April. Okay. This is all the, this hey, is Fiona, all what's going on? I got $30 some... $30-plus thousand dollars I made scamming people for weapons licenses today. We're both hustlers. And this is the money I made just by doing work, which you, I, I think is hard-earned. It, it has value, too. <laughs> I mean, hard-earned money is great. But money that <gasps> you didn't earn is even Thank better. You. Oh, goodbye. Guys, oh. fake, fake money doesn't this. work. Fake <laughs> money doesn't work. You need real money. Real money. Go get the ba money from the bank, the ATM, right now. Why don't you get money from the bank? I'm looking at you. You were the one who was crying on the floor. <laughs> I bought her a hundred fifty thousand dollar car today, and I think another fifty thousand dollars would make her feel a lot better. Ray, you talking an awful okay, lot of shit I'll from the sidelines and not back. pulling out your pockets right now? Well, I'm just being a good support hype man right now. You know? <laughs> hey, where's your money, Ray? We've given you some money. That's what I'm, that's your that's I'm what I'm saying. Yeah, but not right now. Money. She needs it more now more than ever. <laughs> yeah, but you now see, more like than ever, Ray. That's why she has great people like you. Don't get that her. company money. That's right. Maybe she. Do you want to stay here tonight, Daniela? Yeah. They, they, they might let you stay here. I'm not leaving her side. All right. Aww. I'll uh, stay in the lobby if you need me. Okay. Thank you. Do you want me to bring you a blanket or maybe some food? Yeah. Two sides, two waters, and a blanket. Two sides, uh, two waters, and a blanket. You sure I got some it. chips and uh, some water for you if if you need anything now. I got two fries right here. Oh, perfect. Yeah, the chips suck. Take the fries. All right. Well, um, she's in the best spot that oh. she needs to be. I think I put <laughs> on April's. I think so. Bed. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna get better. All right, we probably everything is going. gonna be okay. Uh, and you, you and I are gonna us. race each other in our badass cars together, and it's gonna be awesome. And we're gonna go to the hospital, but we're not gonna go to the ICU that time. It's gonna be better. I'm gonna be staying here until she wakes up. You guys. Alrighty. Okay. Well, like I said, I'll uh, make sure to take back here in January. I'll bring you some fries. I'll go get the blanket for you, too. January, you let me know if there's anything I can do for you. And uh, you. I'll see you in a couple of days if uh, I don't hear from you. Hey, guys, we got another guest coming in to say hello. Visiting hours are, hey, are come about here, to be ending, but let's see. Yeah, um, it's just so popular, April. You have so many friends popular. and visitors. <laughs> this is Sorry, I should put my I should put the sad music on for this entire thing. I uh, I mean this comes staff to Murphy. I can close visitations if you like, or you can stop it here. I I think I think we have time for one more yeah. visitor. Okay, but, uh, it's, it's, I think she does need to rest. Okay, brilliant. I think Just let me know. I think it'll be fine. Okay. Yeah, I didn't I know it was a hole. I got this. We gotta cut it. Then we gotta cut it. But, you know. I didn't think it was a whole production. I was like, you know. <laughs> yeah. 
She needs a rest. Yeah, sorry. You know, just want to say something. Very important. Very important. Thank you. Thank you. You know, when I left her, she still loved me. She loved me. She's dead. She's not dying. <laughs> She's not dead. <laughs> She's not dying, guys. Oh She's God. in a medically induced She's coma. She, she just needs guys, to rest. I know how to wake her up. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, wait. Friends for you. Um. Oh, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> that's too small for her. She gets like sixteen thousand dollars from men in town. I'm buying her a hundred fifty thousand dollar car today. It's a lot of money. A hundred thousand. Yeah, it's got to be at least a hundred thousand cash. <laughs> you know, if you're broke, she's busy. Two hundred thousand dollars. What? What? For real? In five years. Just stop. <laughs> oh. In five years. That sounds like my it's still, alimony. It's still, money. it's still a lot of money. It's just in five years. <laughs> yeah, I owe... Uh, I, I owe 200... I owe $250,000 of alimony over 13 years. Every six months. Guys, it's basically like no money at all. I think she's dead. Look at the EKG. She's flatlined. She's flatlined. <laughs> she's not flatlined. You, you unplugged it. it. Not, don't... No. Yeah. yeah. Stop plugging. Right, April, you get your rest. We need to go give her we'll rest. see you guys. She needs a rest, I suppose. I rest tried up, everything April. I could. I'll see you real soon, okay? See you in a bit, best <laughs> uh, January, I'll be um, asleep in the lobby over there if you need me. You just wake me up if you need me, okay? Oh my god. What a, what a blow. <gasps> Should be all right. right? Yeah, we'll talk about this again later. I'll... Yeah. Okay. Uh, damn it! You guys ruined my snooping. Yeah. Let's uh, oh. we'll, uh we'll talk about this again. Hmm. Well, that was an unexpected end of our meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh. We'll um get things sorted again when Ray's back in town. Yeah. Easy peasy. No problem. Sure, should be fine. I think, I mean, it just sounds like the swelling needs to be relieved. And like, once it is, that, that you know, everything will, everything will be fine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, I, I mean, I'm sure it'll be, I'm sure it'll be great. I don't want to lose her. Hey, come on. this is Los Santos. We got amazing health care. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're, you're, you're right. You're right. You're, you're, you're right. I, I, I need to. I need to uh, just. I need to. I, I need to be strong and 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 confident that this is going to be okay. Yeah, exactly. That's what I got to do. That's what I'm going to do. She'll be fine. She's gonna beat this thing. She's better than this thing. Yeah, exactly. Beating Just what, like a car accident? Psh, April Fool is nothing. Whew. That was, uh, it's emotional, though. Yeah. I'm so worried about her now. I'm sure she'll be back up better than ever. It's such a scare. I thought, I thought I thought I thought uh, that they were gonna tell me she was dead or something. Chad. Yeah, well I mean good thing that wasn't it. Chad, what Pokemon do you want? Bulbasaur, Charmander, or Squirtle? Anyways. Wow. Uh, um, yeah, I'll yeah. Do you want to give you guys a ride back to Should we get a house? drink or something? Yeah. Like I feel like we could all use a drink after that. I mean I could uh, always that, use a drink. I'm, I'm good. But um I might, I might go home and take a quick nap. Yeah, I'll, I'll drop you yeah. guys back off at your cars. Yeah, my car is back at your I house. I haven't been five to use this. Yeah. Fuck. Shit. Okay. 
Yeah, that's that's not bad. I want to see ice. Oh, I should have got. I should have. I sh I should have got keys to her car so that I could get her car home safely. Oh shit. I I think I've still got keys for it, so I can uh, take it back if needs be. Oh, you know what? Maybe maybe I'll uh, you know, maybe I'll do just that. Can I uh, drive it back? Oh yeah, sure thing. Might yeah, might as well might as well just take it for a spin. You're gonna go on a walk. Hey, Drinkles. You need some food. Thank Hi, Daphne. Thank you for Hi, the Drinkles. Hi, Hi. Oh, thank you for the orangutan. Thank you. Of course. Oh, hi, January. Hi, someone. Oh, that is January. <laughs> How's it going? Um, not well, but I'm gonna just go to the grocery and back. Hi, Vinny, I think. Give Tungles a call. Be safe, January. Is something wrong? Um, I'll call you again about. I have Moose Knuckles numbers too, so I'll call again about it. Hey, man. Okay, yeah. it tonight. Okay. Okay. I called you the other day. I'll see you soon. I'm, I'm um, all right. Here, sorry, I'm just gonna one second. One of these things. Hey, and they're Oh, gee. Ooh, ooh, sorry. Da, ooh, sorry. Sorry. It, it, don't worry about it. Uh, sorry, help. sorry. We were just... Uh... Well, thank no, you. It's, I really it's okay. It's just, just yeah, of really course, fast. Of course. Thank you, buddy. I really appreciate that. I'll tell you the same thing if, if anything, you know, if I find anything. Mm -hmm. And then... Uh, I don't Let know, me know man. if you find anything. I'll catch yeah, you guys, I'm, uh, I'm, catch you guys I'm later. Going to. I'm probably in a... Are you going to be around for a while? You know, because I think... Look at that time oh, right no, now. It's, it's been a bit of a day already, so. It's, t it's getting to that point where I'm like, hmm. I didn't even, uh, what do you I didn't mean? even get to make too much money. You make too much money? No, I didn't even make that much money today. Oh, neither did I. I had to Later repair on. my car. It's four thousand dollars. <laughs> anyway, your car? What car? Group six? Uh, my yeah, my group six truck. Yeah. Okay, I was gonna say. I wish I had a car. Hey, do you have a car Soon. here, Raymond? Did you drop me uh, off at the uh, group six? Yeah, the Buffalo. We can, oh, we can do one run. We can do one run. We can do one run. Wait, where's January? One run? Uh, she just started walking home, I guess. Oh. She just started walking. Jesus. Okay, we're. I'm gonna give up on. They told me I give, up give up on. Days. <laughs> on Ray for the two next. to three days. Yeah. So uh, I mean, I guess that's just. Yeah, I mean, she usually shows up in the city every two to three days. So I mean, I guess. She'll be, she'll be okay, right? I mean, she she just needs some rest. Yeah, She's yeah. in good care. Yeah, yeah. The doctors had her. All right. Well, I'm yeah. I'm gonna get to uh get to business. I'll see you soon. If... No, right, it's good seeing you, man. Yeah, you too. You too. See y'all. Good to see, see you, baby. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I keep doing. I keep fucking doing that, cause it's a great nickname. Oh, sorry. But every yeah. time I do okay. it. I feel bad because they're not like best friends. <laughs> like, like I want to call her Fifi, and every time it just comes out like a reflex, and I'm like, they are not close enough for her to be like calling her. Uh, yeah, sure thing. Yeah. No thanks. I can't Yo, believe. Are we going? Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Okay. Um. Oh, I'll walk. Oh my god. Oh god. Uh, can I get in the trunk? Okay. Like, I'm, good. I'm a good bean. Okay. Ray, you said you're going to sleep? Or Jane, how long are you going to okay? be around? What's oh, she's. On? Oh. Is it you back in the hospital? Are you okay? Fiona walking. 
No, of course not. I mean, listen, she'll be fine. She just needs some time. You know, needs some time. The city has one of the best medical programs in the entire world. What? Jerry, you're gonna stay in the ice? Unless I have what for you? Money? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, tomorrow we will. How about this? Tomorrow we'll make money, okay? How about that? Yeah, G6. Here as well, Dad? Uh, no, I gotta go back to the car. Oh, thanks for the ride, guys, thanks for the ride. See ya. No worries. Catch you in a bit. Thank you. I might um, just quickly stop by Sydney Buns, grab some food for January. Oh, yeah, good call. I'm sure she'll be fine. She's in good care. Yeah. Throwing a welcome back party. Hi. Hello. Hello. Uh, would it be possible to get a uh, four fries and two waters? Yeah, sure. With ice? Uh, with ice, please, yes. And two waters? Uh, two waters, yes. I had a question for you, sir. What's up? Uh, would you be interested in purchasing a raffle ticket for a jugular? Uh, I'm all good today, thank you. Okay. Your order number is 89. Thank you very much. Yeah. Would you be interested in purchasing a raffle ticket, ma'am? Uh, no, thank you. Okay. We need some fries. I'll drop you back sure. off at the house after this. Sure, thank you. Hey. Hey, Dev, you said you wanted to talk earlier? Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, no, we wanted to talk. We want to talk to you, chilling right now. Uh, are you, are you? Read it to tomorrow. Do, are you about to do G6? No, I can't. I'm bent. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, we can talk right now. That's fine. Well, when are you going to be awake tomorrow? Uh, probably all day. Okay. Um, see, the problem is, I feel like we normally never get time to meet up. So if we have time to meet up, I feel like we have to do it. Does that make sense? Understandable. But if we say we're going to talk tomorrow, we can just talk tomorrow too, you know? Okay. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let, let's do it tomorrow. Okay, but we idea. have, but we have to do it. Okay. And if we don't do it, I'll show up in a mask with a knife and I'll kidnap you. What? We get it. What? We get it. Well, I mean, like, you know, if people aren't giving you time, like, I'll stage a kidnapping. Of course. Sorry, I just saw the Twitter post. <laughs> We're going to read Twitter. Oh, my God. Of course. All right. Uh, yeah, that works. Okay. All right. Bye bye, Dev. Bye bye. I'll see you tomorrow. Talk to you tomorrow. Cause okay, listen. I really want to do. Uh, I really would like to talk to Ray tonight, but I want to play Red Dead. I want to play Red Dead. Is that bad? Should I not? Was that a bad decision? We can do it tomorrow. We can do it tomorrow. It'll be fine. And we never see Raymond. That's what I'm saying, though. Is every time, every time we postpone plans, we never fucking get to see each other. 
so I'm kind of like, fuck. I know, I know. I, am I making a bad decision right now? There's literally people waiting for me in Red Dead. There's literally people waiting for me to sign into Red Dead. They have been waiting for like, they've been waiting for like an hour. Fuck, dude. Fuck, no. All right, here you go. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'll catch you. Alright, I'll see time. you tomorrow, okay? Fuck. Yo, what's up? Okay, actually, I changed my mind just in case shit goes down tomorrow. God damn it, they just crashed. You want to do it now? <laughs> yes, I want to do it now. <laughs> okay, we can do it now. Okay, where are you at? Uh, I'm at Strawberry Gas Station. Okay, I am at Grove Street Gas Station. You want to just meet by our houses? and? We'll... I can go Grove. I'll see you there. Wait, did he say? Wait, what did he say? Oh, he said Grove. He's not paying attention. Why is this thing so slow in reverse? It's kind of funny. <laughs> Noted, no backwards chases in this car. Hey, let's go to uh let's go to the house so I can park the car up. Okay. Hello? Oh my god, hey, it's you. Holy yeah, can shit. You do me a favor? Can you give me your key? Uh, do you want me to just let you in? No, give me your key. Why? I want to break in. What? Oh, like for funsies? For practice? Yeah, I haven't done it yet. Wait, why do you need the key to break in? I think you do. Yeah? I think. Wait, what? It's the same kind of lock as something else, right? Hold on, give me a second. Let me focus. Okay.
This hack is like something, but I forgot what what hack they said it is. Please give me my key back. <laughs> hey, what's up, brothers? You might want to put that gun away, by the way. Cops called in so quick. Raymond, please give me my key back. Oh, thank you. God. <sighs> hey, dude, brothers. Good morning. Yeah, I was just trying it. I haven't done that ever. I got it once. Isn't it the same lock as something else? More than that. It's so much easier when you use your scroll muscle, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I just right, there. hate how slow I can turn the fucking thing. You read that? Yeah. So, what, I mean, is this like a pressing meeting? Like, what do, what do we want to talk about right here? Huh? Are you saying that to me oh, or for I'm going back to sleep. To you. Oh, um, I mean, it's Beating like... Snail. It's not like gonna kill anybody, but. Well, what can I help you with? I mean, if you don't have time right now, you don't have time right now. It's totally fine. No, you're fine. Talk to me. What's going on? Um, no, I uh, I had the meeting with Mickey. Um. Okay. Was, was it good news or bad? Well, I don't know. I was a little confused, right? Because. Why? Sorry, one second. So, basically, I'm telling him um, the updates that I have for, you know, the state of businesses in the city, things like that. Because, obviously, the whole meeting was about the Bahama Mama shit, right? Um, so, basically, the update with that is that they don't believe businesses are even going to be available for sale until at least the end of this mayor term probably not until the next even right wait so businesses like, are for sale no i mean like the like the government owned buildings like they will not be for sale until at least the end of this mayor term maybe not even ten, like until the next term is what they're saying hmm so I was like, I just found this out after, like, I found this out while I was planning the mayor's wedding, right? So I was just like, okay, no big deal. I'll just get, I'll just start an events company, no problem. I'll just run events all over the city and make money. And then by the time it's for sale, bada bang, you know what I mean? Well, why don't you just make like a club? You know, okay, that's what Benji said. But here's my thing. I could spend, you know, those warehouses are like $700,000, right? Right. So, uh, so you spend seven hundred thousand dollars plus for the warehouse. Then you got to spend, I mean, just about that decorating it. And by the time you're done with that, by the time you get the money for that, by the time you finish building it, the government-owned buildings are going to be for sale. And you probably have, you've probably spent enough money building a club from scratch as you would have if you just bought one of the clubs that's already built. Does that make sense? Uh, I mean, it makes sense but it is hope it's it's like you're i i don't know like i guess like my thought process is like how much do you know how much bahamas will be sold for honestly with these prices i feel like it's gonna be two million at least yeah so if you bought a warehouse it's a million dollars that you can build like four fucking dj sets in uh or you bought Bahama Mamas. I mean, you know what I mean? You get what I mean? I, I don't know. Just me personally, I... There's a bit of a sentimental value to me. And personally, I think it's going to be way more of a fucking headache to get people that'll be on the same page. Someone dedicated enough to build something of that size. Some Somebody that's going to... You know, how much is that even going to cost? Like, not even just the equipment, but the labor. Right, right. The amount of effort that's going to take. 
No, I know. I mean, everything's going to be a lot of effort. Hopefully, if you bu do buy Bahama Miles, you can customize it quite a bit yourself. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Well, I was planning on... Uh I was planning on hitting up the Simones, actually, and seeing if they have the name of the contract that they used five years ago. Because I see. Uh, they, they completely renovated the sound. Well, do it. And I, I always recommend reaching out to people. You know, it's a good idea. Yeah. But I don't know. Me personally, between the sentimental value and between all... Because here's the problem, Ray. I, I don't really trust people to do things <laughs> like if i'm gonna buy a warehouse i can't build it so i'm gonna have to trust people to, to furnish an entire warehouse and the amount of money it's gonna take to make sure you can get people to commit i just i think that it's a great idea in theory but i think you need a very specific type of people to be able to pull that off Um. I oh, thank you, Zenshu. Think you're okay. I'm gonna say this the the best way I can. Mm -hmm. How much money do you have currently in your bank account? I have fifty k. Okay, these goals and ambitions you're looking forward to are one to two million dollars each. Mm -hmm. In my opinion. I think it's healthier to work towards just building up your bank, building up your money and helping out the company and doing everything you can so that the company can help you back out eventually when it comes to that situation, if you do end up joining the company. I and number two, and then number two, right? I want to say something else. Like, I think it's like, a, it, it might be, it's almost too hopeful to, if, if Bahama Mama comes out, you know, for sale tomorrow mm -hmm. and someone else buys it, like some people have millions already. You know, like someone buys it, like there's not very much you can do about it. Your dream is like done anyway, and like you don't want to be, you don't want to be held on to one dream. That's why it's nice to be able to be like, hey, I want to get this warehouse because it's it doesn't limit you to one or two warehouses. There's a ton of them in the city. You know what I mean, mm -hmm. and ha having warehouse raves are pretty fun. Yeah, but I mean, I, I'm not, you know, I'm. I mean, I used to go to a lot of warehouse raves back in Bushwick. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong, but um, so. I agree with you, right? But I think that both of these things can be true. So I think that one, I'm going to get the business license. Um, that's what I just made the money for. That's what I have. Um, I'm sorry, that's what I've been trying to do. So I'm going to get the business license for this event company, right? And then after that, exactly like you're saying, my goal is to know that I'm trying to build up a bank of like one, two million, right? And do whatever I can along that path. So if I'm doing that anyway, and it's going to take a month or two, you know, like at least a month anyway, let's say that in a month's time, I've got enough capital that, okay, I could start aware. I could build from scratch and Bahama Mamas goes on sale, then I have an option at that time, and maybe right, there's been but, some uh, developments but, in that time. But I, in my opinion, you should start thinking about, like, the, the money. Like, I have a bunch of goals. I want to own businesses. I want to own a bunch of things. I want to own vehicles, everything. But I have, like, $50,000 in my bank account. So I'm realistic that even if, like, the Lamborghini is sold tomorrow, the one I want, I'm not going to be able to buy that. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be able to buy anything. I know there's going to be people that will be able to buy those things, and I'm going to be sad, but at the end of the day, I'll move forward because there's so many more goals you, you, your goals should change day by day depending on how you operate and how you are doing. You know what I mean? We're saying the same thing, right? We're saying, okay, the, exact, that, we're saying the exact same case, thing, actually. In that case, then there's, there should be no debate, right? So no, what is it I that mean, you want to talk about? Well, I mean, I wanted to, well, I wanted to update you on that, first of all, because obviously that's company business that you're involved in. Oh, I'm sorry, but there was there was a little bit of a confusing thing about that conversation with Mickey to me um, he was I mean basically he was like so would you work with Winter and I was like she came at me with a lot of disrespect so if I'm gonna just like I'm, I don't want to like walk up and be like the company said you have to work with me you know what I mean it's like if she feels the type of way about me 
that's up to her. As far as I'm concerned, that ball is in her court at this point because I'm the one that extended a hand to work with her. She slapped that hand away. So that's not a me decision, right? And I think it would be doing myself a disservice. I think it would be dis like lack of respect for myself if I was just like, oh, well, now, like, now no. that Benji, now that Mickey said Although, you have to work actually, with me, well, I now need, we're going to work to together, you know what I mean? We need like short shots. So that's the okay, whole thing. I get you. Yeah, I, I'm sure it's something we should talk about when we're all together tomorrow, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's a that big of a deal, to be honest. I don't think it's going to need to be a big of a deal. Um, but yeah, I mean, I also wanted to make sure you're, like, okay, also. Me? I'm completely fine. Like, for real, for real? Uh, am I okay? What do you mean, am I okay? But you literally just said you had you had a breakup, like, right before oh, I met Oh, yeah, I mean, it happens. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it hurts, but I mean, like, I didn't get too attached too quickly because I knew that this is a realistic, Whereas, like, what you a got? realistic oh, yeah. thing. You mean after, like, after yeah. since the initial yeah. divorce? Because I don't know. Uh, I feel like. Yeah. Because that, is that, is that the only time you've been married? The only time ever, yeah. Yeah, it's not. It's kind of a big deal. Yeah, but like I said, we've already gone through it once. Uh, anyway, hey, I'll, I'll see you around, Dad. I'm gonna get out of here, right? Okay. Because I'm getting a little bit tired of myself. But uh, hey, let me tell Perez and Dragon I'll see them soon too. Are they gone? Uh, yeah, I think they just drove off. God damn! I wanted I wanted to ask Dragon if he's any. Uh, it's fine. We can talk more tomorrow, though. It sounds like something that you want to talk to you about, like with with Mickey there. Yeah. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Damn, he is not trying to talk about it. Damn. Damn. Literally conscious. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Oh, no. Well, That's you think so he's definitely? I want to find him so I can tell Yeah, him you too. Good. That's so sad. That's so sad. I. That's actually really sad because. Um. Damn. Because it would have actually been. Sorry, I'm putting on lipstick before I turn the camera on again. Um, I also need to send a message really, really fast. Um. That's so sad because I don't know if he was just like I, exactly that's ex that's exactly what I was thinking it's like but it's sad too because it's like Hmm. How do I say this? Like, I feel like, I feel like Ray and Daphne used to be like, they really used to be like friends. You know what I mean? Like they used to, they used to really talk to each other about shit. Um, and so that's why Daph was like, you know, Daph is somebody that, like, she, like, she lost her first husband. So that's why she's trying to, she's saying, like, your first marriage is not something, like, your first marriage is not, like, it's a big deal. Like, she's trying to, like, talk to him about it. And he's just like, no, you want to, you want to talk about business? Um, and Daphne was absolutely not, like, I mean, they needed to talk about, like, the business portion of it, too. But, like, that's why Daph was, like, fumbling right because she was like not trying to talk to him about business actually in this case she was literally just trying to like check in on him as a friend right so damn that's very interesting 
That is very, very interesting. Exactly. That's exactly the impression that I'm seeing, Conscious. Wow. Damn. That's going to be so interesting in, in the RP. Like, coming from a DAF perspective, too, like, y'all have to understand that DAF has never stopped, like, like, really just caring about Raymond as a person, right? And so when she hears, like, like, she thought him and Kit were, like, together again, and they were, like, cool. So she hears earlier, he's like, oh, I just got broken up with. She's like, he's probably not okay, dude. <laughs> he's probably not good. So that's why she was like, let's talk about it. But it's not like the old days when they used to talk. It's... He completely shut her out. That sucks. Because, like, what she, what's she going to do now? What's she going to do now? Like, it's Daphne. She's, like... She doesn't, like, she doesn't, Daphne doesn't push herself on people, is the thing. So it's like, you, you know, you don't want to talk to her about something once or twice. She's just like, all right, whatever. So it's like, that's kind of hard for me, actually, as, a, as the player. That's another thing that, like, me and Daphne don't necessarily have in common. Daphne, Daphne, like, like me as a, as a person, if, like, if I care about a friend and they're pushing me away, I'm not going to let them push me away. Daphne is so fucking guarded. So it's like, if, if Daph cares about you as a friend and you push her away, she's like, well, you fucking push me away. What am I supposed to do? Because she is so protective of herself. So it's like when da when Daphne reaches out to somebody, it's not an easy thing for her to do. Does that make sense? Like when Daphne tries to really, you know, have a heart to heart with somebody, she she doesn't take that like in a light way. Lou is around? What time? Aw, oh, man. Let's see. All right. Damn, that's going to be so crazy. Uh... Oh, I didn't open TeamSpeak. Oopsies. Um, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like, I'm a very, like, no, you're my friend. If you're sad, I'm going to make you not sad. And Daphne is like, I don't know. I tried. Sometimes that's hard for me. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes how easily Daphne, like, writes people off is a little hard for me to play i'm not gonna lie that's one of the traits of her that's like really not like the same as me um So spicy, so much spice, spicy, spicy. That's sad, man. That's gonna be so hard for, for Daph. Look at 
at this horse. That's gonna be hard for Daph, man. If Ray, if Raymond totally shuts off, that's gonna be a shame. A Fanny song, yeah. She killed this shit. Fanny songs are so good. Um, I'm gonna try and play a little Evelyn, you guys. I, I said, I said that this was gonna happen. I said like as soon. Yeah, it really is. Um, I was like, as soon as it's time for like for all the boys to come around, for the house to come around, and then it's it's gonna be late and it's gonna be like. But literally, my friends have literally been waiting for me for an hour, like over an hour. So I feel really bad. Uh, I forgot which train tracks I'm supposed to take. I think it's, I think it's these ones actually. Yeah. Damn, y'all. Crazy. The other thing is, man, here's here's what's complicated too, right? The whole like. The whole like Daphne and the company thing. Cause right now the right now Daph feels like Daph feels like and I don't necessarily think that this is wrong that the people at the top kind of just like do not give a fuck about her. Like they don't care if she's there or not right so the thing right now that's kind of holding Daph to the company is the people in her house so it's like like I was saying I, I don't know if I said this actually but like we had we had the um I'm sorry I can't talk with like music with lyrics going on in the background I need to put on some red dead shit um so like when we went on the girls hunting trip a couple days ago I was not streaming um, I wasn't streaming for it it was like a late night thing but I was just like we were with all company girls we were with Mari, Swan, Freya um, let's see it was Daph, Mari, Swan, Freya and and Arya was there Arya I don't know if Arya's not really a company girl she like she's not as close uh, to Daph she wasn't really like you know as much of a part of this but like all those other girls are company girls and I was just like man I love the energy with the company girls man like I love their energy like Daphne fits in with the energy with them and um so I was like that was a major kind of plus for me thinking about um, if Daph should continue trying to push for the company. But there's a certain degree of like, at this point, it just kind of feels like, it kind of feels like Daph is pushing for the company and the door is closed in a way. Kind of, but kind of not. It's like, it's so complicated, right? Cause Mickey is receptive to her and she's got plans that would definitely impress Mickey. But it's like, I don't know, man. I feel Raymond would be a really good in, but he's changed a lot and he's a lot. That's what I'm saying, man. Yeah, Raymond is a lot colder. Um, and it's kind of putting Daph in a really like, really weird position right now it's like does she keep pushing does she keep pushing or does she like stay independent I mean she you know like <sighs> it's tough 
She's definitely gotten mixed signals. Yeah, yeah, that's a kind of a, that's a good way to put it. That's a really good way to put it. Cause it's kind of like, she's kind of under the impression that they're like, well, we don't need Daphne because we have winter. But at the same time, she's like doing so much independently, right? And it's kind of like, I've, I've talked about this before, where it's like, there's a, there's a middle ground between being humble, like being, being like realistically humble, um, and then knowing that you're not getting what you deserve. You know? It's weird because you can see from the people in the house, they're all in and the company inve is investing in them as well. See, and that's what I think is a little, that's definitely the weird part is like all the, ha all the people in the house are like, yeah, we're company. And Daphne is just like, hey, am I company? And the company is like, are you company? And Daphne's like, am I company? I want to be company and they're like are you company do you want to be company and Daph's like am I, I yeah and they're like no yeah Who, yeah it's very like that's literally that's literally the vibes it's like <laughs> it's it's literally that <laughs> this is why Mari is there comes Maybe, dude, maybe Daph needs to talk to Mari. That's a good point. Now that Daph and Mari have gotten to know each other better, maybe that's a good shout. <laughs> Cause yeah, it's definitely like, I feel like Daphne has like presented herself to the company for like so long, like so many times. And her, their response to her is kind of like, You know what I mean? Are you company? Yes, why not? <laughs> That's literally that. That's literally it. <laughs> literally, literally. It's really confusing, man. And it's like, I feel like every time she tries to have a conversation to clear up the confusion, it just gets a little more confusing. Do not trust any of the bozos. Mari is a godsend. Are you a part of this group? I don't know, am I? Wait, who are you? Yeah. I think you're right. I think that that's a good, oh God, I hate, I hate that I did that. I, for, I forget that that's a thing now. Um, I think that that's a good shout. Maybe we need to have, maybe we need to have Daph talk to Mari. Cause there's also this thing about Daph being like, ah, oh, fuck. We gotta go to Blackwater. Okay, well we get, good news is we get a lot more time to talk cause I just went to the wrong motherfucking town. Yeah, he's like, he's like, he's like, I think that you should just, you know, just stick with the company. Just, just do things for the company. And Daph is like, okay, bye. Ray thinks and wants you in. Everyone in your house wants you in. Just communicate with each other better for fuck's sake. <laughs> Literally. All right, blue house outside of town. It could be this one or it could be one of these. Let's. literally that's literally it it's like it's so f like funny in a way it's like goofy you know what i mean all right let me change my stream title really fast yeah there's 
I don't know. The whole thing feels like a little silly at this point, man. And it's like even... Yeah, and it's kind of like... Um, how I was saying it's like Daph was like fumbling in that conversation because you did kind of just get thrown into it. You were supposed to just have a conversation about the company with Ginger and she was like surprised you're an intern. Well, I think that it was like, yeah, well, there was that. The whole thing is just so like. The pace sometimes is, is just so, like everybody has 10 million things going on and things get so confusing sometimes because of that. It's like, oh, the company women are, that's why I'm saying like one of the main selling points to me is the girls in the company. I really, really, really think that Daphne gets along with the girls in the company a lot. And that's a major selling point for me personally. Um, but it's like, it started off as there were no, there was no such thing as interns and Daphne and Raymond were talking about Daphne working for the company. Meanwhile, Daphne had been trying to work for the company since 4.0 dropped. Like, remember this, Daphne was trying to work for the company and with Raymond since 4.0 dropped. So... Then it was like Raymond talking to her about, yeah, you should absolutely work with us. And then like two days later, it was like, there's an internship program. So Daphne's like, am I supposed to do this? And like, meanwhile, you've got the asset house with like Maxine and everybody. And they're like, they're like, yeah, we don't really like, we're in it, but we're not really in it because like, we're already considered more trustworthy than the new people and all this stuff. And Maxine is kind of like telling Daphne, like, as she's like a part of that, and so Daphne is like, okay. So that's already confusing. And then, um, oh shit, I almost ran into people. Oh shit. Um, I'm kind of worried about not having a. Anyway, um, yeah, so it's kind of like, it already started off confusing, and then I didn't have, this is a major thing, is I didn't have Pryo at the time, so, um, we were like, um, we were like trying to have meetings with them to figure out why I wish Daph had more time with Rust, yeah, I agree, I agree with that too, but it was like, this is why it was confusing, because Daphne was trying to like, get a hold of them to be like, hey, should I, should I be in the internship program or do you guys want to work with me like separately on my business that I'm you know, with or like, you know, the, the thing that Daphne specifically does. She was trying for like a few weeks to have that meeting where it's like, should I be in the internship program or do you guys just want to work on this other stuff? And by the time the meeting actually happened, it was just like a, a random conversation at Senior Buns. And then they were like, just talk to Ginger. And Ginger was like, you are now an intern. And Daphne's like, oh, I guess I'm an intern now. And then we went to the, the last intern event that ever happened where Daphne and Dragon won the scavenger hunt, eh? Um, and then after that, it was this like conflict thing. And it was like, what? And then the interns got like disbanded, I guess, in the week that Daphne was in Italy, AKA the week that I was in um, visiting my family. Um, so, it was, the whole thing was just, like, a fucking mess, dude. Like, it's such a mess. And then now, like, and then the winter thing happened, which was, like, unnecessary. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like if it would have been known and established that Daph was in the, the company at that time, that winter thing, like, it wouldn't have gone down at all. It literally, I don't think it would have happened. And I feel like now Daphne is villainized for for holding up that degree of like self-respect when it comes to that situation. You know what I mean? Like I feel like Daphne is getting very villainized for being like 
if this girl said she doesn't want to work with me, the ball is in her court. I feel like people are taking that as Daphne being like, I feel like people are taking that as like Daphne being the one saying fuck you, which also sucks for our girl because that's not really the case. It's a tough line, man. It's a tough line playing a character like Daphne. For sure. Because you want to have that degree of, like, self-respect and uh, maybe, maybe boundaries is the right word. But at the same time, it's like you're still starting from the bottom somewhere. It's a weird situation, man. It's a very weird situation. Thought I heard wolves for a second there. It's about to freak out. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's a weird thing. It's a very weird thing. I'm, I'm gonna sign back on I'm gonna sign back on to, to Daphne by the way I just like I literally have been trying to to play with these people for a while and I've wanted really good yet confusing RP I know I can't help but feel like Daphne is about to take a major L when it comes to the company but I think that Daph in general is gonna be taking W's you know what I mean? But it sucks, because I really want Daphne to have a place where... I really want Daphne to have a place where she can be in a group and belong. And... I feel like it just doesn't... I feel like it just doesn't happen for her, man. I feel like every time she gets close, like, something happens. And she's just always independent. And, but, but it's like, at the same time, that's the problem. Does that make sense? It's like, her independence is her strength and her, it's her biggest strength and her biggest weakness. If Daphne takes an L, I'd love to see a Daph villain arc. Thinking the opposite, W with the company, L on another goal. You think Daphne's gonna get a W with the company? I think that you're, I think that uh, whoever said Mari is correct. I think that next time we're on Daphne, which honestly, we might do this tonight. I think that Daphne needs to talk to Mari. Because Mari just got a promotion. So it makes a lot of sense for Daphne to talk to her, especially since they've been hanging out lately. So it'll be kind of like uh, Mari and Daphne get to know each other slash like advice seeking. That'll be a cool scene. I think that'll be a really cool, really cool RP actually. I think we'll do that. Please, please don't be a fucking... Okay, thank God you're just tired. I was about to say, please don't be a fucking cougar again. I would get so upset. Alright, they're at a blue house. That house looks kind of blue. Think you have enough positives with many people in the company and they want to expand we'll see we'll see no that house is oh that house is blue okay oh 
All right. <clears throat> Need to get into my Evelyn voice. It's very different. <clears throat> I need to like lower my voice. <laughs> I need to lower my voice like an entire like half an octave. Oh, the house is blue too. It's a good house too. Oh, human beings? Maybe? Yes. Yes, we got him. We got him. We got him. We got him. Yes. Anybody that has watched me for a while is about to get very excited. But I don't think there's a lot of people that would... I don't think there's a lot of people here right now that know how exciting this is about to be. Okay there, Fran. Hey, yeah, uh, I'm looking for. Huh? I'm looking for Antonio. Yeah, yeah. He's uh, like uh, on the porch up here. Come on. Sure. Hi. Sorry, let me put my gun away. I don't think I need this for cougars up here. Plenty of cougars up here. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just ready for a draw. <laughs> All right. How you doing, Evelyn? How you been? I got no complaints. You don't remember me. What the hell? It's crazy. Have I, I met me? you? Yeah. Sophia. Oh, I have. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you know, we sat in a bar for like three hours one night <laughs> here in Blackwater. Right. Remember me? Okay. My right. apologies. I've been traveling for a long time. I bet. All right, so I wrote you a telegram told you I had an offer. Right. Well, what do you take it? It's up to you. Okay. What offer? I didn't read it. Oh. Did you, who, Can travel see, in weakness? Have you seen yeah. this hole in the floorboards there? It's really yeah. unsafe. You should really watch out for that. <laughs> anyway, I'm head of the uh, Iron and Steel Company, if you're interested. Steel and Iron. Steel and Iron, yeah. The, the steel part, you know, you know what I mean? So, if you're interested, you know, I'll do some work tonight. Huh. Yeah, so, uh, I've started a company with Felix. I don't know if you've met him or not. I have. Complimented my horse. It's called DNR Enterprises. <laughs> yeah, whatever that means. <laughs> what does that mean again? The Miko and Romano Enterprises. Really? I can't, no, I can't this is my fifth pocket. time hearing about this. You think I should know about that, right? We talked about this right in front of you. You were there. Did you? Yeah, maybe you just don't listen. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> too much too much tobacco. I'm crazy. The open bag anyway, button yeah, listen. in no pixel is the Sophia collapse button in wild. Hi, that's port. me. I'm Sophia. Okay. 
No, it's up to you if you're interested or not. But you can if go you're both not ways. Interested, we're gonna Business. have to kill you right here. We're gonna have to walk away. <laughs> we have to skin you alive, sweetheart. Aww. It's up to you whether you wanna do it or not. But uh, you know, if you choose to accept it. If you want to do some business, but also backdoor work, that's all right. Okay. Cool backdoor work. Oh, didn't know we were in that business. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> streets. We gotta went back to the streets of fucking Saint Denis for that. <laughs> I mean, I mean, if you want to sell your backdoor here, I mean, there's a bunch of dirt. <laughs> all right. Anyway. <laughs> well, all right. Well, what exactly does the steel and iron business entail? Steel and iron. Yeah, we're gonna go rob people. You wanna go rob people? Oh. Well. Hmm. Well, they, you don't really have a choice, you know. I just, you know. I mean, I'm, I can't I'm say kidding. I'd, I'm kidding. Well, I mean, I can't say I truly mind it, but um, I mean, the last I saw you folks, it was in Saint Denis. So. Actually, it was Blackwater. Well, what's what's it happened? In, it yeah. was in Blackwater. Yeah, really? Last time, yeah, last time we saw you was in Blackwater. We had a. Uh, you remember Larry? He broke the cart and had to walk it all the way up uh, to Port Marshall Hill. Yeah. God, I don't remember this at all. Nah. Oh yeah. my yeah. goodness, I do remember this now. That was the last time I saw you. It's, but the last what, time I saw Felix night. was in Saint Denis. Where yeah, we, we had a little bit of business out this way. We're looking to move back. Really. Yeah, that's right. Well, I mean, what exactly is the plan besides robbing people? Drugs. Well, we, have, we have legitimate businesses. Nico like Venti. in the snow? Nico Venti heads <laughs> up the, the legal side of things. Okay. He brings money in pretty fucking regularly, too. He's kind of an imbecile. <laughs> Great businessman, though. He's not okay. really working much in the, in the brains department. I feel like those are very contradictory statements. It's okay. Don't listen to me. I don't know nothing. She's she's just. I've had too many pre-rolled tobacco cigarettes. Okay, I'm a little cooked. <laughs> now, as far as what's been going on in San Denis, I have no idea. I've been over here a month, a month and a half. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah, we've been over here for quite a while. We're gonna, you know deal with some business and then uh, we are lazy pieces of shit and uh yeah i haven't been able to do my kind of business in months and i'm very bored so you should join me and we should go do uh interesting things like borrow hmm. i love borrowing when's the last time you borrowed from someone i mean me personally not for quite a while but perfect i guess it's about that time hey you can walk into town right now go borrow from someone Hmm. Good. Was that a navy on your hip? Uh, I'm not sure actually. I think I might only have a cattleman on me. Yeah, that's a navy. Yeah. No, it's just a cattleman. Sure. Pull it out. I'm sure. Pull it out. Oh, it is just a cattleman. Oh, oh you think she doesn't know what guns or what? Hey, you know. <laughs> Nothing. Forget about it. Oh, cool little gun trick you got there. Thank you. Sure, I used on. to be in the circus. I could tell. All right. Well, what do you say? Hmm. Deal or no deal? I suppose I wouldn't mind. The only problem is, I don't really want to rob people out west. Why would you want to rob people then, Miss? Well, I mean, honestly, the city, but I guess, but hey, I guess if we're moving city. back there. I'm telling you, uh, you know, the bridge that everyone rides on, you know, when they travel in between roads and, you know, Bacchus Bridge, you know, the big ass bridge over there. <gasps> Shit. All right. Jesus but, Christ. You know, a big ass bridge over Testing there. Testing your reflexes. Over Not very good. I don't just remember how to open the fucking... You put a fucking ride by and it just there robs it is. blind. 
Wait, what bridge? Not this bridge, you know, the big wood one people ride on top of because they're lunatics. We could just fucking sit right there and wait for them, eh? Hey, you got a fucking hook on you, I tell you that. I'm actually a very good fighter. Oh, sorry. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, that was not an accident. Sorry. Don't, I don't want to give you, you know, no memories from your father or nothing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wasn't on accident. I hit you on purpose, you little bitch. All right. Anyway, yeah. So back at bridge, you know the big world one. You know, mm. you know, little fucking lunatics like to ride across it. Uh, I don't trust it, but you know, I'm willing to sit, you know, like like a little troll under the bridge and wait for people to come. <laughs> I don't really wear a mask because I don't care. Um, yeah, I don't care. So you know, rob people, whatever. You do the gun holding, you know, I'll do the Give me your money Okay And you know, you'll get your little cut I mean, personally I would I would mask up Go into St. Denis And the surrounding area And see if we can find anyone alone I mean, I'm telling you now You're not gonna find no one in St. Denis Really? I mean, maybe like Especially Two people, but one. Yeah, I don't know I'm gonna be over here in the west where all the rich people are anyway. Make more money. Stealing from the I rather steal from the rich than steal from the fucking poor people from the slums, you know? Well true, but I'm sorry, so what exactly is the plan here? You said you want to move back to Saint Denis. Yeah, we'll be moving back to Saint Denis here soon. Yeah, but for the meantime we're all here, so you know. Pillage well, but... kill and burn down all the villages nearby. <laughs> Well, but then what? So what follows? What what in Saint Denis? We'll see what's available. The plan is to move into the pawn shop, set up there for a little bit. Hmm. Continue business. Continue to steal an eye and continue our legitimate shit. Uh huh. Basically, make money, sweetheart. When I was living there, I was working at. Well, I mean, I'm back now, but I was working at the Blue Pearl under. Victory Street. Yeah, Victory Street don't own that no more. Hmm. Who does? A uh, guy named Al. Hmm. Well, I have well, been. I guess technically my brother Vinny, but he ain't been around, so. I have been telegramming with Lou recently. He used to be kind of the head of the Victory yeah. Street boys, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was the guy over there. He said he's around. So I'm curious to see what they're doing. I mean, I couldn't tell you. You know, they, uh, they move around a lot these days. I'm sorry, forgive me, maybe I'm just I'm just a little stupid right now, but I'm wow. still a little confused on what the plan is for the city. You said just see what's available and I mean are you Uh making... so basically we're gonna make a lot of money and then we're gonna take over. If that's what you wanna hear. Okay, we're gonna go kill everyone <laughs> we wanna kill and then take over. So um, you know, if that's it. <laughs> I mean in theory not a bad plan. In theory, it's the only plan, sweetheart. So, yeah, we gotta make a lot of money, cause a lot of smoke, a lot of commotion, and then move back to St. Denis, you know? Okay, so, who do we need to knock out? Uh, right now, innocent civilians that have money for us. For borrowing. That is who we need to knock out right now. But... I'm not in St. Denis. I mean, we can't make it a ghost town and then move there. What are you talking about, miss? She's talking not talking about... about in St. Denis. She's talking about I'm not about else. robbing people right here, right now. I don't know. Fuck. Yeah, okay, yeah, we'll sure. make money, right? And then we can go deal with some, some people we don't like. It's, it's great. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
No, you get down. I don't have much of a problem with that. Hell yeah. Antonio, you wanna come? I gotta go run the books. Oh motherfucker. Go don't lie. In. You you don't you don't run shit. You're not you running any books right now. Yeah, you're right, you're right. All my head issues, you know. Can't think straight. Start fucking climbing on walls and shit. Start scratching the scratching the walls. Anyway. I have issues. Yeah, so let's go rob people. I think uh, I'll make some money for the books, of course. Actually, you know what wouldn't be a super terrible idea? Uh huh. Let me hear it. I mean, maybe. Maybe I'm just talking out of my ass right now, but maybe we were to terrorize Saint Denis and make the civilians feel unsafe. Not and, on. You know, Our like own the people? Really? Well, I mean, like, you know, kind of like the people that are currently supposed to take around care right of now, the man. city aren't doing their job. Something like that. Yeah. So you're saying we should go make Molotovs and go burn down every bar and house in the city and blame it on the police? <laughs> Sounds What's good that, to me. And, you know, know, they can use our protection. Exactly. Well, maybe that's for a later date. Well, let's go find somebody. Of course. All right. You have fun with your bookmaking, you fucking loser. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go to the bank. Yeah, I bet. You have fun. Wait, how do I... Are you are you uh, are you going to sleep? No, 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 I gotta go to the bank and check the books. The bank has been bringing in money hand over fist. Oh, where will you be? I'm just headed right down, uh, right down over there, over there to the bank. All right. I mean, n nobody knows how long we'll be gone. Yeah, I mean, nobody knows. You know, whenever you're done, just shoot a telegram. You know. All right. Sounds good. Stitch. I'll need a new outfit. Huh? I said I'll need a new outfit. I bet. But would you? I mean, do you? Do you really? What's wrong with your current one? I mean, <laughs> we don't want to look like ourselves when we're going to rob the place that we're moving I mean, to. I don't really give a fuck. I mean, you want to go rob St. Denis? I'm, I'm going to go rob any motherfucker I see. Well, but how is that going to look when we move in, Sophia? What are you talking about? Well, when you show up and you say, hey, we live uh, here now, and they're like five people that you robbed. Right. Well, you see, I really don't care for who I rob and who I shoot, and who knows if I rob and shoot them. And they just scared of me. Look at that, right? I don't fuck, I'll wear what I want to wear right now. And then I'll just take my coat and jacket off and go on with my day. Like, you can't prove it. I don't have a cat, I don't have a hat on. What are you talking about, right? <laughs> you'll be fine. You'll be, you'll be the one holding the gun. I'll just be the talker. Don't worry about it. All right. You know what you're doing. Good night, Stormstitch. Damn, Evelyn's an outlaw too. <laughs> Well, I'll be outside, sweet. All right, here we go. See how well I remember the Red Dead 
clothing catalog. set on the outfit too because you can do that now um hmm you can make your outfits really like multi-purpose now um This is actually kind of cute, I'm not gonna lie. Oof. Okay, I like that. Um buttons. Oh, here we go. There we go. Cool. Um, let's give it a corset. Um, color. It's a color course that we don't have yet. Ooh, that was pretty. Mm. I don't think we have a pink corset for her yet. Well, because that's kind of Chelsea's thing is pink. Um, Evelyn is like blue and green. Gonna do that. Um, the clothes coat. I do like that one. I like the one that's um. This one's actually pretty fucking sick. Can just make it all black. It's a little creepy when you... Well, it's a little creepy. Damn, that sucks.
let's make it all black. There we go. Open cut. I think that's mm, that was the one I was thinking of, but damn, I love this coat. This one's good, except that stupid, like, little ducktail thing it has. Gary, thank you for the follow. God, I love this coat. The presets on this coat are like gorgeous. All right, the pants. You know we're about to go with the classics, man. There's only like one pair of pants that works with corsets. Thought it was boot six. They're like dirty looking. Huh, this is weird. See, look, they look like dirty. It's weird. There's the pants. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, the hats.
cute. Shit, I need to change the hairstyle. What's the problem? I need to change the hairstyle bad. Um, okay. Oh wait, Ev always wears the fighting gloves because she's a fighter. There we go, right there. Yeah, those ones. Uh, I don't really feel like putting it. We can edit these too. Which is nice. Um, let's do Old Faithful. That's the gun belt, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, um, they're all named after cities, so this one will be Austin. Cheers. Oh look, a beautiful I rainbow. No oh, did you? Yeah. One was it that guy's name was Malcolm? Oh. Yeah. Would have robbed him, but you know he's too sweet. You win, and then you know, I gotta go check the books too. So, all right, we'll nice. see what we can get. So lucky we dodged that. So where are you oh. from anyway, Sophia? You know, I'm from around. Where are you from? Around. Don't give me that. Yeah, sweetie. You know, I'm from around. Mm-hmm. Where are you from? From born like in Los Angeles. Oh, yeah, well, born in Los I Angeles, been in New York for a few years. Isn't that some fucking mining town out west or something? Some what? Los Angeles, some like mining town out west or something. Oh, well, it's a little more than that. Really? Mm hmm. It's really coming up. I think it could be a major city someday. Not as good as New York. Not as good as Saint Denis. Hmm. Maybe not, not as good as Saint Denis. The architecture Saint -Denis. isn't as good. I 
and all that French architecture. Come on. It's yeah. Maroon. It's true. All right. Why did uh, why have you strawberry? Just a little look. It was round. Maybe you know. We will do a little taking. You know how it is. I right, sure. I've yet to been to jail ever, so you know, I keep it that way. Same here. Damn, I should have checked telegrams. I guess I can when we get to strawberry. Strawberry, yep. See if Lou's gotten back to me. Doubtful. Well, there's a rider right there, you saw. Mm, go. Following your lead. Right. Well, we're gonna check our uh, check our mail and then we'll uh, do a little look in. I'm gonna go to the bathroom before we do this too. Did you just send me a telegram? I did. All Cute right, umbrella. Okay. Good luck, Matt. Good luck, Matt. We're, we're doing a presence patrol after one of our injuries. Oh, my I fancy see. Outfit. I, I do. It looks quite nice. Love <laughs> that umbrella. You. Oh, thank you. Oh my God, there's everybody's got <laughs> umbrellas. What the <laughs> fuck is this we're shit? Very fancy today. This looks like a goddamn cold. Oh, <laughs> okay, we don't have anything. I'm gonna go to the bathroom though really fast. Yeah, I can't say I've ever seen anything like what I'm seeing. This umbrella thing. Hang on a second, give me one second. Salvatore, how much longer? Just one second. Okay. <laughs> 
What is happening? We have got to rob these civilians. <laughs> I'm on a stage. Oh, wow. Oh, dear. Hello. Hello. Oh, no, I like going on the stage. Okay. Is it the... Hello. Is it an umbrella club? Is that what uh, it is? Oh. Is yes. Just a trip down high society, madams. Oh. 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 I love that. <laughs> well, how are you guys today? Pardon. That ranger is definitely worth robbing. She had a bold action, so uh, we're gonna stick around a little bit. Okay. So. Do you think those people actually have money? I mean, I feel like we could take all four of them. Rich people? Nah, we're not. We're not pulling guns on four people. They have their holsters out. Um. <laughs> we catch that. Uh, we catch the mark. You know, a little ranger. I don't girl think with Carmen plays well. Alone, then, you know, we'll, we'll be quick about it. Okay. Anyway, till then, you know, have some fun. Actually, do me a favor. I want mm -hmm. you to sit on the side of that jail right by the fucking noose. I'm going to go cause a scene. I want oh. you to just sit right on the side of the jail and I'm going to tell her that you need some medical assistance. So. I feel like that's way too close. To the jailhouse? To other to, to witnesses. Nah, don't worry about it, mess. No, no, really. Just say like, you know, sit right here. Okay. Yeah. Which way are we like, going after? Uh up the hill. We're gonna up. leave up the hill and probably head to Valentine. Okay. We go, yeah, just Where's yeah. rendezvous? In case we get lost. Valentine, of course. Alright. Actually, wait, where was the fucking, where was the vomit? Wait, it didn't work. Uh, is she okay? I don't know. I'm gonna puke. You're gonna I'm gonna puke. Oh, I'm gonna puke. I'm gonna puke. I'm sorry. I'm gonna... Oh, okay. Apparently she's gonna puke. Why isn't the vomit is what... Why isn't it working? Shit. Where? Where? Right here, right here, right, right here. Right there. The, the barrel. The, the barrel. There we go. The barrel. I, yeah, Why is it working, dude? Yeah. Yeah. Did she puke it? 
tumble? <laughs> Go on, let, no let it out. You okay? I don't, I, don't see. I don't quite remember. I wish that she wasn't the only one in. She's in a medic bag. There you go. Get that out of you. Oh, thanks. There's some fresh air for you. Sorry, <laughs> 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 oh we are professionals. God. Deep down. Sorry, I I drank Ain't a bit too much. To apologize. I get that all the time. Every Friday, no, in fact. <laughs> I'm very upset. <laughs> you okay? I think we should give some space, guys. Maybe okay, someday I will be out. okay. Let's give her some space. But not today. <laughs> Maddie. Are you? No, clear out. Yeah. Um, sure. Yeah, thank you. I don't know why the Bob and Emo wasn't working. Good night. I know you might be going through something a little tough. Can I offer you something to help? Uh, is it... Is it whiskey? It is not, but it, it is, is something minty and chocolatey. Sounds really you okay, delicious. Avalon? I don't know if they're, oh, they're giving me... I think she's giving me chocolate. Chocolate? That's good. Would you like a flower? Uh, hold on. Actually, I don't want her. This is why I'm, so, I'm terrible at robbing people because I like, like, like everybody too much. much. <laughs> I like everybody too much. Everybody's too much. Right, I don't want to rob anybody. Uh, she's what's... gonna go to the to the ranger porch to, to grab oh, a little okay. bit of chocolate. All right, good. <laughs> Are you cold? Would you like a little? My poncho is a blanket. That's okay. Thank you so much. It is quite warm. I appreciate it, but you know, <laughs> there are some things in the soul that just can't be warmed. <laughs> well, I don't I want a peach. I don't get chocolate, but I got peach. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I do have a wildflower if you would like it. I do love flowers. <laughs> I will hand you. She things. loves flowers. If you get, <laughs> she loves the flowers up by um, the pronghorn. Well, I can't. I can't say. That's a. Uh... Evelyn, can you try to stand? Maybe I'm gonna give you an exchange. No, 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 no. Here, can I? Can okay, I help I'll you up take it. Horse? I I'll, I'll give it to my horse. Can I help you up, Beth? It's a wildflower. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's, it's okay, so no, it's quite all right. <laughs> there you are. are, you, are you, can, can you stand? Thank you so much. This flower is so beautiful. <laughs> no, no, I can, I can stand. All right. <sighs> I'm sorry, it's just sometimes. Hands up. Don't oh. move. Don't move, both of you. Don't oh. move. Hands no, up. I don't want to rob them. She said my name, too. I, no, I, I don't want to rob them. I'm so bad at being a... a oh, I'm so off. bad okay. you at not... Oh, I'm so bad at robbing players. I hate robbing players. I hate it. Quite an act. Huh? Yeah. Thank you. Quite an act. <laughs> yeah, I, I got gotcha. you. I'll look through your pockets here. On account that I've only been here for a week, and this is my first bolt action, can you spare me the bolt action? Hmm. All right. Well, we'll see what you got on you. Let me, <laughs> let me see here. Take everything else. I just have to <laughs> spare me. Oh, Trying to look and through your pockets here. Here, Evelyn. Oh, oh, you sorry. do it. You, Stop. Oh, thank, oh I, I, sorry. my legs. My legs aren't legging. I, I'm sorry. I get a little nervous when I do things like this. God damn it. I literally can't. I don't right, remember how to rob you. people. Hmm. <laughs> so how much did you pay for the bolt action? I don't bolt know if I should say. Run around for how much did you pay for it? Yeah. $600. $600. Took me the week to get that. Sounds about right. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't feel much remorse. <laughs> no, I'm going to no. take that rifle. I'm sorry, sweetheart. No, it's quite all right. What about you, ma'am? We're gonna take your <laughs> rifle too, and we're gonna move on, and no one's gonna get hurt, okay? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I know you're in the bad spot. <laughs> Me. I'm fucking 
take three of pockets here. God damn all it. Right. I love now Sophia. You keep your hands up nice and slow. We're gonna leave, okay? Don't pull a gun, or I swear to god I will blow both your heads off. Yeah. For what it's worth, I think you ladies are lovely people. Thanks. Uh, Let's, go. Go, 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 go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Find the hole. Oh my god! I hate doing that! <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit. She go up? Oh no, she went down. Okay, 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 I see. Damn! So cold! So no, Sophia, y'all don't know about Sophia. Sophia is one of the coldest criminals I've ever played with. She's so badass. All right, I need to, uh... all right, we're rendezvousing in Valentine. Um, oh shit, 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 shit. Okay. <laughs> I know, dude, I was like, I was like, I'm surprised that she went, I feel so, dude, I feel so bad. I feel so bad about robbing players, man. I hate it. I hate it. But, you know, the character, the character, man, this sucks. They were so sweet. They were so nice. It only took her a week to get a bolt action, though. Like, that's pretty good. Brutal, brutal. But but Sophia was saying Evelyn's fucking name, dude. You can't just do that. Now Ev's gonna have to like pretend she has a different name and shit. Oh, there might be wolves out here right now. So brutal. I'm surprised she went through with it. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> They're never gonna help another person puking again. I don't know. <laughs> they were like, they were such good sports too. They were literally such good sports. They're like, that was a really good act. <laughs> I almost went, thank you. I was, <laughs> thank you. I'm an actress. <laughs> Literally, thank you. I'm an actress. But I wasn't going to give away Ev's identity. And then Sophia was like, Evelyn, she said it one time when she came over. And I was like, fuck, she said it. I'm like, maybe they won't notice, though. And then when during the robbery, she's like, Evelyn, Evelyn. I'm like, god damn it. No. Ev is supposed to be like... <laughs> Ev is supposed to be able to be like civilian, basically. Like she's supposed to be a bartender. <laughs> oh my god. We're gonna go to jail so fast. Evelyn is gonna have the worst reputation so fast. So funny. Yeah, because Sophia doesn't care about getting caught. Evelyn does. <laughs> it was fun, though. It was funny. <laughs> hey, how you? Oh, hi. Hey, how you doing? That's pretty fun. Yeah, it was I fun. A times. I was about to say, thank you so <laughs> much for that. You know, it's great. It's great because I'm a bartender and, uh, you know, I introduce sweetheart, myself sweetheart. You're not to people problem. all the time. You're a traveler. It's all right, sweetheart. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. 
I'll keep you forward. Actually, for your troubles. Wow, thank you so much. I know, I know. I don't even like using bolt actions. Huh? I don't even like using bolt actions. Oh, then do you not want one? I, I mean, do you have well, it to spare? You know, I money mean, the next person you rob if you want. Sure. Okay. It's up to you. Whatever you want to take. Um, we'll find someone else. I just, you know, decided to throw my coat on my fucking in my saddlebags because, you know. Well, let's look at Valentine. You know, they were so sweet. So they did give me a very nice flower. Hmm? Did she? She did. Well, I gave her a very nice. I gave her a very nice gun to the face for her, for her bow action. So, oh, she enjoyed that. They were so sweet. You're asking me a wonderful sweetheart. I I'm an her. actress. I I know this. It's great. The fake crying. It was amazing. Mm-hmm. My god, I almost died when those umbrella people came over. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. You know, it's like, yeah, they need to give us some space. It's okay. Yeah, I don't really care about getting caught because, uh, they've never caught me every other time <laughs> I've caught people, so. <laughs> I'm really They're not too good at the job. Okay. Uh. You know, as long as they don't know your name, you know, you're fine. Well, well, they know my name, so thank you for that. see Valentine is dead. Uh, you know, it's a, you know, it's late sweetheart. Well, I guess. It's late in the evening, you know, people are at church, uh, you know, Sunday dinner, or whatever they are. <laughs> oh, is that someone? Yeah, someone right there. There we know. go. Well, he's going to church. Oh, Look at that. I mean, well, you know, you're just a problem. Go ahead. Oh, I love pop. Did you just try to kick me? No. Hey, are you a priest here? Oh. Are you a are you a priestess here? None? Man? No, no, no. I'm just oh. looking around. Oh shit, just a small huh? What Pretty do you want much. to do? I'll buy you uh, some. I'm a person here. Nothing much, just get out of Sitica, so I'm Oh just shit. Gonna... All right. Oh shit. Alright. What'd you do? A uh, couple of attempted murders. Ooh, Jesus, what did they do? Oh, they pissed me off. Oh, shit. Good for you. You showed them who's, who's the leader of the pack. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> really showed your strength there, huh? I, I guess. You seen anybody around other than, you know, yourself? Like uh, these spots, uh... I see a lot of horses, so I assume they're fucking deputies or something. I don't know. Huh. Interesting. I'm, I don't see any people, but I see a shit ton of horses. Me too. I do see a shit ton of horses. There was a lot of people in Strawberry. You could head up that way if you want to. You want to see people, but you know, uh, then I can. No. Yeah, they've got a little like weird umbrella club going on. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bunch of high weird. society folks. It's very strange. Oh my god, those are the type of people I rob. Well. Wow. Well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright then, well, I'll let you get to your little praying business or whatever you're up to. I'm gonna, right. you know, go have a look around for some people to talk to. Sure, sure. Good have luck. Have a wonderful night. You too. Good night. Night, night. Well, I 
Does she not know money? Nope. She's got them Cisco bills or whatever. She's got a Cisco. Yep. Yeah. On the contrary, that's the kind of people I rob too. Look at that. <laughs> How we are so alike. Oh, really? I should stop at the bank while we're at one. Yeah. Right, so you just learn how to ride your horse, sweetheart. Mm hmm. I always misclick the stop button. <laughs> oh, I think we shouldn't test our luck anymore. But if you were around, you know, like tomorrow or later, oh, oh, I Paul, oh, 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 are you oh, just oh. learning how to ride your horse? I um, am. I am. Mm -hmm. Silly little horse. Um, you know, <laughs> you're around more around, you know, weekends or maybe tomorrow. Or you know, maybe we get into more, some more shit like that. You know, I don't want to push sure. our luck, you know, being it. I'm going to keep this wildflower as a memento. As you should. You know why? You should remember the times you robbed those innocent, poor, kind-hearted people with Sophia. Mm -hmm. They were so sweet. They were very sweet. <laughs> I, I almost felt bad. I'd be surprised you did it. I'll be honest with you. <sighs> wow. I didn't think you'd go through. Why do you think I would? They're like well, I mean, but, well, because they were just, I mean, damn. I mean, if you make yourself that easy, you know, as a lawman, you know. Were they law? Yeah, that was a ranger. They were both rangers. Oh, uh, uh, the rangers are the good ones. I know. That's the worst part. I mean, the law are the real bastards. Now, the rangers, they actually do something for people. Yeah. Well. All right, well, I will probably get a room here in Valentine and stay the night and, you know, maybe test my luck a little tomorrow. You do what you want. Yeah, if you would sure. love to write again, I would too. But, you know, seeing as I'm quite tired, gotta go check well, the books. Well, take my telegram. All right. Um, I can write it me. down. Oh. I can just write it down. And I'll, sure. you know, send you one tomorrow. Sure, perfect. Um, Evelyn Salvatore, XR139, X rated 139. I believe that's it. All right, great. I will send you a telegram, you know, tomorrow or whatever. Great. I'll see you soon. Yep, see you soon. Don't, don't, uh, don't, don't get robbed, pal. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> that's funny. Evelyn got thrown into crime really fast. I don't really mind it. It's so much more of like a Chelsea thing though. That's why I'm kind of like laughing about it. Let's go down to Saint Denis. I literally forgot the mechanic for robbing people. I'm not gonna lie. Well, that was fun. <laughs> that was a fun little... <laughs> Immediately getting thrown back into crime with them. Super funny. So Evelyn knew Evelyn knew Antonio and Felix um, from from back in the day, um, and 
basically what they're saying is that they're trying to do it another they're trying to do a project where they move back to Saint Denis but it's a little funny because it's like Sophia is so like Sophia is so outlaw you know what I mean like she's so just like let me go rob somebody and take all the money blah, 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 blah. you know what I mean and Saint Denis is so like I mean, I don't actually, I shouldn't say anything. I don't know what Saint Denis is like anymore. Because I haven't. I haven't played in Saint Denis in so long. So I don't know what Saint Denis is like. I think we should have Ev be a, be a bartender and find out. But it is kind of funny that we that we jump back and it's immediate. Like, Chelsea is supposed to be my, like. Alright, let's sign on and. And go outlawing and robbing and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So to do it on Evelyn is is actually pretty funny. If you guys don't know, um, these are people that... Some of them I've roleplayed with for like years. Um, Sophia we just met during Ignite RP. So anybody that watched Ignite RP when I was playing that... Um, last year they will remember Sophia um, and Kelly Salvatore who is no pixel looking scuff why does no pixel look like ancient right now <laughs> no pixel looks so old yeah I might go back to no pixel and check in it's about to be storm, so I might check in. See if there's anything major. It's going too slow for me. See if there's anything major. But I'll probably... You watch loads of Wild RP? Really? Wild RP is where I was born. That's where I came from. I mean, I originally started in GTA RP in a small server, but this is like Wild RP is where I spent like a straight year on Dahlia, Daphne's great great grandma. Trying to rob. Looks like they are. We're gonna have to lose them. I think this is the railroad tracks. Yeah, it is. Um, Kay, is that? Kay. Torch, have you been watching Wild RP lately? Because I have been, I've been out of the loop, man. I just started signing in, like, last week again. Loads today? Who do you watch on Wild? Wrong way. 
No, I'm not. I'm where I want to be. I wish I could commit. I wish I could commit so much more time, man. I wish that I could play. I wish that I could play my cop in No Pixel and Daphne and Wild. Like. So many, so many good options, you know what I mean? But I will tell you what. Oh, Scoogs, Ember, aww. Black hats? Is that a thing? Gotta split your time. I, yeah, I mean, I can't really, like, I can't really, I can't really split my time between servers like I used to. You know what I mean? That's, oh, is that a gang? Wow, that's dope. I can't really split my time between servers like I used to. Cause like I really want to do more with cop, right? Get the black hats to rob you. I'm dead. I mean, I don't know if uh, I don't know if Billy Joe Barber would rob Evelyn. He loves her voice. Oh, he's not a black hat. Okay, I see. I do hope we get to meet back up with... Oh, yeah, Norman. Norman is an old friend of mine. Norman is a very old friend, man. Norman used to be really close with Dahlia, actually. Norman was one of the people that advocated for Dahlia in the Dicenzos. I don't know if advocated is the right word, but uh, like, you know, like, I don't know if he like stood up for her or anything, but he was definitely like, oh God. he was definitely someone that was close with Dahlia and cared about her. So I definitely, I, I love Norman Salsa. He's great. Uh... Hmm. What should I do? I don't think that I want to... Hmm. I don't think that I want to play. V I should probably go to sleep. We're on we're on eight hours. It's about enough for today. I miss when Dahlia was around and saint used to have just so many people all the time, man. When I was playing Dahlia, I would sign in at like, I don't know, 5 p.m. PST, I mean EST, and uh, saint would just be full of people all night. We'd have like eight hours of RP all night in Saint Denis. I, I, it was crazy. I never left, dude. When I was playing Dahlia, I like never left Saint Denis. Like ever. There was no need. All the RP was here. We had civilians. We had criminals. We had business owners. Man, man, fuck. We had everything. It was such like a golden era. But it got so ruined. Thank you. 
Oh, I'm out of one. Remember at the start how I'd rather watch GTA than Wild and now it's the opposite? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Prince, you started watching um, when I was doing GTA and then, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but like, did you even know about Wild before we started playing it? It was pretty like, it was pretty, it was pretty up and coming at the time. It was like, it was before the no, like, okay, so we, we started playing, like, me and my group of friends at the time, a lot of them I'm still friends with, we started playing Wild RP at the exact same time that um, No Pixel People started discovering Wild RP. So it was like, we were playing it, and then it was like, boom, everyone's on Wild RP. It's crazy. But before that, like, I feel like people didn't really... Like, I feel like the viewership was significantly lower, you know what I mean? It all kind of happened at the same time. One year, 11 months, 20 days ago? I feel like Cootie What's up? How you doing? I don't know, I don't remember when I first started playing. Two years ago sounds about right. Cootie, how you doing? Because Duke was live playing cards with Zoe. Were you? You were already my mod at that time, though. This place looks familiar? You're telling me. You're telling me, man. Yeah, so you... So, wait. So, did you find out about Wild when we started playing Wild? Because you weren't modding for Scarlet until... You were already a mod for me when you... When you saw Scarlet and Wild and started modding for her. If I remember correctly. But maybe I'm wrong. I was just talking, Coots, I was just talking about how back in the Dahlia days, like, Saint Denis was... <laughs> Never heard of Wild. Could I play this on Xbox? <laughs> Took even two weeks before I even followed her. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I was just talking about how back in the day Saint Denis used to be just popping. Just everybody in Saint Denis. Sorry, I'm being a bot. When you coming back, bruh? Hella dead. Seems to me he's dead now, man. Yeah. Looking long. <sighs> really? Oh, I'm sorry. Message me. I don't know. You think we should. <laughs> Can I play this on Xbox? Do you think that we should. <sighs> man. Uh, mm... I'm trying to decide if I want to. Because honestly, we're, we're not going to get much from Wild RP at this point. Like, late night Wild RP, if you don't have an established group, is kind of... We could see if anybody's around for my outlaw to interact with. I'm not going to lie. We could do that. Actually, why don't we do that? Let's get Evelyn a room here at the Bastille. And uh, let's see if anybody's around for Chelsea to talk to. I don't know. Me, thank you for the follow. Nat, how are you? Wait, are you not playing late tonight? Father Nat. 
Father Nat, are you not playing late tonight? Are you are you getting off early for once? Oh, cause your uh your internet is is shitty. Damn, I'm so sorry. Dang, I'm uh I'm probably about to sign back into No Pixel. <gasps> is that a is that a dark magician girl? Oh my god, oh my god. Why don't we have that? Why why aren't people always doing that in my chat? I wish I could show you guys my uh, my background is Dark Magician Girl. My phone case is Dark Magician Girl. Well, it's a card inside the phone case. I'm a Dark Magician Girl stan. Uh, I'm sorry that your internet is shitty right now, Nat. It's been it was really fun RPing with you the other night. I had a lot of fun on that little that little run we did. So right now, um, no pixel is about to start back up. Um, I'm thinking if I want to go back in there or, I mean, it doesn't it doesn't matter. I have the luxury of I have the luxury of prio now, so I can go back in if I want to. Um. You know what? Let's do it. Let's go back into No Pixel. Just need to move out. Oh. I think that's Chelsea, pretty though. Neat. Prince, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Nat. Nat, now that you have a sub, that means that you get to choose. Your starter Pokemon for the month of March, every sub gets to have their vote on a starter Pokemon. So you get to choose whether you want Charmander, Bulbasaur, or a Squirtle. Oh my gosh, thank you, Devin. I appreciate it. I'm like, I'm having a super lazy day today where I just like put on a hat and like didn't do my hair and stuff. So I appreciate you saying that a lot. Whatever suits Father Nat Charmander for sure. Or, I mean, well, now that I think about it, Squirtle Squad. I feel like Fat Nat would be a part of the Squirtle Squad. Yeah. I'm gonna give Fat Nat Squirtle. And I'm literally going to write Fat Nat. Perfect. Did you know that Nat has a pretty nose? <laughs> I was unaware. <laughs> yeah, Nat would definitely be Squirtle Squad. Dude, I was dying. I was dying the other night. Um, here, actually, you guys are gonna see my background right now. See, look, Dark Magician Girl. Um, I was dying the other night when we were doing that, uh, that moonshine run. And... And, and... <laughs> and Maxine was like, Nat would be a chihuahua. <laughs> I was dying. <laughs> I was dying. I was like, no, she's a Pomeranian. Need some moonshine IRL? Honestly, same. Honestly, same. All right, let me edit my stream title. I really want to start my uh, my playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2, though, if you guys... I was like, not even a Pomeranian. <laughs> She'd be a rat. Stop. The rat of dogs. You guys are so mean. Stop bullying her. She's the best, and you guys are bullying her. So what you guys missed, what you came in on, like, right after, what you, came, what you raided in right after... We, um, we robbed people. So what we did was my character and her friend, Sophia, um, caused a scene where my character was vomiting, um, and they asked for help from these rangers, and, um, then we robbed them of a $600 gun. So... You know... 
It is, it is what it is. <laughs> Stonks. <clears throat> yeah, it was pretty, um... I was, so here's my thing, like, I, I always play criminal characters, but I play organized crime characters, so I personally don't like robbing, um, other players, like, I don't, I don't like personal or, like, highway robberies, basically, because we're all players here, we're all just, you know, we all grind for our belongings and things, and, um, so I don't really... Squirrel Squad 10 p. I don't personally like robbing other characters, but when you have, like, heavy criminal characters, you kind of don't have a choice. It's like, no matter how I feel about it as a person, like, you kind of got to do it. Like, I can't have an outlaw that's like, I don't rob people, you know what I mean? That'd be silly. So... I felt so bad because these girls were these girls were so nice. They were literally so nice. They were the sweetest. They're rangers. Remember when we robbed that Marshall and Just RP? No. Actually, no, I don't. Remind me. Just RP was crazy. Just RP was an insane time. That was uh, that was the place that we were playing Red Dead in before we while we were waiting for our, app, our wild applications to process. You asked him to teach you to fish, and I rolled up. Oh, that's right. They tried to take roads from us there, but failed. That's true. Dang, that's crazy. Honestly, the thing that I remember the most about Just RP is Dahlia running the Bastille, and the server getting hacked during a subathon of mine. I was doing a subathon. And it was like, it was like, it was like the second day of this. It was like a three day long subathon by the end. And mind you, when I say subathon, I'm not talking about like, all right, I streamed for 12 hours. Now I'm going to go to sleep like a normal person and wake back up and stream for another 12 hours, then go to sleep for a full eight hours. No, I was awake. I was awake, motherfucker. I was awake for like, I don't play that shit. I was awake for like, I think I made it to like 22 hours and then I was like, I have to fucking take it. I have to take a nap. So, what's up, bunny? I was like, I have to take a nap. So I slept for like six hours and then I wake back up and this is like at night on the second day and the server gets hacked. And we're, th we're I think there's like an event going on, right? Weren't we doing like horse races or something? Oh, you DJ, do you have any links to live sets? Um, I do actually if you uh, command SoundCloud, there's some old sets on there. They're old though, but they are there. Um, there are some live sets on my SoundCloud. Um Crimson and me were the only mods awake when you had that nap and then I passed down my chair. Six hours is not a nap, yeah, it's kind of true. So, um, but what these hackers did is they spawned like hundreds of grizzly bears. It, it was at the Braithwaite Manor, right? So we're at the Braithwaite Manor doing like a horse race and these hackers span like a hundred grizzly bears and we're all just like, what the fuck? And everybody has to fight these grizzly bears. And then, so we're continuously getting hacked because at the time, um, at the time I had around like 40, 50 viewers, you know, like pretty normal on, on this channel. And, um, but in, in that server, there wasn't really a lot of streamers. So it was, I was kind of like, that was like a lot for that server. Um, and so they were targeting me because I was streaming. And so they, I remember we were in roads and they duplicated my character and set it on fire. So it's like, so my character is, imagine like, imagine right now if Daphne was standing here and all of a sudden she's just respawning and respawning and respawning and there's like 10 Daphnes and they all catch on fire. It was the, and then, so like, obviously I'm still there as the original character. And so I'm laying on the ground, or my, I'm sorry, my character is laying on the ground, uh, unconscious, you know, dead, whatever. 
and there's just continuous versions of the character spawning and catching fire. It was the craziest shit ever. Oh, thank you. Take a drink. I'm sorry. I missed it. Dude, it was it was wild. It was one of the craziest things I've ever experienced, for sure. Who's that? A swan? Uh, swan? Good morning. Oh, dragon? Yeah. Did you get a car? Did you buy a car? No, I'm doing a money. I'm in order real quick. Oh, okay. Real fast one. You're such a you're so, dragon. You're so you're so you're so full throttle. You're so full <laughs> throttle. You're so pedal to the metal. I gotta can't stop, I gotta, won't stop. He can never get him. You can't go. even talk I, I to gotta, him. He's gotta, gotta go. He's gotta do it. Full <laughs> throttle, baby. <laughs> Just like his grandpa. What do you mean his grandpa? <laughs> Where's my family? Where are my housemates? Wait, where is my my home? I'm on one. Dude. Where's the food that I had? I swear I had food. Oh, oh, right. It's his grandpa. That's right. That's right. Aw, oh, man, who's got the fucking great? Oh my god, I bet Dragon's bitch ass has the Granger at the money run spot. Is the train here? I just want to get to work. Here, watch this. We'll try to check, take the train to work again. Oh, wait. No, it's this one. This, this right here. Okay. This is so, this is, this is just silliness, honestly. <gasps> the train, it's the train, it's the train! No, we're gonna miss the train! Oh, no, 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 we're missing the train, we're missing the train, we're missing the train! <laughs> no, please, 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 please! I just wanna get on the train! <laughs> Dude, I've I have been trying to, I have been trying to figure out for weeks why Daphne is so slow. Daphne literally runs so slow and I can't explain it. Yeah, I think it is the walk. But I feel like I've tried <laughs> Bad driver, slow runner, like, what do I have? God, I can't even, mm, I can't even steal cars. Mm, I can't even steal cars for fun. That is an owned car by a person, for sure. Cow! Cow, give me a ride. Give you a ride. Yeah, give me a ride. Hi, cow. Could I have a ride? <laughs> sure. Great what lady. Co what co manages? You still got manners. I said, I said hi. <laughs> you said, cow, give me a ride. Cow? We gotta be trunk bitch. I begged you. I, I will not fine. put my girlfriend in the trunk. That'd be fucked up. Oh, who's your girl? Gabby. She works for the company, too. Hi, Gabby. Nice to meet you, Daphne. I almost wonder if she's still looking at the showroom. <laughs> <laughs> she might be. Cause I just grabbed her ass. I don't. Uh, yeah. Go. Maybe yeah, she'll leave it to try to pick up. What the phone. balls? Hey, how you doing? Are They're you back? They're the perfect couple. They're the perfect I couple. I'm oh, sorry. Sorry. Well, 
Uh, Daphne's in the trunk. She said hi. Hi. Oh. <laughs> and then I introduced you to her, and then I realized I think you're still looking at cars. Yeah, I was what looking the at the cars, and then I'm here. Where do you need a ride to? Well, we'll come back. Um, the clothing store by Buns. The one closest to Buns. Okay. Ponsby's. Yeah, that's fine. But I heard you, you said you wanted to something why binding go. <laughs> what the balls? How fast do you reckon I can make 20 grand? How much do you need for the car? 30 grand. Hey, 30 I mean, grand? No, well, if I want to be comfortable after. Oh, no, wait. Whoa, I have like way more money than I thought. Yeah, Goob, I'm like, what the fuck? I got you working out here, fuck. I don't look at my bank. I don't buy anything. Um. Well, it's 41 before tax. Uh, Alright, we'll go back and look at it. It's gonna be uh 24% tax. Okay, sure. Jeez. Yeah, I'll get that to you next time I, I work with you. Um, Thank you so much. I just want to say yeah. uh, you guys are my favorite couple. That I've ever encountered wow. in my life. Oh, thanks. So I just want you to know that. I'll see you soon. Is that real, real yeah. or not real? Real, true. It's all my dead homies, all right. babe. All right. <laughs> I love that Daphne doesn't hate cow anymore. <laughs> I can't express to you guys how much I love that Daphne no longer despises cow. Ass manager, baby. <clears throat> ciao, ciao. Do you have a rental by chance? Nope. What? Fuck. I, I what, to... ha what happened to the car? I, I I need to talk it. What the fuck happened? Dragon, what happened? What happened? What have you done? I crashed. Uh, <laughs> Cause you're uh, running, Cause you're running around like your fucking balls are on fire. You gotta calm down. You gotta take in the scenery. You gotta smell the roses sometimes, Dragon. Maybe so, but right now, uh, I need to call someone that has to repair it real quick. Okay, call, right, call, call cow, call cow. <laughs> he's growing on me. Well, because he's different now, because before... He literally used to not say anything besides his cat's phrases, and now he's like, he's moved past that, and so he's like an actual person. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I love Cow now. At first, when I first met Cow, I genuinely thought that he had nothing else to say besides his catch phrases, and it was driving me insane. And then as soon as he started speaking, I was like, oh yeah, you're actually really cool. <laughs> The fuck you Friday? Yeah, I, I know. That's the thing, man. That's the thing. But he's actually, like, he's dope. Alright. I don't even know what I'm doing, to be honest. I'm just kind of chilling. I'm just kind of chilling because I didn't want to, uh... uh I didn't want to end right after... Uh, sorry, I'm searching. I didn't want to end right after the raid. I love this new uniform for deaf working senior buds. Honestly, it makes me want to work it all the time. How now, Kamau? And then I heard him on the radio. You guys were in a, you guys, I wasn't streaming. I wasn't streaming when uh, I was doing a senior buns delivery. And I hear Cow on the radio. And I was like, what the fuck? I'm like hearing Cow rapping with another person. I called him immediately and was like, Cow, what the fuck? Did I just hear you on the radio? He's, he was like, yeah, I, I had a oh god their group they had a boy band called like a boy rap group called broke street boys <laughs> so like backstreet boys but it's broke street boys get it honestly it was hilarious Buns time, baby! Let's fucking go! Why is there already blood on the ground? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, 
why. Can I smoke in here? Don't understand how daff and clothing works anymore? Wait, what do you mean? Is that a yes? Huh? Is there a lot of smoke in here? No? Another manager lets me smoke in here. Oh, can you? Yeah, yeah, I don't care if you smoke in here. Yeah, fuck it. Oh, sweet. What's your name? Daphne, nice to meet you. I'm ass manager. I'm a Daphne ass manager. <laughs> Howdy. Like, how do all her clothes make her have a fat ass? <laughs> because I choose the clothes that have fat asses, that's why. Because Daphne has a fat ass, it's canon. She can't wear anything that makes her ass look smaller, otherwise it's not with her character, all right? I need to look back at my VOD and see what the fuck we had in our pockets because I had a ton of stuff in Daphne's pockets. It weighs her down when she's trying to run. <laughs> that's actually, that's not a bad... Yeah. Oh, delivery? Maybe I will. Hey gang, can you chop up some lettuce and pickles? And we both know that code that take a picture and reload that. I mean what I say, don't pretend and I live in the moment, don't need no pen. Polito incoming? Wait, what do you mean? Oh, for the delivery? Yeah, I, I hope not. I gotta chop the tomato. I gotta chop the tomatoes. Might as well, might as well raise the cattle myself. Am I right? <laughs> Are you only chopping cheese? Yeah, just getting cheese out of the way. Okay. See, here's something that I heavily disagree with with everybody else that works here. I, I, I find it really frustrating that people think that we just need to make 50 cheese before we get anything else. You know what I mean? Uh, I just do it just so we're prepared to release some cheese. So just for people, if someone wants, like, if they're determined they want, like, pickles instead of cheese like i would still serve them pickles you know mm -hmm. or like if they're a person who's allergic to cheese and something like that and they want something you know like i think we can you know bend the rules a little bit i mean i just feel like i feel like there's this this like social norm right now where at the storm everybody is like all right Everybody make a hundred cheese and no other ingredients. And I think that, oh, honestly... No, I try and get us to like 30 or 40 and then, uh, then I try and switch over. Yeah, that, that makes sense to me. I mean, I'd rather not be chopping, to be quite honest with you. Oh, Are yeah. You I, I fucking yet? hate chopping, honestly. Yeah, we can take an order. Give us a moment, though. You're good. I'm just no. checking. Yeah, what can I get for you? Uh, can I get uh, two combos with just cheese? And uh, yes. cola for the drinks. Yeah, okay. Um, all right. Let me get that for you. Get these fries. Make sure you get these fries. Get you some E-Colas. No problem. Bada bang. Go ahead and swipe right there. Thanks, darling. Appreciate it. It really is funny though. People like people have done this thing where they're like, make fifty cheese. They're like they're like make no other ingredients. Make fifty cheese. Like it's so like. 
And then the people at the front will be like, nothing but cheeseburgers for an hour. <laughs> it's like, I think it's like one of the goofiest things ever. All right, if you want I'm bad gonna... social norms, he left us with no buns, no meat on his delivery. Yeah. I should be good on getting these. Okay, okay, cool. Um, you can just take the uh, order out to him, you're all good. Okay. School me. You can come through. Oh, hey, DJ. Hi, Stephanie. All right, ready? Yep, I'm ready. Catch. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, so, so close. Slipped, slipped right through my fingertips. Damn. You got it though, right? Yeah, I got it. Okay, amazing. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Have a good All right, day. I'm going to deliver you. I'll be right back. Okie dokie. Drive safe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Please, Lord. Oh, thank God. We're not, we're not going to Plato, guys. It's okay. It's all right. Don't worry. Nobody worry. Twinkles! Hi! Hey! What's going on? Oh, nothing much. Just you know, walking around. I see things about stuff. Okay. What are you thinking about? Oh, uh, well, Twinkles was thinking about... So you won't believe what happened. Twinkles okay. uh, decided to order some food uh, okay. to his apartment. And he put some chocolate milk in it. And it was seven ounces. <gasps> Yeah, it was so small. Twinkles was so sad because he really likes chocolate milk, but oh, yeah. No. He was just thinking about that because it, it, it was definitely a ripoff. Listen, I don't want you to be traumatized by this experience, okay? Oh, gosh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I want you... Listen, listen. Is there anything I can do for you? I know this is a very upsetting time, okay? I would be very upset, too. Okay, if Tango thinks of something, he will let you know. But right okay. now, he cannot think of something. Okay, I'm here for you, because I know what it feels like. I know what it feels like to to have, you know, you're so excited. You want the chocolate milk, and guess what? You only get a little bit. That's messed up. It's messed up, all right? Yeah. Nobody deserves that. Nobody. Exactly. Okay, well, hang on. Let me... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ciao, ciao. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, okay, sorry, one second. Okay, Twinkles, I'm gonna do this delivery and I'll see you really soon, okay? Okay, dog, see you in a okay. bit. Okay, bye. I hope your day gets bye. better. I'm sorry that happened to you. Thank you. It's all right. <laughs> What's up? Uh, it sounds like, uh, you're welcome. <laughs> sorry that happened to you, <laughs> fuck off, sort of vibe. <laughs> no, he, it's not, it's not like that big of a deal. He, he, he ordered, he, 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 had, he had a small chocolate milk, okay? He's gonna live, but. He spilled chalky milk. Damn. It's the chalky milk. They didn't give him enough. He was trying to get. It, it's fine. He's gonna live, but I still wanted to offer my condolences. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, what are you doing? Um, I'm doing a senior buns delivery. I got promoted. Did I tell you I got promoted? Is that you? I'm Wait, ass pull manager. Pull over. Pull over. Pull over. Pull I'm over. Pull over. Turn around. I'm ass manager. I... Bring, bring your ass manager and turn around. I need a ride. Where are you? I think I just saw you. I'm like old apartment. Oh my god, what the fuck? What is wrong with you? You thought I'd, you know, wing up an apartments and hope my, <laughs> my shit got towed back. But, uh, you know. What happened? What, what, ha what happened? Oh my to you? god, this is so slow. Well, well, that's because I'm in the wrong queue. Come on. Oh. You and me I against the world, the Perez, on my on my senior bun moped. Yeah. I'm the ass manager. Nobody's gonna fuck with us. Oh yeah, pop, pop a wheelie. I don't know how. Pop a wheelie. I don't know how. Uh, control your way backwards as you drive. 
Welcome to the poly pump. All right, let's go. Crusty Crab Pizza is a pizza for you and me. I can see you buns all the cookies. Crusty Crab Pizza. What the fuck? You actually delivered it to some guy? You didn't just leave it at the door? No, there's a. Yeah, there's what a guy. The heck? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they ordered their food prices of valued customers. <laughs> Crusty crab pizza is the pizza for you and me. Why, why, are, you, why are you riding a scooter in the sky? Crusty crab pizza <laughs> is the oh, oh, too much you too much weight. Because I'm, I'm the ass manager, that's why. You have a freaking hey. leg. <laughs> you can go to the hospital, Ow. you okay? Pizza. Pizza. <laughs> to hurt me emotionally, not physically. <laughs> you want me to hurt you emotionally? Sure, I'm down. Okay, we can build up to that. <laughs> Great. As long as it's not hurting me physically, I can't. Okay, you need to stop like bouncing us back forward because it looks sussy as fuck from back here. Does it? <laughs> I mean, sure, if you if you if you like that sort of motion. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, I'm down if you're down, but anyway. <laughs> this is a press we like got we to. <laughs> <laughs> we've been. I feel like we've been through so much, you know. Uh -huh. You and me. Uh-huh. Between the swing, between the moped, the, the, that one night. Uh-huh. That one night. When we, you know, remember the night when we put all our clothes around the... Around uh, the bench? Yes, yes. Oh, my God. We nearly died. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I tunnel vision so hard. Oh my god, Perez is dead! I am dead. so sorry, I you am killed Perez! Perez, Perez I am so sorry, Perez. I am so fucking sorry. I tunnel vision so hard. Is it still running? Okay, it's still running. Thank you god. killed oh Perez! God. I am so sorry. Are you guys okay? Damn it, Doc. Perez, I'm so <laughs> glad you're Perez. alive. Okay. You're okay. Sorry. <laughs> glad you guys are okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. I mean, I mean, how dare you? <laughs> Fuck it. You just want to go back to the house real quick. And, you know, we may as well at this stage. <laughs> we gotta go to the hospital. Crusty <laughs> Crab Pizza. <laughs> so, the Crusty Crab Pizza. <laughs> Uh -huh. We're doing great. We're doing great. Uh huh. Yeah, we. <laughs> um. Yeah. Okay. So we're to the hospital. I feel like chaos just happens, but when we're together, <laughs> chaos just. <laughs> <laughs> Would you yeah, have it any other chaos, way? But... Would you have it any other <laughs> yeah, way? Exactly. You know what I mean? Would you rather it be boring? Not me. <laughs> that's a pole, 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 that's a tree, okay, that's a pole. We're, we're on the way to the hospital. <laughs> oh! What? God, if that person would have hit us too, I would just have to fucking pee my pants. <laughs> Get back in your car. What? Oh. Please. Please. Me? Yeah, go back. Go back, and, go back in your car. Okay, we're gonna ignore that. Do you need me to carry you, Perez? Nope. Perez, you want me to carry you? You're having trouble walking. Oh, uh, I'm good. <laughs> carry you for the fuck. <laughs> Dragon, honestly, at this stage, Daph and I should just start dating because we're just that chaotic together. I added it. Go have a car. 
What? Oh. Yo, what up? Let's go get him in my in my in my moped. What? What? No, why not they? I mean, we could. Hi. I mean, could we? This is a very this is this is a can of worms you don't want to open. <laughs> Please help my son. He's very sick. This sounds like the worst thing in the universe, but I still to this day crave whatever taste that was. It's one of those acquired things. I just What's up, Ryder? Please help. Please. Like no. this. Oh, did, I, did, I was gonna say he's sick and on the phone. Okay. Huh. What happened to your leg, sir? <laughs> well, I know that feeling. Like, like as a kid, she broke. Had, uh, okay. She tried to pop a wheelie. And it was. Oh, yeah. We also, oh, we, we also the got hit. Thank again. you. Like, you can yes. Get a hold of yep. it. Okay. <laughs> Were y'all in here for this last night? No, that was a never mind. It's painkillers. Oh, it was, it was another. Ah. Ah, okay. That was a different ah. physically related injury. But with the same or different man on the back of your bike. That's crazy, Dad. I wasn't. Listen, I wasn't in the hospital last night for for the bike. That wasn't me. I was just making a joke. I was making. I was. I was making a. I was getting my funny up. All right. Oh, okay. Because somebody was in the hospital last night for that very. <laughs> Back injury pulling wheels. I don't remember who though, so promoted. Promoted. All right, sir. Yeah, let's see in. here. I do have a brace here on that that left leg. It should help with the uh, the pain you're experiencing. Let you put your weight on it and walk around. Uh, why don't you hop up and tell me how that feels? Deja vu to me. My ribs feel a bit fucked okay, up. Fucked up. So. Let me just look at that real quick. Should, uh, make it that everyone that's promoted gives you a thousand bucks. And everyone they promote that's gives you a thousand a bucks. Three next, please. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, my God, my arms are fucked up as well. Hello, do you need help? Fuck <laughs> that. I gotta go get another drink, man. You're bleeding. Yeah, you're not bleeding right now. But you are hurt. You wanna quickly jump in that Ben and I? Alright, that looks much better than how you were. There you go. Well, he's not appreciated. No problem. Alright, ma'am. Uh, what's wrong with you? I popped a wheelie on my senior buns bike, but I'm the ass manager. <laughs> Fine, she landed on me, so I took all the fucking took all the fall. Gotcha, gotcha, well, at gotcha. least there was a lot of cushion. Use the bed right next to the person who falls into the seat. Doctor, do you have a, sh a short king? A short king? A... Um, I do. He's actually working. My husband's here in the ER right now. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Uh, can I borrow you for a second? Perez, why can't you find a short king? I'm Maxine. He's like full foot. What do you mean? <laughs> okay, fair enough. Okay, I think I got most of these bruises. Healed up with ice packs and bruise cream. Oh, Give me just a second to make sure you're good, and then we'll Thank have you so much. Up. Luckily, I'm an alcoholic, so I don't feel pain as much as other people. Except in the morning, then I'm feeling way more pain than anyone else. All right, go ahead and hop up and uh, let's see how you feel. Uh, it's like I feel amazing. Like that's Wonderful. Buddy. Either you need any bandages. Oh, gosh. Just make sure you're um, I, she has some extras. Uh, should we get I ran out. All right. No problem. If you get on GT right now, there's more doctors. Just emotional pain. Um, there you go. Thank you so much. Really appreciate no that. No problem. Okay, we're gonna go Anytime. save our friend, and I'm gonna pop no wheelies, 
And it, Hell listen, yeah. if I was to bring another man in here that I'm popping wheelies with on my bike, don't blow my cover like that. You know, oh it, it wasn't God, real this yeah, time. I'm but sorry. Next I'm time sorry. Is, I, you know I, I, mean? I got you. I understand. Okay. I'm sorry. Right. Hey, yo, Thank you so much. I'm What's sorry. your name? Dr. Duke Ramsey. All right, Dr. Ramsey. You're the best. Okay. Enjoy your night. You're the best. Someone went to the hospital and went back and destroyed the lab. And all of my research went back to Okay. Are we going to go save Dragon on a moped? We gotta go check and see the motels there. The way? So if you pop another wheelie and we fall over, you're taking me down a boat. Damn. Are you like what so what's your like what's your ideal date, Perez? Honestly, staying in, watching a movie and eating pizza. Okay, that's not bad. Um why the f What happened? What? Oh no, this is bad, Perez, this is bad. I can't get on the moped anymore. Oh, oh never mind. It. I was trying. <laughs> the key fob wasn't working for a second there, okay. So what, you just wanna eat pizza and watch movies? What wait, okay, so are we gonna save Dragon or what? Yeah, go to the motel real quick. Okay, um what movie? Well, I guess motel. I don't what, know. What? I I would so watch anything. You'd watch anything? I'd honestly watch anything. Okay, because my... It'd be like one of those vines where you like... Honestly, just sit there, eat all your food, and then by the time after that, you still won't have a movie. So you're just sitting there, just doing nothing, looking for a movie to watch. That's terrible. That could never be me. No, I could find something. Fuck, he's on no. the phone. Oh. Um... Well, we're gonna watch Fight Club. I want to watch Fight Club, but hell yeah. Maybe he's here. Probably oh, already turned it in because he's lazy. You would love the Barbie oh, movie, Oh, we Chris. pulled up, so... <laughs> so he's any or what? We can pull up, it looks cool. <laughs> oh, okay, let's go do another one real quick. Do you want to do another one real quick before everyone wakes up and tries to rob everyone? Probably, uh, yeah. Let's, 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 let's hit rub one out real quick, alright? You guys gonna disgusting. rub one out together? While I'm sitting on the bike with you. <laughs> and to the, to the left, huh? My club should be parked here. Yeah, I, I can pick you up. Ciao, ciao. Hey. What? What are you up to? Wait, who is this? What do you mean it's me? Oh my god, you... What is wrong with you? What do you mean what's wrong with you? Why are you calling me? Because I'm about to go pick up Dragon. So why are you calling me? I don't know, in case you wanted to, like, chat. I don't know. Oh, I don't oh, 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 it. oh, okay. I see, I see. Yeah, I, I see where you're getting at now. Okay, that makes more sense. See, your number didn't come up on my phone, so I thought you were a stranger, and I thought that you were already on the phone with Dragon, but then I answered the phone, and it sounded like you. So I was like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? I'm actually Perez's, like, evil twin oh, brother and so stuff. Like, no. Oh, my God. What, wow. what doing? Tell me a secret about him, then. Um, so what's a secret that Perez has? Uh, a little bit. I mean, she's a New Yorker, so. He, he loves uh, Sandra Bullock movies. Sandra Bullock movies? No, he would binge watch them all day long. Is that real? I don't know. It's what Perez is into, I guess. Sandra Bullock, like, literally the only, she's from Manhattan, technically. Well, Daphne's from Manhattan, Carly's from Queens. Um, <clears throat> the only Sandra Bullock movie I can even think of is Miss Congeniality, I'll be honest with you. If you know, I feel what the fuck. 
Oh yes, this is me, Perez's evil brother. Um, oh. <laughs> I mean, there's other movies that I can't name off the top of my head. Oh, okay, yeah. I mean, oh, no, I, I cool. just sort of had some well, random fact. I mean, that would make sense because you're not Perez, who loves Sandra Bullock movies. Yeah, Bullock exactly. Brother. Yeah, so that tracks. Yeah, I'm like the hotter, hotter Perez. Yeah, I don't know why he, uh, I don't know why he can, like, goes by his last name. It's kind of weird. Kind of, like, weird saying my own last name like that. Yeah, and, I don't like, even know how to pronounce it. Talking about my brother, name, that's crazy. Yeah, that's wild. I think it's, like, a Chez or something. A Chez? A Chez? I don't know. What's that, what's that, what, what nationality is that, is that name from? I don't know. Our parents, like, wanted to call him something else, but he put a H in the middle of his name, so he can... <laughs> Aches. Okay. All right. Uh, I, I lost... So, yeah, so hypothetically, if, 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 you, if you were Perez and not Perez's uh, evil twin brother, what gas station would you be at? Strawberry Abbey. Where? Strawberry OGG. Oh my god, that's literally... That's so far away from where I'm at right now. What the fuck? Look at me, Cade. Uh, I don't have any on me. Italian from... She's Italian from Manhattan. You pretend your nails are wet and you have the point of your... I don't really do need gas. This is like... Empty, empty. Do I even need the Blicky Dragon? Aches. Oh, that was terrifying. <laughs> I, I don't know. Me personally, if, if you get robbed for 3k, it sucks if it's someone we can like fuck up later. You fuck him up. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't think it's worth losing like the way that we're, that we're doing this is like really smart like i don't think any, anyone else really does it except for us yeah exactly hey Daph. good morning so good morning. you want to uh want to do that thing later today what i want to want to know watch a movie watch sandra bullock movies no <laughs> Any other beat. Who's beating that meat right now? What the fuck is that? Dragon. What was that? <laughs> was it me? What you mean? That, that was the movie that you guys are watching, right? <laughs> no! Right? We're watching Sandra Bullock movies. Oh, I don't know what that is, but okay. <laughs> See, Dragon doesn't even know what that is. Wait, what, what are you, where are you guys going? What are you hunting? Give me like 10 minutes. Uh, I, something just came up, but I'll be, I'll be there in 10 minutes, okay? If you want to I come join for the money run. Um, if there's room in the car. Yeah, well, he's going to go to the, go to the guy. Okay, right, I'm going to drop off my moped. Yeah, I'll come to the house. Hmm? Come to the house. Can't come to the house. Why not? How I'm gonna fucking get to the house? Oh, uh, you don't know. I need to drop off my moped. You have a car there? No, because somebody took out the Granger. I don't know where the fuck the car is. I believe he's sound. I'm making clapping sounds. I am the ass chief of buns. <laughs> you want me to what your bun? Oh, nice. I'm just listen. I'm I'm on a power trip. Okay, I got a promotion. I don't know how to act. Uh -huh. you don't know how to act. I'm on a power trip. I'm the ass chief of buns, man. Wait, oh. do you have all the money, Dragon? Oh. Okay, and give give me uh, the rest of it. He, he's like full grinder mode. Oh my god. Yo, he, no, he, he's I'm, I'm, fucking, I'm, he's, he's like on meth right I'm, now. I might have to feel, yeah, I'm, 
He wants to do this immediately and then go straight to do Sani. So I, Bro, you might have to pick your up. He, he literally, he, I saw him at the house. He would not even stop saying hi. He was balls on fire. Like, can't I'm stop, can't stop. Miley Cyrus, like, all He's going fucking crazy. <laughs> right, right. Harley's from Brooklyn. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. That makes... It's a senior bus. So pick you up after. Okay. <laughs> All right. Bye. Oh my god. <laughs> Never mind. Run it, get his. All right. Good work, everybody. Look at this. Look at this. Look at everybody. Doing amazing. We're trying. You got the blue foot on. What yeah, I got manager? a promotion. I'm ass oh manager now, so Whoa. you already know. You know what I mean? I'm doing the work, I swear. It's all right. I'm a cool manager. You know, I'm a cool mom. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Have we already had a stabbing? Like, why are there fucking, why are there crime scene things around here? Uh, That's a great question. Please don't, don't clean it up. Managing all the asses up in here. Not on. Who pre strained the cutting board? <laughs> the floor with blood. Maron. Who put little signs on the floor? The Italian Maron. Yeah. Maron. Maron. I feel like I'm one of the only people that plays in Italian that when people ask what does Maron mean can actually explain what it means. <laughs> and I feel like people are always shocked when I know, too. They expect me to be like, I don't know. And I'm like, well, actually... It originated from. <laughs> in my day, we bury the bodies and clean up after ourselves. Now yeah, the police is. leave these signs around. <laughs> these tiny little signs. Uh, what can you read from these little signs? Little bitty signs. So small. So small, the signs. I don't know, what does it mean? Tiny signs. Oh, look at these. Huh? The tiny signs. <laughs> Love when you say that when Maxine is on. He just jokingly makes fun of it. I know. That's actually the best. Hey, miss the dishes, guy. If there's no dishes, can you chop in the meantime? Please, 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 please. Yo, you heard her? I'm the ass manager. I can give you a citation or something. <laughs> I think he's singing. I don't know. Maron. Some people, they got no, they got no awareness. No spatial awareness. Right? Especially about the dishes. It's like contagious. Yeah. I mean, I'll be, I'll be honest. I put my headphones in when I'm doing the dishes sometimes too. But I still pay attention. You know what I mean? I try not to. I'll be fighting the urge to. Well, it's only when, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's only when I'm writing music. Like, I'm not just zoning out, you know what I mean? I'm like listening to the music in my head, in my headphones, trying to write while I'm waking. Oh, cool. I get it. That's pretty cool. What, you know what would be funny? You know what would be funny if I if I go into the computer and I just fire him and he has no idea. <laughs> he just and watches he, and dishes he's, for and, free. Yeah, and he's like, "What happened?" 
Oh. Sorry, talking to me. Hey, good morning. Hey. Good morning. Sorry, I'm off three Benadryls. I'm fucked up. Oh, my God. That's some fast food industry shit if I've ever heard it. Respect. Oh, God. I'm trying to stay awake because <laughs> I'm seeing the hat, man. I'm tripping. I'm really fucking scared. So I'm just watching dishes. I'm sorry. <laughs> do you want me to do, ass manager? Um, uh, we, whenever, like, if you want to stay on dishes, that's totally fine. But just whenever there's no dishes, if you could keep, uh, if you could chop in the meantime, that'd be great because we yeah, don't have any, any vegetables. Thank you. Yeah, we don't chop cheese though. I fucking I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. Everybody, you guys, this is fucking. <clears throat> listen, was it like two hundred the, cheese? There's sixty four cheese, and there's literally there's four of every other ingredient. Motherfucker listen, sixty four cheese. Everybody, because no, because this is what the social norm is right now, and I'm trying to that fight this social it. norm with my yeah, entire do do, fucking yeah. soul. Everybody, they come in and they say, "Don't do anything but cheese for half an hour," and I don't and then know. Then they'd be like, "Oh." We're not, we only got cheeseburgers, yeah. nothing else. I'm like, what? Exactly. But it's like, why don't you just chop all of them? And then, you know, you've got two people on chop and one person get caught up on cheese in case people only want cheeseburgers. The other person chop all the ingredients. Bada bing, we got ingredients. But no, you know what exactly. we got? We know what we got. We're an hour at the store, but we got 64 cheese and three tomatoes. <laughs> you good Wait, I need some buns. I need some buns. <laughs> Dre, 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 you working or not? You you just dead weight, motherfucker. Okay, dude. Nah, I can't tell you. Oh, fuck you! I'm leaving. Wait, wait, come back. Hold on, hold on. I was playing. Dre, Dre. Damn, we made him cry. Dre, don't cry. Yeah, I just been telling the area. Hey, man. Damn it, Daphne. I've been telling people we don't got cheese, and over here, but yelling that we got cheese and shit. No, we got 64 pieces of fucking cheese. What we don't have do fucking mean? cheese. We don't we have, have cheese. 64 we have, pieces of cheese. Are you crazy? We have, we have, we have zero cheese. We have zero you, cheese. No, we got no fucking tomatoes is what we don't got. We don't got cheese. We don't have fucking cheese. What do you, what do you, what do you mean? What we don't got fucking mean? cheese. We don't got fucking cheese. We don't got fucking cheese. We don't got no fucking cheese. We don't got no fucking cheese. Pull yourself no together. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 you know what's crazy? Been sitting there for four minutes you can't do nothing about that. It's women history month. Uh, 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 <laughs> pull yourself together, Marinette. man. You're uh, losing it. Uh, uh, Listen, we're in this together. We're in this together, all right? We're gonna get through. These yeah, buns yeah, are gonna kill me. Uh, How many burgers am I making? Uh, <laughs> Is Dre not gonna, gonna come back? Just so you know. So I'll get that one done once we get those up. Okay, huh? great. All right, we got. Holy shit, it's stacked. How the fuck? Can we get it? Can we get a burger for thirty-four, please? Burger for thirty-four. We we missed that one. Yep, that's what I'm doing. Thank you. And then we're good. We're honestly really caught up. It's not really that big of a deal. Thankfully. Thank you, Santa, for washing the dishes. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas. Yes. <laughs> oh, I got a Santa again. No, no, no. Sorry, sorry. Love that guy. Don't know us. All right. Our promotion at Buns has made me have tons of fun at Buns again. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Having a great time. Yeah. What's up? Yo, what's up? So I'm, uh, I think me and Cal, cause I finally got a Cal's intro and outro for the Mr. Bun song. Oh fuck yeah! Uh, so we go, we gonna do uh, like a little photo shoot. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna wear like my Mr. My Mr. So Bun's get up. The it's like it's in your like Bun's colors, but it's like a nice suit. Uh -huh. And then uh, Cal's gonna wear his manager shit, and we're gonna do some pictures uh, in front of the green screen. Okay. But do you think we should do some here, or where else I do you think advise, we should do some? Salt, please. Um, am Already. I included? Of course, yeah. If you want to be, yeah. Right God, fuck, now, damn it. Fuck I would love to. Even if I, even if for something happens and I don't have my verse in time or whatever, I would love to wear my little ass manager outfit. No, hundred percent. I mean, and then too, like I said, if you if you actually fuck with it, we can we can do just a remix. Yeah, I wanted to, I want to do something to it. Thirty four, thirty four, please order thirty four. All right. Wait, wait, wait. That's, that's wait. me. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> that's, that's, oh. that's your boy. 
I am oh. actively starving. That's our boy right there here. All right, enjoy you. yourself. Where, um, where'd my food go? I'll appreciate it. Wait, what's my boy? All right, it's 35, 35. Which, what number are you? We'll get the, the house on schedule. Is this two combos? Mm -hmm. and yes, then, I'm uh, split. I'm, uh, two combos, 35. Yeah, yeah. 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 Be safe out there, okay? You too, take care. Thanks. But yeah, Dre, um, yeah, I'm definitely trying to, I'm trying to do that shit for sure. Yeah, and, yeah. I, and I definitely want to be a part of the photo shoot in my little, in my little ass man jail outfit. 100%. <laughs> okay. So, uh, we, are you going to have time tonight? Cause me and I'll him are going to do it kind of soon. Oh, you want to do it like right now? Like, well, uh, that was the plan. Cause uh, so the single is probably going to come out next week. And then, oh shit. Okay. Well, fuck. Yeah. Sorry. I, I wish uh, I would have known. I, I've been, um. I prioritize right. the, the <laughs> I had the I've had the lasagna collab that I'm supposed to write to. I've had that shit on me for like two months, so I wrote that this weekend. Yeah, no, I feel it. Uh, but yeah, no, I just you know I only have like fucking three songs, so I'm trying to like get your, music out. You get your food tray? No, I never fucking got no food. Damn, that must suck. <laughs> Appreciate you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Bastard. Uh, <laughs> okay, there's something going on with me in the name's Cairo, by the way. Yeah, mine's uh, you could call me Dre Young Toro, it's whatever, okay, okay. but uh, yeah, but I I think uh, doing like a Mrs. Bun type remix, I think would be fun to do, yeah, then, you're right, and then but yeah, uh, like I said, I just don't want to like bug on it, you know what I mean, like be yeah. all up like bugging you and shit. No, you good, you good, like basically. Yeah, I'm Let not. Let me get this be... call my bad. Hold on. <laughs> no, 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 go, go ahead. Yeah, the drink machine got me fucked up right there. I'm gonna need help with that. Down. But yeah, I'll I'll uh, I'll keep you updated on that, and then uh, we'll uh, we'll figure out the details and how you want to go about it. Just uh, you know, keep it in your mind, and uh, you know, just let me know. But depending on, uh, I know you're busy and shit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. Uh, d did you call Cal just now? He just called me. Yeah. Uh, when are you guys gonna do it? So we're probably gonna do it like now, soonish. Okay, let's, yeah, um, if you're down to have me do it with you, I'm down to do it. Come on, of course, of course. Let's go to the, let's go to the clothing store so I can get some sunglasses, girl. Okay. Listen, you guys are the fucking A-team. I know you got this, all right? I'm gonna do a photo shoot. I'm, I'm about back. to leave as well. Oh, my God. Hey, I'll see you soon, sir. God damn it, get okay. Daphne, you fucking broke the fucking machine. My God, I didn't break the machine. What did I do? You broke the fucking machine. I didn't break the machine. You fucking broke the machine. Look, 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, look at that, look at that, we got it. You put a little machine. No problem. Fuck no a machine, problem. Hey, 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 listen, listen. You gotta, you listen. You gotta calm down, Cairo. Like, I feel like I feel a lot of stress coming from you right now. You know, as your, as your ass manager, like, what can I do for you? How can I help you with this? I have a fucking eternal blame for you, so yes, I am stressed. Eternal blame for me? What? I have an eternal brain bleed. Eternal, br your brain is bleeding. Yes, it's yeah. non stopping. I have to get a splunt. I have to get a splunt into my head so that it's t so it can take off the excessive blood. So yes, I am always stressed. That does seem because I can like... die at any moment. That does seem like a stressful oh, thing to go through. And here at Senior Buns, we care about all our employees, and uh, you know we are working on providing. Well, you know we've got state, uh, you know, health insurance. You can go to the hospital whenever you want, and we definitely do value you as an employee and your struggle. And uh, you just, you know, whatever you need, anything, you just let me know. Your ass manager, all right? Yeah, you wouldn't mind him, yeah. Alrighty, alrighty. Alright, it's gonna be okay. Listen, it's gonna be okay, all right? Let's we'll see, let's we'll see, because I might die. <laughs> 38, <laughs> You guys don't understand how much I love parodying uh, yeah, yeah. corporate shit, because I've worked in it so much. 
Um, there you go. Can I pick here, here with Senior Buns, you know, we really Not value help. you. Hi, you. If you, you know, if you need anything, you just let us know. And then it's like you let them know. And it's like, yes. you know, we just really value you. If you need anything, just let us What's know. We can never actually do anything about anything. Yeah, we really just value you. Oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> Uh, that one. This is cool. I like this one. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Stu Guys, she's gonna come with us. Have you met her before? Have you met her? No. That's Dr. Kai. Dr. Kai, wow. Or she's taking pictures of her because he's gonna draw her and then we're gonna go. So you're gonna come. So she's gonna, I'm gonna have her like help take pictures. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, so what's the best way to go about it? Is it to have someone else do it? Because I've never done no yeah. shit like this. Yeah, yeah. If you yeah, if so. you've got somebody that's got it's like uh, they're like yeah, I can do the it's photos or whatever. Yeah, have them do it. Yeah, I can edit the photos. Because then I was gonna I was just I was gonna have the photos taken and I was gonna give them to what's gonna Zia. I'm working with Zia because she's gonna do like the actual putting Instead together of and everything. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna pull the car up. R E E. Ah, Kai Kai Ui. Yeah, I see. Is there a? No, nah, this doesn't work. Um. I think that. I thought that there were different. Oh, hey. <laughs> you good? Yeah, I'm, I'm just practicing poses, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know how to pose. Okay, thank you, Seb. Thank you so much. Sorry, guys. Yo, now you go. Yo, Kai. Uh -huh. This is Daphne Malone. Daph, Hi. This is Kai. Oh, nice Daphne, how cool. Nice to meet you, too. I love your music. You're oh, thank an amazing you. artist. You're oh my God, very thank talented. You. I really appreciate that. Yeah, me and some friends back home, we love your music, actually. Oh, my God, that's so sweet. <laughs> yeah, it's good stuff, uh, girlfriend. I think I know what friend you're talking about. There's one of her friends Champa Wampa. <laughs> there's one of her friends specifically that really likes your music. Aww. Oh, yeah. He'd fangirl over you. So nice. He's like, where's where, where do I find her? I can't find her anywhere. <laughs> He's like, dude. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, it's it's like very unique music. It's some it's stuff that I I really like my type of genre of music that I like listening to. So it's really nice. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate that. Yeah, I'm honestly I'm working my ass off trying to actually release the shit that I'm that I play live. You know. Uh, dude, I I could imagine. I told Dre all the time. It's probably super like exhausting just to do all of it i they they tried to get me to do music and stuff and i have not been on top of it at all fucking it's fucking magic oh look at this fucking magic oh, look at this fucking oh magic hey, 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 <laughs> hey 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 what's the problem over here what's the problem huh look, look at this fucking magic trick he's a fucking wizard sorry, look at guys <laughs> Oh, that's cool. Uh, I don't mean to yeah, freak you guys that? out. My bad. He can move. He can fuck. I'm not, I'm not scared. Yeah, that does Yo, if you fuck. think that's crazy, Yo, you should have seen, Yo, you should've seen the... If you think that's crazy, you should have seen the, the tow truck that I lifted up. You lifted up a tow wow. truck? What, with your magic? Whoa. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Dude. Hang on. I'll show you. Hold up. Oh, I just got a text from my bestie. <laughs> no, I haven't texted you. Oh my god. She just told me I'm a platinum tiered lyricist. That's so oh sick. Oh my god. I don't want to fuck that means, but oh my god. Well, you know, that means he I'm got bars, bro. Hey, uh, spit, spit, spit another bar, bean. Ba 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 ba. Ba ba ba. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Ba ba Oh, there it is. Alright. Uh, you know what? Do you guys want me to just put, post it on Twitter? What? Yeah, put that oh, no. Okay, sick. I'll just, you know, also, by the way, I don't know if you know this, but, you know, tomorrow's my birthday. Yeah. Oh, nice. 
don't know yeah, if I'll, I'll see you. So I'll, I'll be tell a you wizard. Right now. I'll be a wizard for three years. Can you guys believe that? Oh wow, God, I'm so happy be a third for you. Year. Dang. I can't believe you'll be a third year. You're That's amazing. Third... Yeah. The boy who lives. I'd, uh, oh, maybe actually, let me put on some stilettos. Oh, yeah. But, uh, oh, there's some like little booties. Actually, I like, I like I those, like, the ones that I'm wearing. The there's no. there's yellow ones. Wait, I can't see which ones you're wearing. Or some. Yeah. Oh, um, shit. It's like the boots. You did text me not They're that like long booties. ago, didn't you? Those are cute, too. Oh, yeah, you're talking about these ones? I don't know. No, the, the more see. stiletto ones, the Holy taller shit. ones. Holy shit. A lot of people have been blowing me up. What the heck? Go. Those. Yeah, I'll see you now. Oh, there's like there yellow. There we go. I, I got you. Cool. But there's, I mean, yeah, <laughs> I think it looks idiot. better with the red one, though. But it doesn't look too bad. Check it out. All matches your hair. Looks cool. Hey, you a wizard, bruh. Damn, I love these shoes so much. I need to. Yeah, I'm the real deal, man. I'm the real deal. I'm telling you. Damn, these shoes are some <laughs> sick colors. You're the real deal, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a wizard. I'm my boy is guys. thirsty as sick. fuck. Goddamn, you're, dude, you he fuck, man. Just, yeah, well, you're like goggly made shit, cat. That's crazy. Ah. Are you almost done? Hey. Sorry, oh, man. the sprunks with the vegan ice, hey, they just hit different. He's a vegan ice and he's gargling his drink, and he's a third year wizard. So watch yourself yeah, right there, okay, I'm okay, Becca. I'm okay with this. Hold up. I gotta celebrate okay. with the ladies here real so, quick. I was hey, thinking ladies. Of doing yeah, uh, Slay Queen. Slay Queen. Hey, oh. happy, happy Ladies hey, Month, hey, by the way. Hey, you know hey, what I'm saying? Slay, slay, slay out there and all that. Yes, exactly. Wait, what's your name? I'm Slay Queen. Oh, I'm Ben. Ben Silly Side. I'd say normally you can find my ad in the yellow pages, but I'm gonna be honest. I'm a little incognito at the moment. Oh, I thought you were March, Booz. You have the same hair as him. <laughs> oh really? Mm -hmm, exactly. But does mm -hmm. but but oh, does he have this? You're a double ganger. Check this out. Fun. I've been working on my strut. Look at this. Oh, sassy. Damn. Yeah, Damn. You know about that? You know okay. Well, I know you ladies know about it, but you okay. know, hey, okay. I'll be out here representing. Okay. You know how it is. Oh my God, booty shorts. Yeah, okay. he's slay queen. Oh, he's got that chi oh, chi. Go day. slay queen. You too. Oh, hey. yeah. You look amazing. Really? You mean Thank it? you. Oh, I do mean sorry. it. Hey, you look amazing. Oh, wow, thanks, guys. That means a lot coming from you because you, you guys are the real scout. deal out here. You know what I'm saying? Also, I love your guys' hair. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, my uh, maybe God. One day, maybe one day I can get my hair that long. We'll see. Yeah. I mean, you know, put your oils on it and stuff, you know, take your vitamins. Oh, yeah. You got to condition. Scalp scalp you got to condition. Scalp condition. So all, I, all I've been doing so far is I still take the Flintstone vitamins. You guys remember those? Oh, those are my favorite. Yeah, uh, I ain't gonna lie. When I was growing up as a kid, I used to try and eat sneak em. two of them, even though you know you're not really supposed to. Oh, I'd eat those like candies. Cal's I'd up there at the place waiting for us. Oh, okay. okay. Well, it was it was really nice meeting nice you. Nice to meet guys. you. Yeah, yeah likewise. Nice you got your yeah, slay. Daph, do you think I should? I don't know if you saw what I'm. You see what I'm wearing? Mm, yeah. <laughs> so the whole the whole idea was like you know just being Mr. Buns, but I was also thinking about because Cal's in a yellow shirt, you're in a blue shirt. Do you think I should throw on red shirt? I mean, I don't know because do I, I feel should like... wear this. No, no, I feel like that's like... good. I feel like that's good. Like what I have on? Yeah, yeah, yeah I feel like that's good. Okay. Yeah, that's has a little, the yellow, what is it? The yellow bow tie looks good with it. Mm -hmm. It would have been okay. too much red. Yeah, like it's gonna look cool if we're in uniform and you're in, in that, like it's gonna look good. Okay, okay. What's your sign, girl? What's your sign? Show you your <laughs> girl, show your man. Oh, There's a song. What? Oh, this. Oh, oh, I like the color that he put on it. Yeah, the color. I like yeah. the color he has on it now. It's nice as fuck. Yeah, it's like matted almost. Mm -hmm. It looks matted. For some reason. Cool. 
Shit, I never seen that these things have smoke coming out of them. That's cool. Really? Yeah, yeah they got us double taken. Oh shit, what the fuck? Y'all be seeing shit that I'm not seeing. They're still on. He don't care about you. Okay, if you don't care I really like this uh Hurry. this combo that she has the skirt and leggings and boots combo. I forget the, the whole game. outfit is like really good actually. <laughs> I love it, dog. I fucking love it so much. <laughs> what the fuck you talking to? Dead ass, y'all. Man, bro. No, so I be working with this, you know that? Uh -huh. <laughs> Are you wearing? Dude? It's I... B block, y'all. Dead ass. What my mother meant. I don't. I don't see you like in three days, so and you good. get all types of cray cray. Howdy. <laughs> Hi, Gabby. Hey. What's up? The Hello, pets, dude. What's up, right, let's, let's, let's do the, <laughs> oh, let's do the doing good, thing. doing good. Okay, How are okay. you? I'm good. I'm good. Hello, Period. I'm Kai. I wish I had a little you. chin strap, yard. I look light skin as fuck. That ass. Oh, shut up. That ass. That be that ass. That ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, you gotta give him more space because okay. so, he's gotta stand between us. I don't know if I'm just gonna. I don't know how I should pose. Lean flirt. Cow, no, that one's good. Cow, that one is so good. I'm hard as fuck, y'all. Yeah. Oh, I fucking so love good. that shit, bro. Where did my mother mad break outside, y'all? Right? No, like, Whoever oh, takes man, a picture needs to be in front of us talking and nobody else. That's why we look okay, forward. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, wait, where are y'all looking? Oh, right here? Well, well, whoever's, whoever's gonna stand in front of us talking, we'll look at them. Okay, then let's do that right there. Well, he's real. Damn, dude, but my fucking lashes are huge. Go, oh, can you get a picture for us, please? Yeah. I have or Bo? Yeah. Like a nice size picture, too, cause, so we could like cut it up. You just blab, goops. We look at you. I should have thought about this boy. No one, no one else talked. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> Check your email really fast. <laughs> <laughs> Cow! <laughs> what are pizza? Yeah, that looks decent. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to take one from my angle too. Can you blab go? Yep. Look over here. Looky, looky. Oh, those are good. Yeah, Goob's cooking. Sick. Looky, looky. Bro, I look hard as fuck. Looky, that looky, ass, Goob. Wait, let me play the song that we're that we're taking a photo shoot for right now. Looky, 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 looky. Okay, look at those. Bro, I look light skin as shit. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I'm punching you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Real dead ass on the dead home. That's fine, you know. You know. Those look good, those pigs. Asking about the meat, told her she could snack on me. One on the side, but she wanna be home. Real dead ass on the dead home. She called me Mr. Bones when she throwed her ass on me. Asking about the meat, told her she could snack on me. One on the side, but she wanna be home. Yeah. Shotty bun, duh. 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 Shotty bun, duh.
I'm gonna scoot you in. Let me scoot you in. Okay. Oh no, now she's like way too far away. Um, do I need me like, or no wait, you should be fine like that actually. Baby having to get his attention. <laughs> All right. Here. Okay, dude. Mira the camera. Mira the camera. Hello, hello. <laughs> Stop smoking your fucking cigarette, weed, dude. That's a prime. That's a prime Ooh, no pixel hello. song, dude. Over here, over here, over that here. That is like prime no pixel comedy music. Dre, Dre, over here. Look, look at the camera. Can you sing the camera? Can you get the camera? No. no, what the hell? No. Just sing, please. No. No, the good day. Look at the camera over here. Over here. Cow keeps. Pacarito, cow. Pacarito. Pacarito. Cow keeps freaking blinking every time you watch the camera. I'm always blinking, dog. I'm fucking Asian. <laughs> Pissing me off. Oh, fucking... <laughs> every time I take a selfie, I go, my eyes are closed. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was crazy. Dre over here. Dre, Dre. Over here, guys. Pacarito, Pacarito. Over here, over here, over here. No, you're good. Let's see, over here. Dre, stop moving. Stop moving, Dre. Stop moving, Dre. I wish I could. Well, stop smoking your shit. Maybe you will. Damn, fucking cows like stone cold. Like, I'm kind of scared. Over here, over here, over here. Ba 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 ba. Da 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 Okay, um, can I move ever so slightly to whatever that direction is? The right? Or left? I'm not right, you're right, you're right. Yes. You're right. My right. But, but you turned away when you did that, so is that the same right? Girl, what are you talking about? Okay, right. Wait, do you want to move or me, dude? Um, you're good. Okay, the last one kind of eats. Oh shit, that shit is hard. Cause the last one he's looking over and at the camera, but like his his head's at an angle. It's really good. Gotta keep it real like a hair some fun. Back to woo, I just sent them to you. Cake, booty, ass, derriere. Gotta make it cream while I'm pulling on her hair. 
Baby got me brick with the way that she stare. Like it's out of pride, she's polite to share. Bond up, says shoddy bond up. Riding up the dick and she cannot get enough. Bond up, says shoddy bond up. Oh my god. And the way I live, I'm gonna make her fall in love. Oh my god. Oh my god. She called me Mr. Burns, so she brought an ass home. Yo, ask me about the news, told her she can stay at home. Want on the side, but she wanna be home. We all are, don't worry, that ass. Me and Arita Car just stimming, bro. Just that's literally me, dude. Y'all don't want a third wheel because I'd be doing the same stuff. <laughs> yeah, I, I, all of so us I, in the car just like random. I've developed Tourette's in the last two months. I got dead ass oh. real. Real. I'd be in a car by myself, dead ass. Dude, that's how I am, yeah. Sometimes I. Oh, this is the last two are probably the best ones. Yeah, yeah. I think we're good. You want to do diff different outfits? You said, don't you? Right? Or I mean, I feel like we look hard uh, as fuck right now. We look, we look uh, fucking sick. Uh, Daf told me to, to stay because I was thinking about getting red shirt, but Daf told me to stay in this since. Yeah. I yeah. No. This. It off. As long as it like gets senior Bro. buns vibe, that's when I start. I like when I say word to my mother, I gotta do. Mm -hmm. Not that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So <settle> that. <laughs> word to my mother every time. Dog. I gotta start doing. Word to my mother, dead ass. These are probably mother. fine, right? We didn't. We, we probably don't need to go to senior bonds. It's probably best just to use a green screen. Maybe. I mean, I don't know. We. What were you think, this Doc? is your You're the creative. You're the super creative. I mean, one. I mean, I'm just saying shit. we could have a little little pick or two of us shaking ass on the counter or something on the uh, ground. Well, and we should do that yeah. at senior bonds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're gonna relocate. Yeah. Yar. <laughs> Cool. Dad, man, break outside, <laughs> you know what's funny is the fact that you had to look at me while I'm going burr, 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 when I look like this. <laughs> I love it. You know what I called you my you know I called you earlier and it was kinda wild. Yeah. What the hell? You already it? I, 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 when I was writing this earlier, I called you my snow bunny. Dead ass. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate you so bad. No. No. Dre, I didn't even see you get out. I was like, what the hell? Where's Dre? Where, 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 where you? I swear I was like, where is Dre? I didn't even see you get out. I went back inside to see if you were then in there. See if, let's see how this goes with people here. But do you think people are gonna be all cringe with it? No, no I just might be loading the stuff. You know, I call Cena Buns when I'm in this this character, bro. B block. It's B block. That ass. Mock big bookies. Earlier, I was like, big bookie, bud. I, was like, I was like, yo, you want to eat Ebola? He said, what the fuck's that? You know? We got, we got a Ebola, we got a Sprite. I mean, we got Sprunk, whatever. We got Ebola Light. A, B, B, D. You know what I'm saying? That ass, dog. Fuck. Yo, that shit made no fucking sense what you just said. Oh, uh, cause uh, he blood, you know, crypt. Oh, I be blood. blood. They don't, okay. they don't say the c word. Yeah, oh, I'm that's, bound that's, out, yeah that's true. Actually, I'm be bound yeah, out, yeah. Yeah. that ass. Yeah. Bound yeah. out. Shut the fuck up. That's why he said Baco bit bookies instead of chocolate chip cookies. Oh my god. <laughs> Are we busy? Are we busy? 
I want a large bulk, guys. Yeah, do you want the saltless fries? Do you want to try to clear this out before we did it? Yeah, we 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 trying to take him. You all right? Yeah, yeah. He might eat cola decarbonated also. It's flat. Oh, I was gonna take those water spills over fifty five. Got it. You don't want to drink? Are you gonna add your own combination? There you go. There you go. You're gonna take a decarbonated drink, go take it home and carbonate it. You're like a lot of work. Oh, gotta go do the delivery. <laughs> Is this the guy that you told me about? Uh, no, this is another oh, you guy. Told me. Oh, okay. Wait, maybe? I'm a master chef, dude. I'm a master fucking chef. No, I think I was talking about Ollie that time I told you. Oh, okay. I don't know. It's just, I just stopped paying some shit. I don't know what it is, so I'm gonna find out. Oh, you can get a gun. You can get a gun, Greg. You can get a gun? Yeah, it's $35,000. I have a, we're, we're going to be a little busy for a little bit because we're doing a photo shoot for a single that I'm making called Mr. Bun. But uh, after that, I'm down to chop it up with you, kind of kick it up a little bit. Sure. Yeah, sweet. You sure? Are you guys doing a photo shoot here? Oh, I'll wash well, dishes for you guys. We did it at the green screen, uh, oh. like we did some, and uh, we're going to do a, a few here too. Hell yeah. Dominic, shut the fuck up. That ass, y'all. Damn, I wanted to get... I'm a, I'm a wonderful, respected employee around here. I want an everything cheeseburger. Uh, number yeah, I'm just gonna fuck up ass, you You say oh. foghorn, leghorn? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, man. I know you do. Sorry, Santa, I don't got it. A cheeseburger. Sorry, sorry, Santa, I don't got cheese. La Ronde. I'm I'm, okay. Will you stop telling people okay. we don't got cheese? Cairo, Cairo, stop. Cheese. We talked about this. We talked about this. We talked about this. We, about this. we literally have so much fucking cheese. We literally have so much fucking cheese. Excuse me. We literally have so much fucking cheese. He's real, Gabby. I'm sorry. Okay, what can I get for you? All right, Moose, I got your food right here. Two cheeseburger with a fry and a and an on the tang. Carbonated. Can he keep telling everybody to not carbonate it? Okay, okay. It's flat. It's, 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 it's not carpeted. It's broken right now. Okay, go ahead. It's, it's go ahead and carpeted. swipe. Cairo, I need like, to talk to you in the office. You want me dead. Like, just tell me, like, just tell me. Cairo. Why do you keep making shit up? Yeah. It's, we, don't, we don't get a fucking cheese. I don't get no cheese. We literally have so much cheese. We have like 60 cheese. We have like 60 pieces of cheese. That is barely table. any cheese. If Are everybody you, gets yeah, cheese, we ain't gonna have cheese. Are you silly? No, that's the whole point. That's why we have so much cheese, is that everybody's gonna get cheese. Everybody wants cheese, all right? That's why That's why people chop 17,000 million fucking cheeses over here, all right? Listen. I was waiting until we had at least 100 peas. Listen, you're a, you're a valued employee here at Senior Buns. I need you to stop lying to the customers, because, uh... Hey, you're, you're we wrong. just hey, we, we don't got nothing. Just we got buns. They're taking it. If we get, we, I'm, you know I'm making us some money here. You, I'm you making, I'm, I'm getting, I'm cutting off profit loss margins here. I'm Kyra, making. Actually, you I'm know cutting. what? You know what I think would actually be a really good way to solve this. I think that you should go chop cheese. Where at? Where, where at? We don't and got cheese. Sure, I don't, I don't and make sure cheese. that we have a hundred. I don't, I don't, I don't chop. That's, that's that's dirty work. I don't do that. How can we work that. together? Do How can we work together here, Cairo? I don't do because, dirty work. Because uh, my I don't do problem. Dirty work. Okay, listen, Cairo. See me as your ass manager here, right? I have a problem, and that's that you keep lying to the customers, and uh, I'm not lying. I'm cutting. I'm. I am helping our pop large. You're, you're getting very defensive. Here. You're getting very defensive now. Now you see you. Uh, that I see where you're coming from with that. I definitely see where you're coming from when you say that and your thought process on that, and that is valued as a valued employee. But um, I gotta say uh, that it's uh, based in fiction. Okay, so it's not true, right? So it's based on. You say you say these basically. people who are buying. You, you say these people who are buying no, just the just the buns lead. is not good because for our you profits. Are doing a great job. Thank All you we gotta sell them is some bread, and they're taking it. 
They take it. Yeah, so, right away, um, okay, most people so we, here. So we don't need. Like, oh, we don't need to do that, right? Because we have all of the ingredients in the back. They're chopped, so we don't need to lie to the customers. See, I'm now just um, saying, like, hey, man, we just I don't got. You know what? It's I think that I it's have. Easier. It's, it's easier on the cooks. It's easier on everybody. It's, it's easier. It's fast, 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 fast service. Right, fast, but, fast but service. you see, you see what we happens. We don't gotta add anything. We don't gotta serve anything. Yeah, we gotta hurry up because we're gonna. I think that the solution here is that maybe, maybe you don't, I, f I feel that you don't Once have enough um, experience in the back. I think that maybe I have a lot of we, I just take, don't do dirty you, work. we take you off of the register and uh, we let you experience other parts of the restaurant as our valued employee. And you can experience the different parts of the restaurant, such as the full fridge of ingredients. So you don't have to lie to the customers and tell them we don't have any cheese. We have so much so fucking cheese fucking all the time. Um, so yeah, maybe we just time. take you off the register for a In front of my day. fucking yeah. face. Yeah. Like 50 workers in front maybe of my that's fucking what we face. Do. You know what I mean? The whole fucking time. Yeah. Nobody wants to take you off fucking order. I think that's a great... Okay. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't do dirty work. So Cairo, Cairo, here at Senior Buns, we're a family. We're a team. Okay, everybody is going to need to fill in and do certain things. So, you know, if you don't think house. that your co-workers oh, back here doing dishes are shit. at the same level as you i mean that's that's I'm not, not a good team hungry. mentality it's not a, you know we're a family nah that's how i grew up Kyra, maybe maybe you need to take a break but uh you need to be it's fine i'm doing wonderful you seem stressed out uh, i'm always stressed out though more like you know, I have a, I have an eternal bleeding breed, so I'm always stressed. I have to take yeah. medicine for it. The bleeding thing. I have to take Minetrol. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. I think maybe, I mean, maybe if I might suggest some, there are some good therapists in the city for that yeah. complex that you have, and there's also really good doctors for the probably brain it, bleeding thing. But I'm actually in the middle of a photo shoot, so uh, yeah. let's just talk about this more later. You are uh, a valued employee right. here at Senior Buns. Thank you so much. I got, I value you also. Are we doing a photo shoot up front? <laughs> <laughs> Like, all right, later, Doc. Take yeah. care, bro. Oh, fucking heck. Wait, where are we going? Uh, Where are we going? Uh, Steph, how you want to go about this? Uh, we can do it. Uh, we can do it in the front, in the back. I mean, what? I was trying to get on top of the. Yeah, you can what? I was trying to get on top of the, um, the grill, but I can't. You want to get on the grills? Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, wait, actually, I should be on this side if I want to. Oh, why don't you, like, kind of, like, place yourself or try to, like, jump on top and place yourself? Like, All right, after this guy, oh, we're oh, ours, but we're still working, but we maybe. Got close to a minute. Um, I oh, but you want to do that pose. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be bummed up on the grill? <laughs> <laughs> Buns on the grill, am I right? <laughs> Yo, I just caught. <laughs> um. Look, look what I sent you. Do rag version. Dude, you're a you don't just swallow up. The hell? <laughs> I got you. Oh, you shit. That's that's a good boy. You're a good boy for that. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> what do we do? Okay, we, gotta, we, gotta, we gotta be quick with it. You fucking dippy. We gotta be quick with it, though. Uh, might be too far off. Daphne, I see the vision. I see it. <laughs> I feel like this is not gonna work, though. I mean, we can always just use the counter, realistically. Yeah. Oh, yeah. the ranting? Right here, it's gonna be okay. With, um... Against some, so I should only have uh, um, yeah, a rectangle spinning here on this side. No, this side is good. Oh, under the, under the side? Yeah. No, 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 but get a little bit yeah. closer so that it doesn't look so it, like. Oh, no. small. Would that be good? Behind the X, <laughs> Grandma. <laughs> oh, yeah, behind the X. Uh, right behind the X. In my cup as well before you forget to. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, wait. Damn, Daphne, throwing that shit. Oh, wait, I have to be on the other side. I have to be on the other side. Switch me sides. Switch me sides, because otherwise I'm not facing the camera. God damn it. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, no, I got it, I got it, I got this, I got this. <laughs> just gotta, just gotta yeah. hammer this thing in, so, but just gotta... They do say there's nothing that a hammer can't fix. 
Exactly. Exactly. She's gonna hammer this in right here. Oh, they're gonna keep talking. Gonna nail this in right there. Over here, over here. Oh shit, 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 shit. That should, that should. Over here, over here, over here, over here. You guys stop talking for one sec so we can look at the camera. That'd be dope. Thank you. Just one more. Over here, Dre. Sorry, sorry. What the fuck's going on here? What the fuck am I listening to? <laughs> They're trying to get the Jinchen. Thornberries. Drake, look over here. You too. Come over here. Pajarito, pajarito. Look at the camera. Hello, hello, hello. Over here, over here, over here. Nice. Over here. Hello. Hello, over here. Hello. Hello. Damn, dude, I, I'm annoying myself. <laughs> Hello. It's okay. Hello. <laughs> Just sing, bro. No, 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 no. Come on. Dan Donnie. Hello. Hello. Yeah, over here. Right. Cow. 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 Hey. Okay. Well, there we go. Hello. 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 Look at the camera, guys. Put it in the bag. Oh, Put the bag, Marge. Put it in the bag. Put it in the bag. <laughs> I already got a things to say. My acoustic is 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 shutting down already. Oh, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Oh, yes, yeah, get man. Oh, yeah. Look over here. It's <laughs> <laughs> fucking my case for sure, bro. Oh my god, are you serious, Cozy? I didn't oh, know that. Oh, sounds like Animal Crossing. Like that. <laughs> Can you do some Animal Crossing back here? Oh my god, love that. She go over there with the... Oh my god, it's like entertaining babies over here. So Look at the damn camera! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he sounds like the. You gotta do it behind me if you're gonna do it. I'm, I'm in hell right now. No, the reason they're talking is so we look at them for the picture, dog. You know what I mean? Whoever's was talking, we're gonna look at. Yeah, yeah. Stand also, behind I'm, I'm, gonna her. I'm gonna keep yeah, talking, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna keep talking, I'm gonna keep talking this side. Hey. Hey guys. Hey guys, it's me, Gabby. Hey guys, look at me. And we're having a good time. Look exactly. over Look here, side. cause we're having a Fuck good time. We're having a good time. <laughs> I'm just having, this is so fucking funny. Okay, check hey, the guys, over here, over here. Drake, Drake, Drake. Hello, hello. There we go. There we go. I like that last one. Oh, I like that one too. Oh. Oh, crazy. Jesus Christ. That's a grown ass man, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> You're so real. No, he's so real. This man is the realest man I've ever met. Yeah, I'm real. Shut the fuck up! Get the fuck out of here, bro, before I bonk your shit, that ass. Oh my god! You think I'm joking, bro? I'll bonk the fuck out of you. Uh -oh. Okay, you guys. This is my gang, bro. We B-block. Shut the fuck up. Okay. I fucking hate it here. I imagine people had any Check the last one. Oh, it's a cover for a. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's 
kind of far. That's why I don't really care for it. All right. Yeah, it looks good though. The pictures we got. The one where I'm twerking is kind of like hard to get there in. Yeah. You're, like just throwing your ass all the way out there. Yeah. I mean, you got a lot of ass to throw. I mean, here we yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> you blame her? Be back. at the moment. Look, dang it, the picture I took didn't take. But it took, but it didn't. 50-50. Okay. Hey guys, it's Gabriella. Yeah. The cow's blinking because that's what cow likes to do. Yo, don't you, uh. Oh. You friends with Marissa? Uh, yeah. Okay, that was the last one now. I feel like we definitely have something right now, right? I think, um, hey, I was, I've sent her like 30 pictures. We're good. Yeah. Shit, Goob. Thank you, Go. Yes, sir. Let me get rid of the clothes. Thank sign. you, Go. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate you. you I call her Goob. Gooby. Goob. She's Gooby. Gabby. Gooby. Help, Gabby. Mm -hmm. People call me Gooby. Wait, is it? He's kind of though. Because he gets worked up really easily. So. The bus. All right. <laughs> that, that, I'm going to sleep. True, I'll true. see you tomorrow, okay? Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you we're going to make much love. Good night. Y'all the best. Love you, dog. Love you, guys. Love you, yum. Bye, guys. Hola. What you doing? Uh, I am collecting my cooks and then I'm gonna push all my batches. Oh, you're you're being a filthy grinder. Yo, I want to buy a Lamborghini next next. Okay, well, yeah, fair enough. Oh, uh, I just sold drugs with a Lamborghini. <laughs> Benji and Raymond keep trying to get me to build a nightclub in like a warehouse and I'm like you realize it's gonna be like the same amount of money and so much more effort to, to build a nightclub in a warehouse instead of Bahama Mamas I'm gonna kill Nana huh? what? another but like right? mhm mm like, that makes no sense. And then, you gotta get somebody to commit to decorating it and building it, which nobody wants to fucking do. You know yeah. I mean? They want you to build a nightclub? They Yes, Benji and Raymond have both tried to convince me to build a nightclub instead of waiting for Bahama Moms to go on sale. It's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. That's a lot of money. Yeah, it's not a bad idea until you think about the fact that you're gonna need somebody that will physically build it. I'm not gonna fucking build it. I'm shit. I tried to put a barrel in my apartment and I fucked up the floorboards. The walls are tilted. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I'm sure as hell not building it. You gotta find somebody that's willing to spend a hundred fucking hours building a nightclub. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then you have to pay them and then you have to pay for all the furniture. By that time, it takes a fucking month to build, and it costs you two million dollars, or you could just buy a nightclub for two million dollars. You know what I mean? Hmm. Where you at? Where I'm, who? Me? Go. Oh. Wait, me? Yeah. Um, I'm running from Senior Buns. I'm like about at Legion Square. Are you running? You need to buy a car. Hmm? You need to buy a car. Uh, 
I would love to buy a car. I would love to buy a car. Talk to Mr. Fucking Mosley about me if I when I buy a car. Your money for a car? Yeah, I well technically no because I have enough money for a business license right now. I need another like twenty k. I'm trying to buy a Runer. They're only twenty two k. You need a ride? Uh, um, I don't think so. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, you're welcome. Bye. Yeah, so I'm trying to get a Runer. They're only twenty two k. But I have enough for the business. You can probably license. just buy someone's. I don't know. Out, I, I, haven't, I haven't seen anybody with a Runa. I don't think they went on sale until. I don't think they have gone on sale, actually. Oh, that'd be someone that has it. They're probably just. They can't sell it. I literally. I've not seen a Runa in this entire city. I'm going to call someone real quick. Should I make this the assistant manager outfit instead of the other one? See. All right, I'm going to sleep. I'm to sell all this while fucking on a bike. Do it, fucking do it. He's doing it in the club, just. Ain't it? Plus, it looks so sus. Yeah. No touchy moonshine. Yeah, no, no touchy, never mind. No touchy. No, no touchy. <laughs> no touchy until I cook more. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go to bed. Go to sleep. Yeah, sleep. Alrighty. You know, if you need any help. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye -bye. Wait, wait, help if I need help. Yeah. Going to sleep? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Night. There we go. That kind of works. Here, wait, let me see if I can... Okay, hang on. If I face it this way... Okay, well... Okay. This is... This kind of works. Alright. Okay, um... Let me see. Who are we gonna... Who are we gonna raid today? Actually, you know what? I would like to...
I would like to raid. I would like to raid Jam, actually. Jam Jam is playing in a... Jam is playing in Onyx, but um, we love Jam. We love Jam in this house. And uh, we haven't seen him in a long time. We miss him dearly. If you guys were around for the... Uh, for the Ignite RP days, uh, Jam Jar played Leon, who was uh, my character's love interest for uh, the majority of our time in that server. Phenomenal, phenomenal role player. We met him originally in Wild. He's just great. So we're going to raid Jam. Miss him so much. Um, today was fun. Today was very fun. Okay, so these are the socials. That's a great way to know when I'm going live. Join the Discord. That's the best thing to do ever in the world. And then, uh, what else? This is the raid message if you're not a sub. This is a raid message if you are a sub. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much, and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>